I learned a long time ago that there's no sense getting all riled up every time a bunch of idiots give you a hard time. In the end, the universe tends to unfold as it should. Plus, I have a really large penis. That keeps me happy. Do you want to take a life? Do you want to cross that line? Because it's a long way back from hell. This isn't cool, YouTube, you f***ers. And then they'll just end it with Rip Nerdaholic. And that's the end of it. <laughs> yep. We need is reform. That, is that still in the TOS? <laughs> Nerdaholic. <laughs> you know, this might be weird to you, but I think society's gonna fall at some point, and we're gonna have to barter with old pornography. Like VHS porn. <laughs> uh, I still got VHS, dude, with the original boxes. Yes. Well, damn. <laughs> I'm a strong supporter of women in adult films. Yeah. You know, because nobody does that anymore. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! You son of a bitch. I'm wearing this uncomfortable, movie-accurate, bullshit-ass armor, and I'm not even getting paid scale for this shit. I want to go home. You know what? <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Well, it's time to go. Chrissy, have you ever heard of the comedian Basha K. Ali? No, that sounds like something you yell at before you blow up a plane. <laughs> 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 That's right, fear me. I am lord and master. Oh, really? Come on, dude, use the motherfucking force. Whoa! Ha 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 ha! How do you like that, huh? Don't don't do me! He ain't even hollering in the hole, he ain't even hollering in the hole, he ain't even hollering in the hole, he ain't even hollering in Oh. Ah, fuck it, I've eaten so much worse, dude. You have no idea. Gustav de Jali! Die Tower of Beale Lads! Get it! Well, let's see what he's doing! Yeah, you blow the old something like that. No, show my head up! Fuck you. Ali! No, man! Hey, wait, you're not dead? Oh, oh you're in trouble, dude. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Talk about a brutal, senseless act of violence. so low.
Why did that sound so low? I don't know. Why. So low. Maybe it's me. Hi. I can go lower. So low last night. I can go higher. Well, I know you can go lower. Oh. I cannot oh. go higher. Get loading. <laughs> <laughs> We can't even hear it, dude. Are you? Is your thing like ha- going on right now? Or are we? It's just... coming through my speakers for some fucking reason. Now <laughs> oh, I don't know. We got it right here. What about that? <laughs> That's good. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's Friday night, everyone, and yeah, it's a little crazy. We got some uh, extra guests coming in. We got some people missing because of uh, being abandoned by Geets and Gamers, basically to go to Florida. Just not even a thought to us at all. <laughs> Well, look, not you, hurt. listen, we may not have Jeremy. Jeremy's busy. They're trying to film some content. Some people may or may not have got arrested that aren't <laughs> originally from this country. Um, oh, but no. like I said, we need to make sure there's actual citizens with these people, yes. Krista and Ivan. Uh, they're just going to get arrested. You know, ICE will get them. They'll be gone. But Odin's here. Just met Odin for the first time 10 minutes ago before we started the stream. I'm here. Chrissy's here at the Geeks and Gamers house in Orlando. Yay. So we're, we're making the best. We're making the best of the situation. If you want, I can start yelling about the binge model if that will make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> the old wounds. That, yes, that might. Uh, we could get into that later. I'm good with that. Or binging we had, and purging. We had a little binging of our own on the Geeks and Gamers stream yesterday. Me and Jeremy were arguing about Dave Filoni. Actually, it was a Filoni. Oh, no. Uh, We were arguing about Dave Filoni and Kathleen Kennedy, and we both kind of agreed, yet we were still arguing about shit. (laughs) And my gosh, the amount of people who were like, I really, I don't know when I see them arguing like this. It's so (laughs) aggressive and noises. (laughs) It triggers my PTSD. It's like, holy fuck, man. Have you never watched a Geeks and Gamers stream before? The best bit about that wasn't even the argument. It was Krista's reaction to the argument and then her getting jump scared when drunk 3PO put pickles <laughs> over her shoulder. I was like, I've never, what? like, she looked away, looked back, and there were pickles there, and she jumped out of her skin. Pickles hilarious. can be frightening to Canadians, apparently. So, <laughs> it, it was, have you ever seen those clips where, like, actual, like, cats get scared by cucumbers? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They freak <laughs> out. <laughs> what is apparently that? They think they're snakes. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, <laughs> was that it? <laughs> I get that way when I see a really big. Just follow through. Yeah, you just said follow you through, Chrissy. Come on. Right on it's like it. I jump into it. Yeah, yeah. It's the wow. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> more than that. We, ah, we're in the opening in 20 minutes. You can't be saying stuff like that. Okay. I we actually have started off with cats, terrible. ended up with Chrissy <laughs> inserting it. Somebody already have, said they have a really big penis in, in the club, <laughs> so we're fine. I, I have legitimate proof already. Um, that if she sees a big cucumber-like object, <laughs> she will jump on it. I'm sharing it right now, Gary. Uh, so it's... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. You really yeah, can't dispute that. Uh, We're getting married. Now, this is not... <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> right, this is not Cuck Hulk, uh, Mark Ruffalo, because obviously he's got a Trump 2024 hat on. It's Ultra MAGA. So this is Ultra MAGA Hulk yeah. and Chrissy's... Ultra hopping on that I've, cucumber. Yeah, cock. I've become part of his pants. What the hell mm-hmm. is even that? <laughs> That's right. I definitely Has don't ever- have enough holes for what he's got going on. I was just saying, that looks like a two hand job. <laughs> this looks like all hands on. Deck. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. All right. Good lady. Late- Hello. <laughs> Should we start the introduction now? Already. You start with a pickle and you end up with two-handing the fucking Hulk. I mean, come on. This is Friday Night been... Tights, where we talk about nerd stuff and cucumbers <laughs> and holes. And wanking off the Hulk. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is this a dying hey, That's nerd stuff. <laughs> it might be. Uh, hi. How many uh, hands would it take to wank off the Hulk? So, so we we brought in a panel of experts. We do. We have we have a panel of experts coming in, and they might know about whacking off the Hulk. To be honest with you, I, I know we've got the long man here, so he might know. He's got tentacles. He might have different ways to do it. It's like uh, you ask it as a joke, and I'm like, all right. If we consider Avengers and the initial movie, look at the sizes. We mean John Campion to have a look at the. Uh, that's the it. Shadowing on shadow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that was really th- how they should have calmed down the Hulk. Sun's getting real low, big guy. Let me give you a hand oh, job no. and put you to sleep. Oh. Oh, no. Are we, are we oh. talking about the Hulk here or my, oh, my are you talking about me? I this will calm confusing. you down. 
Black Widow's like... It's just like, before I leave for the night. <laughs> we, just, we need an edit of that, except sun's getting real low, big guy. When they reach out the hand, she's just grabbing his cock. <laughs> now, this has been discussed long enough that someone will write this as a chapter of this stream. It's like, when they discuss Hulk's cock. That's <laughs> already been written. Memes are already being created as we speak. Sure. Our time stamp. <laughs> What if when he turned into the Hulk, his dick didn't get bigger and he just had oh, the same oh, size? That would be like, it's <laughs> actually why he's so angry, angry Zia. Yeah. That's why he's so angry. <laughs> Don't look under so Hulk's bad. pants. <laughs> Hulk can <God> smash. Oh. <laughs> and pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't smash pussy. Get myself on there. Thank you very much. I'm here all week. Uh, I should go after that one. I mean, when when you take steroids, apparently, you know that kind of thing can happen. So maybe, I mean, Hulk shrinks your just, balls, not your like, dick. It shrinks your balls. Oh, your dick stays the size of well, little tiny grapes. Gamma uh, radiation yeah, but you, does you, both. You get a little. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah this is the thing. Like, somebody asked me the other day if I would do steroids. And I was like, yeah, probably. Uh, like, if I just, like, someone just handed it to me, like, yeah, fuck, why not? Like, the MCU star, they fucking do it. Stop it in my program. ass. But yeah, okay, that's fine. But they're oh, like, well, your balls get really small. I'm like, oh, I mean, wow. well, I have kind of big balls now. So maybe they just be normal <laughs> sized. So <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be acceptable. No woman is ever like, man, I wish his balls were bigger. It, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Use them for anything. <laughs> I wish there were I mean, like at times it would be nice if they were detachable, but uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. detachable balls detachable instead of detachable balls. penis. Yeah. That'll no, be the I, sequel I don't need song. to detach yeah, yeah this is the sequel song. <laughs> You know, yeah. It's become clear real BBC is the classy show. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. The, the one that gets demonetized like twice as much as this show for some reason. Yeah, I for can't. some reason, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you don't get demonetized all that well, often. Ten, ten minutes in we and don't. we're talking about the Hulk's cock or jerking off the Hulk, <laughs> Ryan's balls, uh, Chrissy fucking superheroes. What's Pretty next? good ten minutes. We have to pay for dinner first. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, so black. Oh, no, God, credit card. Oh, God, he got American Express. What does that to begin with? But, but black Falcon goes, that's the next, that's the deleted episode of Winter Soldier. Black Falcon tries to get a credit card to buy Chrissy Mayer dinner to go fuck her, but the bank doesn't approve her. Or doesn't approve her. <laughs> oh, no. So he just oh. turns up. He just turns up anyway and lets her pay. Oh, I would know what that would be a better reason for the police to show up versus what they actually had portrayed in the episode. <laughs> yes, <It's> true. <laughs> At least that would make sense. Well, well maybe they should have live streamed it. But um, hi, Az. How are you? Go I'm good. I'm fine. I uh, <laughs> I got a tweet from a, a a clear big brain before we just started saying your video that you just put out about gay Batman is playing into the hands. If you've read the comic, you'll realize that it's not the case. You know, I mean, we're responding, obviously, to all the articles. All the articles from the magazines out there saying, gay Bruce Wayne! Uh, and uh, he steals the guy's book. Uh, for, uh, the guy who was coming in for the kiss, he, he steals the guy's book and throws it into the um, the river so he can't, obviously, you know, get the benefit from it. Some Something into myself as well. So, number one, we're responding to, like, all the websites that talk about buy Bruce Wayne for a start, but yeah, it's okay, it's me. And uh, also uh, the fact that if the woman hadn't interrupted them, Bruce would have just snogged him then. Yeah. <laughs> snogged? So snogged. Yes, Kissed. It's British, it's British slang. Oh. Snog, in it. Oh snog. Oh. <laughs> you didn't watch Harry Potter. I learned watch. that from Harry Potter. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I was like, well, is this being too. Bruce Wayne is not. Oh, <laughs> Bruce Wayne is gay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, delete which her. which <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> film was Dean that? Thomas and Ginny were snogging in the corner. I was like, are they fucking in this? What's <laughs> 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 well, It sounds like they're like kissing with their noses or something. I didn't know where the fuck it meant. What's a fucking snog? Yeah, I wasn't sure either. Snog. Yeah. God. Bogies too. Uncultured. Oh, yeah. And then when, and then again the uh, the original edit where of Half Blood Prince where Dumbledore admits to Harry that he wanted to snog him, you know, the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Allen just never told us. I was like, okay, not, now I'm starting to understand. No, yeah. Okay, now groomer. Get it. How old was Harry at the time? Because this is getting very worrying. Well, about as oh, yeah. Old I mean, Dumbledore's a big Disney fan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm still tempted by this whole Harry Potter and the gaying of Bruce Wayne. That's yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's, the, it's the fifth film, apparently. I think. It, it is. Warner Brothers. So, yeah, big so, crossover so, uh, event. I, I, the, 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 uh, the tragedy was Bruce Wayne was actually the last straight person in DC. So, um, <laughs> so R- R- R.I.P. R.I.P. R- 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 is yeah. dead now. Somebody showed me a meme. Villain doing it to him. Somebody showed me a meme of uh, Ezra Miller and Iris West from the the Snyder Cut, and it's like uh, the caption is like when they're looking at each other. The caption's like you can just see in his eyes how much Ezra wants to beat the shit out of this woman. <laughs> 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 ever gonna like go to jail? Is he ever gonna? Like, he did. He's, the, um, he's in my hometown, just running a freaking muck right now. My friend yeah. keeps they sending know. me like videos. I just, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you should go to him around. Yeah, go, down. go find him. Yep. Do you see the guy? There's a pl- on the police cam. The policeman said, "Sir." And then he said, I'm going to sue you for a hate crime. Oh, that's right. And, and then they're like, they're like Sorry, patting him brain. down to like pull all the gay sex toys out of his, uh, out of his pocket. <laughs> and he's like, he's Bruce he's like White you coming. touched my penis. You touched my penis. I am a they, them, non-binary, <laughs> transgender. I don't want to be searched by a man. I don't want to be searched by a man. It's I'm like, going to sell yeah, this no, for a second. Dude, that's a... You just reminded me of the fucking Joker in The Dark Knight when he pulled out all of his knives. There's just loads of sex. See, <laughs> 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 all I can think about is the mask. All the week, all the head in his lives, light was it knives and lint and lots of dildos. <laughs> The assorted he sizes have, of he sharpness. A, he had a <laughs> fucking nerf gun on him. What's he doing with the nerf gun on him? <laughs> Legitimately funny. And like the cop was laughing because yep. Ezra Miller's like, that is not a real gun. That is a nerf gun. Those are nerf bullets. Those are not real. Don't shoot me. Those mean, don't, don't get rid of my flash ring. It means a lot to me. <laughs> the way he's talking sounds like Frankie McDonald. <laughs> well, I just, it's it's gonna be a weird movie when that comes out. I just find it hard to believe that a, that a guy saving a girl wearing man prees and there's any chemistry between them at all. That's the only part where I laughed. I liked that scene until that happened, and I'm like, he's wearing man prees. <laughs> well, yeah, which you can. Tell, Am I the like, only one who knows that, what, who man what man prees are? It's the little rolled up pants. I have no idea. Male capris for men. Male capris, yeah, man prees. You didn't know it was yeah. called that? Come on, you're a girl. Yeah, you should know. That, I mean, that my wife. We Come just on. we just called people wearing that poor because we figured they fucking out through it. <laughs> <laughs> find new ones. Ezra Miller's not poor. <laughs> he's he's in a lot of money sucking people in Hollywood's dicks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean that's that's why he still like has the role. Sorry, like, I mean acting whoops. in film. <laughs> <laughs> Ezra Miller, man, as soon as that asshole loosens up, you're not going to get as many roles, buddy. Oh, oh. <laughs> get it, get Hulk smash. <laughs> hey, Gary, still monetized? No, 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 don't care. It's Are fine. Are eagles for that I'll part of ass. your body? <laughs> I'll eat oh, your man. ass. I'll eat your, I'll ass. your ass. I'll eat your ass. I will eat your ass. Oh, uh, Chrissy's I'll like, you ass. should do Kegels. I'm like, can you do Kegels for that part of your body? Kegels. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, you gotta fill me in on this. Beagles. To keep saying beagles. Beagles. You want beagles, no, beagles inside your body? What? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you can. Do X-ray beagles. girl, you get weirder every fucking week. <laughs> so where's the bar coming God. from? Yeah. The Which, more words we give her, the worse it gets. I, you know? I really. Yeah, she's a nasty she, giant. She really is. She, she's disengaged <laughs> until she heard she could do an exercise to tighten up her asshole, then she perked right up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's useful information. <laughs> the more it's you know. True. We're gonna turn this around, guys. We're gonna make this around. <laughs> let's, let's keep with the introduction. Uh, welcome back. I miss this, you, buddy. This is Friday Gary, night. Wholesome X- stuff. X- 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 Friday night tight. Literally. It's it's Friday, Friday night tight. tight asshole. That's <laughs> the thing. Oh, oh, I've had so much shit. Like, I, it's so much shit I wanted to say saved up. So I'm just getting it all out in the intro. See, all went on that rant. All I could think of is imagine the day when there's no longer a men's section and women's section, but then there's like literally 60,000 different sections of clothing options. 
<laughs> I, I'm surprised <laughs> Odin's been in my presence for 30 minutes now. He's not burst into flame yet. So, yeah. well, <laughs> but... is it you that's supposed to burst into oh, flame? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The other way around. I think I Chris is the buffer. Don't, don't throw holy water on Ryan Odin, please. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I, I packed so many things, but I forgot the holy water. I don't I know. Actually... I don't know how much. If of a you go into the wrong be. booth, though, will it be a hate crime and you get arrested? Oh, sorry, I went to the Zzer and I went to go into the per person. Per <laughs> person. <laughs> Purpose. They just have a dressing room Purpose. for one person each. <laughs> <laughs> and you've all got to go in at once. Yeah. Only one person allowed. That's what it's going to say. And then someone's going to come and be like, I don't identify as a person. <laughs> <laughs> They're already <laughs> those people. And tricking and oh my God. Have as trans, a, I have to take my, a personal day. Uh, <laughs> have you seen the people who like, live like dogs? Uh, I have. Yeah, we know someone like that. Wait, oh, yeah. A dog girl. The cat, the cat girl. She's, she's a dog. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, you just miss hey, it. That's not very there. nice, yeah. Chrissy. Jesus. No. <laughs> <laughs> she lives like a dog. That's I know that women hate each other, yeah. but come hey, on. Hey, I, I know somebody. I know somebody who's friends with a dog. His name is Mahler. Hi, Mahler. That's hey. true. Got a couple dog friends. CJ. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been on Friday Night Tights? Good old cynical reviews. Adam I don't think so. We need to get cynical reviews on for sure. Rags yeah. has been on though. We love Rags. He has. Yeah, he's a good boy. So are you. Don't Thanks give for him coming three beers, in. though. It'll Don't be, give uh, him three beers? That's, that's his limit. Takes. He goes, he, I, he almost blackout drunk at that point. Oh, shit. <laughs> really? Well. Yeah, which is a blessing and a curse, I guess, right? Because you want to be able to take more beer than that. But at the same time, you want to get drunk. So, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I drink three beers and I start being nice to women. I'd almost rather fuck. <laughs> 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 Ryan's like, oh god, who was I nice to last night? Oh. <laughs> it's so true. Hey, thanks for sitting in for Jeremy. Um, yeah, that that space you, you have you occupy a space that's now a little less racist and the IQ slightly a little above warmer temperature. You know, <laughs> wait, he's in my space. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I thought Jeremy's the center. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in Jeremy's. I'm, I'm occupying space of love. He's just I, fucking insulting the shit out of me. I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we have somebody fully British. So I'm. I'm yeah. Pr <laughs> He's Welsh. <laughs> what is what you British. Saying? It's on the they're island. New Zealand. So what's the big hey. deal? I was going to say, you're not no, even on the continent. we have two British people here. M Mahler oh, freely admitted. Fuck like, yourself, everyone. Mahler freely <laughs> admitted yesterday that like the Welsh are more on the teat than anybody else over in the UK. It's so, true, yeah, kind so. of. We don't want to secede because we need you guys over in England. Okay? We like the things. <laughs> yeah. You I guys think take care. It's nice. I know like, it's clear that the New Zealand lockdowns are really getting as... Like he's, got that yeah. crazy <laughs> he's just getting more and more angry all the time. I get it. Buddy. Yeah, it's your prime minister down there. Shouldn't have voted green for him. enough. Chrissy rub my balls. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> and then and only then. <laughs> <laughs> well, the gangrenous that I'm turning oh. into. No, no. <laughs> get that puss out. Yeah, well, she touches him and just fall off. That's what that's what happens when you stream too long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what happens when you just actually evolve. Actually. <laughs> yeah, you got to get that you shit. You know, sorted, medical show. <laughs> <laughs> we are not doctors. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm totally a doctor. Yeah. Neither are chiropractors. People still let them. Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just have office. Every chiropractor I've ever seen goes by doctor first name. That's how you know they don't actually have a fucking medical degree. Mm -hmm. Call me Doctor Dave. I'll snap <laughs> your neck the right way. Yep. Trust them. Or break your back. Well, don't knock until you try it. <laughs> we making jokes about how Professor X kind of snaps his own neck and. Uh, yeah, yes, he does. <laughs> there you go. He's he's like a doctor. God. Professor, doctor, same thing. Yeah. yeah. That's like either way, he'll get offended away. if you don't call him either professor or doctor. <clears throat> Mr. X. No. Mm -hmm. Mr. X. I got yelled at by a Professor so my first year because I called him Mr. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Wow! So, yep. Call yep. me Bill. Wipe <laughs> <laughs> your mouth and get out of my office. Well, then you can just throw that back at him. You'd be like, refer to me. And the second he does, he'd be like, ah, that. Ah, no, that's not how I identify at all. You're offending me already. And he's like, ah, oh, fuck. I am emperor. 
Oh, that'd there be cool. Go. Yeah, just Emperor. That's good. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Uh, I feel like I've fucking talked enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing has basically been an intro. But yeah, we're excited. Uh, we're This is a unique thing. It's fun to be right next to Chrissy and Odin, and uh, we're glad we're able to make the stream happen. Yeah, you can see how short Chrissy is. Hey, <laughs> I'm sitting down. Oh. So are they. <laughs> so are they. When it's women, you go to say petite. It's <laughs> right. short. It's fine. I don't mind short. I, I did actually snap a more embarrassing picture of Chrissy uh, than the Hulk one when she got <laughs> – she didn't even know I took this one. She was in the house for 10 minutes, and she started doing dishes. Like, she literally couldn't no fucking No way. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ryan's like, wow. In here. <laughs> The well, first time Chrissy's ever said that. For what, maybe she's <laughs> just a clean person and saw how you guys live with your Mountain Dew bottles laying on. Not all guys live that way, by the way. More like a Mountain Don't. I, I, uh, no, <laughs> hey. I, I've been way cleaner than I normally would be, like in my own office room, because I want this place to look fucking nice. Everybody else keeps leaving their fucking shit everywhere and it's pissing me off. But no, I'm not going to do dishes. That's obviously every time you bring a woman here, they do it. Well, well, yeah, your dishwasher is there, so yeah, don't break. Just it. get Ryan drunk and he'll do the dishes. Ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I won't, but I will be nice to her when she does. The dishes oh. are good, man. Now, when you're drunk, are you nice to fast food workers as well? Oh, that's um, a good no. question. They're, no, that remains <laughs> yes, the too far. They are fucking garbage. Uh, every fast food <laughs> oh, worker, no. scum of the earth. No, damn. No. I cannot wait till robots replace no. all. No. That's coming soon. <laughs> cool house it's coming soon. About yeah. like the rooms are themed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, there's some themed rooms. They've got Harry Potter room. Odin's in the best room here. Um, I'll let him. <laughs> the just Fredo room. The That's Mickey the Mouse themed room with a bunk bed. It's for babies. Yes. <laughs> it's called the groomer room. The groomer. Uh, room. <laughs> but, it's before you realize Mickey's a rat. <laughs> it's not a room. Yeah. It's the groom. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be your roommate. <laughs> that was the last one, and Odin got here last. So, unfortunately, it's just his room now. That's... There's a little tent in the there corner. There is a little tent. Odin, in... <laughs> if you wake up and Harry Potter's in the bottom bunk room, just fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> no, if Dobby's in the bottom bunk, that's when things really get bad. Yeah. Daniel Radcliffe looks like a bottom bunk, dude. Oh, He's here. He's here for the convention. What? The, all the four hobbits are here. <sighs> Daniel Radcliffe. That's, so that, 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 <laughs> that's, that's Elijah Wood. Oh no! Fake girl. Fake girl. You, always, you always said that fake. Daniel Radcliffe the and all the hobbits. What's the difference? Uh, he does legitimately look like he. Don't look at me. I'm from New Zealand. <laughs> the chat is gonna all right. just. All right, I'm dead. I'm gonna dead. Crucify. I'm gonna kill myself. All right, sorry, 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 sorry. We are. They're both really short with brown hair, okay? They look like children in their entire life. Wow, way to profile Harry Potter. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, They're all the same. Are you trying to say that all white people look the same? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all white people all you white folks look, look the same to me. Like <laughs> 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 stereotypes. Really yeah, about Harry Potter, does it? Like, we talk about comics like he's a hobbit all the time. <laughs> Until we see his hairy feet, then we'll know. Oh, poor Chrissy. It's okay, Chrissy. Oh, let's cut that part out. I'm more embarrassing to me. Than, like, the Hulk and Hulk everything with the Hulk team. is fine, yeah. but Chrissy's <laughs> talking about hopping the up Hulk stuff. Giant cover. <laughs> She's like, we cut that part out where I mix up Daniel Radcliffe with another short white man. Damaging my reputation. <laughs> That'd be so great if she met him. She's like, I loved you in Lord of the Rings. No, that was the other short ass actor. Oh, and sorry. then we could go up to the other one and be like, I love you oh, with yeah. your stupid ass line in Rise of Skywalker. Yes. <laughs> I was well, in no. line at the Giancarlo Esposito talk yesterday, and I was going to ask him what he thought uh, about Gina. I was going to see how, like, if he was going to be honest. Probably not. But I was going to ask, like, hey, do you think Hollywood will ever get to a point where they don't fire people based on politics? And they cut it, like, right before uh, I could ask. I mean, there's a few people in front of me. who he could have asked. He could have asked him, are you going to go watch her, her film when it opens oh, in the summer? Right. He's actually spoke, mm -hmm. uh, like, Giancarlo Esposito has spoken a, a little bit about that in the past. Yeah. Uh, in a pretty positive light towards Gina, and just in terms of Carl Weathers has been very positive. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I wouldn't 
I don't think he would just like shirk off the question, but who knows? He probably says that like Gina's really nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He he. Well, I, no, he is. a couple like a year ago, he was he said something and he like went into detail. <laughs> Essentially, he remember, he, it was Gina he has said that she was like his favorite person to work with. That he really likes her. She's a ridiculous cool. thing Every, to get fired you, over. You got some really bones breaking. Right, I don't here. know what the fuck's going on <laughs> here. <laughs> oh my god! We brought of all the things to get. They bought a basketball hoop. Did they go to Walmart? <laughs> I think so. We now have a basketball hoop in the house. The four hobbits is one of the greatest oh, no. things I've ever heard. <laughs> 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 I think you heard that. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, speaking of hobbits, Jeremy playing basketball. Yeah, he can jump oh, like a hobbit. He's been Damn. talking a lot. Jeremy's been talking a lot about playing basketball. I'm Boy, convinced never. he's going to fucking tear a groin. I hope he uh, does. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen when we play. Uh, you better stream that, dude. You, I want to see. I want to see you guys ball. I do. We okay. will record it for sure. We'll record it for okay. sure. Yeah. Wouldn't it just I be want, drunk holding the ball in the air? It, it would jumping? be yes. And I want like uh, I want it to be super gay, like Top Gun. So <laughs> <laughs> really short shape oil and, and, and yeah. With, yeah. <clears throat> oh, you can Johnny split the teams. Pulled groin, pulled <laughs> hamstrings. <laughs> Johnny's pretty tall. Uh, oh, Molly, I, I caught that. The disc. Ah. <laughs> He's almost as tall as Jay, I think, or real close. And then Jeremy's, Jeremy's not <laughs> short. It, it, Jeremy's not short. So is no. it six foot, six one? Six foot. Six no, one. but the only one here who can duck a basketball is X-ray girl. So <laughs> <laughs> X-ray girl, if she has some hops, she could. She's fucking huge. Yeah, she could dunk massive. a rice ball. Yeah. Oh <laughs> damn. Ooh. I imagine where she grew up in Asia, the basketball hoops are only eight feet tall. She could probably work the English and not the Asians. <laughs> like, even Chrissy was like, wait. <laughs> I love racism. This <laughs> <laughs> is so funny. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> well, I, I just professing his love for racism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pedro, this girl kind of thing. not even here while we're fucking making fun of her <laughs> nation of origin. That's really disappointing. Three men are excitedly <laughs> running upstairs to do. Knows what? Oh, yeah, no. I don't know. No I bet <laughs> oh, there's new Miss Marvel footage. Oh, it's like my birthday. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm told they hey. gave her new powers. She doesn't just have fucking uh, what's his face's powers? Because wasn't wasn't her original Green powers? She was stretchy. basically just yeah. Yeah, she was stretchy. She got she big was basically... fists, so she can now now yeah now she got basically um. Uh, Captain Captain Trump? Marvel's uh uh mega bands. So like he he Okay. And he's got that that's what the, they're not calling him that though. But they they're supposed to be a callback to it and they just they're going to be bands that they she just finds. So mm-hmm. for all the people what I love is all the Marvel stands are out there like theorizing and connecting to it um I promise you this is a, one of the spoilers I know. No, she just finds some fucking bracelets in a box and puts them on and becomes a superhero. <laughs> And they're yeah, not connected like, to uh, anything. Like, just finds the that beach. woman. Yeah, I, I like uh. like originally, and her powers are pretty fucking lame. She just like she has the ability to I don't make her hand big to make every man's dick feel really small. Yeah, that's the people. reason for that. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a Gundam. Is that is that Richard Simmons? Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Gundam. Waiting to exhale, Gundam. Yeah. Welcome, sir. <laughs> I was getting high. And then my don't cabinet worry. ripped itself out of the wall. About a thing. <laughs> I don't think thing. it does that on its what? own. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's one of the upgrades. And we need, How did it happen? I don't know. We need Bob Marley music every time Gundam comes in. I just feel like singing Marley. <laughs> no woman, no cry. <laughs> is that the song you go to? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, uh, that's a good time you came in, Gundam. We're still in introductions, and we haven't gotten to you yet. So that's great. You're right on Are time, you buddy. Are The show started an hour. Yeah, yeah this is kind of normal. I, this is actually a pretty good timing, yeah. I have to say. We were just saying. Just in time for Miss Marvel. Marvel. You are, yeah. and we were just uh, professing. Oh. Well, As was just professing his love for racism. So, oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Which Good. needs to end up in an intro. It's what keeps Maybe us. So we, we all we all know why they're not calling them nega bands as well. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> we 
I'm just saying, I'm just saying Marvel know, know that I could get very, very messy, very Sh quickly. Shout out to all the people in the knitting community out there, by the way. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Just takes one mispronunciation and then Dolls you're done. and takes and it's That's over. It. I okay. love taking oh, it, oh, One cast chances. member to say it wrong on an interview and oh, it's no. all over. <laughs> uh, where were we? Oh, uh, Chrissy. Hi. Hi. It's fun to be here. Yay. All right, next. All right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I already messed up. I hey, did, did you book a gig down there or are you just doing uh, the panel? We have a Simpcast panel tomorrow at six o'clock in one of the rooms at the MegaCon convention. Hall F. What's it called? What's it called? Hall D. Is it? Shit. Ah, hold on, know. hold on. Also, I'm gonna be up. Oh, that's a picture of an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Creator stage, South Hall A, tomorrow at six. Uh, yep, it's gonna be me. It's this live simp cast. It's gonna be awesome. Nice. And then uh, I'm gonna be in St. Louis on the 25th at the Helium Club, and then on the 27th in McHenry, Illinois, with Crypt Daddy at the Vixen, and then in Chicago, we're doing two. Uh, I think one or two simp cast shows at Reggie's in Chicago on the 28th. Right, don't go to Subway. You need to yeah. You, <laughs> at 3 a.m. While, while you're there with Crypt Daddy, you need to park in the handicapped spot. Oh, Just yeah. before he gets there. I'm doing everything handicapped. Perfect. All right, good. There you go. Yeah. I'm I'm doing everything handicapped. <laughs> doing everything. <laughs> I park in handicapped spaces while people make handicapped spaces. I'm an asshole. I love that. Song. I'm an asshole. <laughs> Hi, Odin. You're not an asshole. Hey, what's going on? I try not to be. Uh eight hours in the car. Fun, yeah. fun drive down. But I'm here and I'm happy and I'm excited. Where did you drive from? Uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh wow, is that where you live? Mm -hmm. How I, Odin just stalks himself. <laughs> Odin, uh, uh, like, what's your, what's I've your never address? been. I've never been secret, secret number. <laughs> what's your address? <laughs> Odin? Never been secret uh, about the city I'm from. What's but, uh, credit card number? Odin. He's the, the only member going to happen. happen. <laughs> <laughs> Odin, how you doing? Uh, like when you're outside of your car amongst people, you doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing. the Lord's work. Luckily, it was it was yes. a nice. Uh, I almost died. There's this weird U-turn. Well, right. I almost it was died. Nice. I almost yeah. died. He's a lot more calm about <laughs> that deal. because he's pretty. Of course, he's hot. Yeah. <laughs> if Odin Sounds dies, good. it's straight to heaven, right by God's side. The rest of us are gonna fucking burn. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. like, I almost we'll died. No big company. deal. We got Father yes. Christopher Miller in our back pocket, dude. It's okay. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Ad Father. get nine lives. But other than that, no, it was a smooth, it was a smooth drive down. Uh, just had to do one pit stop. So it was nice. nice. Well, glad you made it. Glad you went outside. Glad you're hanging out with geeks and gamers. That's a good thing. That's good. Progress. Glad to be hanging out with people. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get arrested. That's all I have to say. Don't get Odin monkey pox. Oh, oh, fuck. Fucking what? Monkey pox. Yeah. Jesus. Next scary thing, <laughs> monkey pox. Yeah. Ah, I, mean, uh, I just monkey scrolled pox. by a yeah. Tim Pool's stream yesterday, and he says the U.S. buys up all the monkey pox vaccines as outbreak is civil continuing. war. Oh, <laughs> oh, good news! Like I've been disconnected from the internet for a couple days. All of a sudden, there's fucking monkey pox. Yeah. <laughs> is that Jay with a gun? No, I can't tell. Monkey pox almost sounds like a That's slur. Like, That's yeah. just Jay with a gun. Just oh, sorry. Sorry. I can't yeah. tell from back there. It's... And no shoes. Good Lord, it's bright <laughs> Father Christopher Huila messaged Mr. me and said, I can only do so much. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, Josiah, what's up with those Brie Larson feet, dude? Oh, hey, hey mm. Gary's got a, Gary's got a question fine. for you, Josiah. Wow, those are some yeah. guns. He's already on Wiki feet. What, what's up? <laughs> yeah, right? Was this inspired yeah. by Ezra Miller? He's in Jeez, there. Just what's whatever. up with those Brie Larson feet, oh. dog? What's up with those Brie Larson feet, man? Clean those dogs once in a while, for Christ's sake. Pretty Larson feet. Yeah, we can see them from here. Beautiful hobbit feet. Yeah. I mean, they're only slightly hairier than hers, so. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Good, good. Hey. Well, what do you got? What are you gonna, good to see you. What are you going to go shoot with your freaking squirt gun there? Squirt gun. Um, it's a pretty cool Nerf blaster. Is it a Nerf blaster? Yeah, Nerf. Blaster. We're gonna go blast yeah, yeah. Get it right. Are you gonna do like? Oh god, I'm out of touch. Yeah, really upgraded here. Just go, just go paint. I love that Jeremy's so like 
can't play Fortnite, so we had to go out and buy the guns in real life. Just to kind of <laughs> <laughs> we, get the well, we all need our Fortnite fix somehow. So <laughs> yeah, I got I got another thing. Uh, oh, it's upstairs actually. I bought like an actual like battle bus too. So I have that. It lights up and everything. So you got a potential well, dropping out of it. Yeah, yeah. you gonna do some <laughs> IRL Fortnite one v uh, that and yeah, do that. That's, that's the plan. Yeah, oh, yep. definitely film it. We have. A I, want you, I want you jumping off the bus as well. Yeah. <laughs> And if you see well, a race Skywalker, ah! if you see a race Skywalker, <laughs> beat the fucking shit out of her. Yeah, exactly. Just one guy That's building in a corner. You're yeah. going to have to give me a few hours. I'll be up there in a second. Yeah, Daisy Ridley's double booked this place by accident. She just turns up and fucking just sire and fucking oh Ryan and Jerry just kicking the shit out of her in the corner. Ah! It's actually not a bad idea. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Asking them what their surname is, and if they say uh, Skywalker, you're like, no, no, Palpatine, Palpatine, yeah, yeah. say Palpatine. it, <laughs> do it, say it, <laughs> say it. <laughs> All right, tell I Ryan. Say, I just want to say it's so cool seeing Disbrew on here. So, yeah, oh, it's surreal for me. Great. I've watched this show for awesome. about two years, so to be on it is Great. an experience for sure. Yeah, first time I ever saw Jeremy was on this stream during the Felonian. Oh. I've got to say, like, I was fully on Aziz's side during that entire. Day. My opinion of Jeremy's takes was not very good during that thing, oh, but no. you know, now I've got to know him a lot better. I have to say, my my yeah. opinion hasn't improved at all. No. Like, every, <laughs> every argument that I've ever seen him in, I've always been on the opposite side. That is such a good intro. Yeah, yeah, oh, we're lucky Jeremy can't coming get back. Any of this? None of it. Oh, oh, fine, you're 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 back. Back. Here to hear this. Disbrew oh, hey, is welcome back anytime. I just want to say that. Oh, all right. <laughs> this is the, the first time. Over there, that's a flyover. It's a British representation on here we've really been hurt <laughs> yeah this. yeah this is the first time i've ever been on Mahler as well so what's up Mahler? oh hey dude how you doing how's it going good good, oh. good stuff uh first time i'm meeting this jeremy guy as well i guess <laughs> jeremy. Jeremy. i'm surprised that there's actually a crew to geeks and gamers my mind is fucking blown <laughs> it's like a compound I know it's it's crazy it's not it's just like waco <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> we almost did have some arrests today on the team. Oh. We did. <laughs> FBI, open up! It was like day almost two. <laughs> so <laughs> Ivan and Krista decided to go to uh, a mall. Okay, it was my my it was my idea, but I wanted the illegals to execute my idea. Um, so they decided to go to a mall holding a sign that said "We'll work for green card," and oh. Ivan was dressed up <laughs> like a, you know his Mexican <laughs> poncho, <laughs> and the security guard was. Uh, uh, clearly uh, had some issues with illegal uh, immigration and green cards because she was very adamant about that was an offensive joke and they didn't appreciate it. So they told them to stop. And then by the time I got there, Stephanie, my nearly home was arguing with her uh -huh. and she was basically like, I walked up and she said, well, bottom line is it, it's not funny. I'm like, well, what's not funny. She goes, what they were it. doing. What's this? Said, I understand it wasn't funny, like because she said there are people that are working for their green cards and it's not funny. I said, your opinion of what we were doing has nothing to do with it. If you're telling me that it's against the rules and we don't need to do it, I respect that. But if it's about your opinion, I don't care what your opinion is. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. so they called the police. Wow. <laughs> what? Called the wow. Four officers there, two different cars. Your country's a joke. I was like, let's get out of here. <laughs> so then <laughs> Krista and Stephanie was like, well, let's just go eat at the cheesecake. Cheesecake. Oh, bag. yes, that, that makes sense. Cool. Yeah. That makes everything and then, better. And then let's stay. And then, let's stay. And then, and then, so, I, so, so and then Ivan said, let's fucking steal something since they're coming anyway. We might as well go. <laughs> 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 so then, I've been to this fucking mall. Like, there's literal fucking crackhead <laughs> shit outside, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what they're focused on. Yep. So just uh, be honest. You started screaming in the security guard's face. This is Trump's America now. I should have. Yeah. But the police actually went up to Krista and Stephanie and said, uh, you're not welcome on the premises. <laughs> you have wow. Damn. In, wow. In the security guard's defense, present company excluded. Women usually are not funny. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to argue oh. with those sort of facts. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Is there a rebuttal? No. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, 
Chrissy. No question. No. Those Hobbit movies. No, okay. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, gonna go. I heard Daniel Radcliffe was great in them. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, never had one. <laughs> never. <laughs> Forget. I'm gonna go drown myself in the little pool. Oh no! Oh, stream it first. You can be a thought for a minute until you yeah. drown. Like first, make it like a bubble bath before you drown. Yeah, we gotta get the ratings up. Gotta get those ratings up for show. Sure. Well, you're just trying to look for any excuse. Oh, if you get banned, you could just go fuck people from in, uh, in, from Meta, and uh, they'll they'll release your channel. So that's that's always good. Those suicide ratings are rookie numbers. Wow. Come on. Ow. Sir, Ow. did you not see that video? You only get one shot at it. Of the girl? Like... <laughs> no, a, a suicide video, apparently. Yeah. I, apparently. Yeah. Pay attention, well... I'm going to show you this one. <laughs> Wait, the girl on Twitch almost drowned herself? I did a video on that. No, the girls, different... the girls who what? fucked the employees from Meta to get their bands lifted. Oh, the Instagram. Oh, that was Marvel and DC <laughs> Comics. Yeah. I thought that was how Brie Larson... Never mind. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a couple of sixes. I'm sorry, a couple of girls that were. Uh, yeah, by channel by everyone. I need a link immediately. Oh, dude. Uh, uh, there's. Oh my God. There's. God, there's I'll, so I'll get many Daniel Radcliffe fucking me. I know. I'll find it. <laughs> so a couple of girls went on some podcast, and they, and one of them said, "Yeah, you know, um, I, I met this guy on LinkedIn or whatever from." Uh, no, she Facebook. like hunted them down on LinkedIn. She, no, she, she hunted down Facebook employees. She hunted down Facebook employees and said she fucked them to get bands lifted, and not until not, she got to the plural. one that could lift it. Yeah, it got to the one who could lift it, and then found other ones beyond that. How many yeah. people did she fuck? Was she just like on a train, just hopping? Yes, <laughs> like they a ladder. It, they call it I think a train was involved. Uh... You got your oh fucking have your Facebook fucking account unbanned. Jesus, just make no, another one. Instagram. Just oh, Instagram make is another one. It was her Instagram. Yeah, but it's like the meta company. So. I have no idea. Why did it get banned? Uh, probably because she probably thought to be some honest. Corner shit. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. That's okay. That's okay. We love that stuff on Twitter, but it's not allowed on Instagram for some reason. I don't know. That's weird. Well, but Unless like, where's the line Kimmy. on Instagram? You know, <laughs> Instagram is nipples. Uh, yeah, they will. A lot right? of stuff nips. will get taken down from Instagram. Nips uh, if you aren't popular. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I better keep my nips in their Toronto. place then. See, like, like Toronto, citizen I nips won't do. Yeah, a, a Kyle Dunnigan's banned off of Instagram, I think, or he's shadow banned. What? what? And now he well, knows. He has nipples the size oh, of Kyle, Kyle, deserved. if you're out there, or Kurt, um, now you know what to do. Get up to Silicon Thanks. Valley and bang <laughs> somebody. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say easy solution. Yeah, I had one of my posts taken down for sexual content, but it was it was a stream, and I ma I made slime. It was like this green slime, but it was oh. edible. Oh, wow, it's very so, sexual. That slime. Yeah. <laughs> slime. Somebody over there it has a slime green. fetish. That is not like, slime. This is <laughs> <laughs> it was the whole game. Those yaffa when Chrissy met Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, no. No. I'm not surprised that happened. <laughs> Slime is a fetish. Apparently, it is. So I was eating the slime, and it got all over my oh, face. Oh, whoa! You ate it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it was oh, all right. Edible slime. Well, it was lime flavored. That's a little uh, bit of a uh, guy. See it. Now, so in I'm the playing with slime, and it got all over my face. Now, and <laughs> I got thumbnail for this video. Just like Mark Ruffalo's Hulk smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, like, get down. Like, I like the idea of like 10 moderators content. all check it out. Nine of them are like, this is fine. One of them is like, this is very sexual. All right, well, <laughs> I know. Right. Right. <laughs> Did you say anything like, ooh, it's so gooey? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It was literally just a picture of it all over my, like, dripping down my mouth. I guess it looked oh. like this. Like, oh, oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guess. But it was green. Quote, I guess it looked <laughs> like this. <laughs> I know it was in the list of the after the mouth. After the Hulk, Hulk finally happy. Well. Dude, mm. it tastes like gamma radiation. <laughs> <laughs> the one dude who's had, like, a severe bacterial infection is like, I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here before. Uh, well, I thought what you said earlier, I was like, gamma radiation. I love the 
I love like the fact that Odin's here in person with everybody, and this is literally the most disgusting show that we've it's ever had. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Odin going, I'm so he can't leave. Mistake. It, when we get in person with each other, I feel like it gets elevated. Like when I, elevated when I was, for sure. When I was sitting next to X Ray Girl in the, in the room, she slapped me on stream. I think. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, I did. It was a it was a very baby slap. Yeah. The next one will be better. I'm. I'm yeah. I'm gonna practice. No. It's one thing to say <laughs> something so it. bad wow. someone cringes on like stream, but when I can like physically see Chrissy's reaction to a joke, it's pretty. It's, you know, it's, it's funny. Fun. So yeah. gotta push it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, should we introduce our guest now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, so we'll we'll start ladies first. So we'll start with Zia. Welcome to the show, first timer. Thank you so much for having Donna, me. We'll get to you. Don't worry. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for having me here. Christy, you are so awesome for making this happen and for everybody for saying yes. I feel like she hoodwinked you somehow, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time she's done that to us. <laughs> <laughs> like, this guest will be great. Yes. <laughs> Zia, you guys really We're going to talk about on. Daniel Radcliffe's Star hobby. Wars. <laughs> Radcliffe's her favorite hobby. <laughs> 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 It'd be a great time. You got like a cheat sheet. You can tell long. that story about the cum on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Nick was like, "Why is it green?" <laughs> We've been looking through these memes. <laughs> so many Daniel Rat. <laughs> There's so many. Ryan's been pulling them. Off. If it makes you feel better, Chrissy, they have yeah. interviews with the two of them all the time where they talk about how everybody gets them confused with each other. <laughs> well, so. if you guys go to the con, have Chrissy what? actually do that to Daniel Radcliffe. That would be that would so be good. Hilarious. I Follow enjoyed you with Smeagol, Mr. Radcliffe. Oh, <laughs> oh, that'd be so perfect. He's like, I'm not that ugly. And then Andy Serkis is like, wow. wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just love that I got a chance to meet you. You were in Lord of the Rings. That's such like, that's an adult fantasy compared to that bullshit Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> 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 He punches his heart. You can see his heart just like go in his face. Honestly, he would probably just like nod along and like take the picture or whatever. He would. If I had to guess. He would. For everything about him, he seems like a just very laid back dude. Yeah. Unlike, I love it. Yeah, like, no. No, it's like very publicly like, oh, it's okay. I saw you. And then whispers to you, like, yeah, so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck oh. you. Yeah. yeah. You think you're fucking funny? Mm -hmm. Real joker, aren't you? He's like, yeah. He's in the selfie going, huh? fuck huh? you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the show. Uh, and Thank finally, uh, Jeremy told me about this guy. I this guy's uh, videos came across my channel when uh, I started all this Lord of the Rings stuff. And he's really good. So uh, I'd like to welcome Disparo to the shoe show. Finally, welcome, sir. Thank you. And the shoe. Oh, thank you. I'm yeah. not wearing a shoe. Right shoe. Right. Like, you are the right shoe. So, so the, shoe. <laughs> the shoe. The shoe. My, my channel kind of exploded over the last few months because of that. And like this, like this stream is one of the reasons that I started making videos in the first place. All the stuff about we need more voices and uh, just get out there and make videos and stop trying to make stuff perfect and procrastinating. Uh, all that has an effect on people, so yeah, this stream, something I watched for a while, has definitely had an impact on me. Uh, hey. But the, 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 the so whole filthy. <laughs> Wait, yeah. well, no, I was already like that. I just learned that yeah, you can't say that stuff on the internet anymore. And then you guys come out and say, no, we can hear, we can hear. Yes. <laughs> yeah, um, this crew should let everyone. He's an inspiration. If you have, if you get drunk enough and angry enough and send the Geeks and Gamers Twitter account a message. Y you might get noticed, and that's kind of what happened with him. Yeah, I literally sent him a drunken text that was just like, do you, do you need videos from anyone? <laughs> so, probably don't, but, you know, if you do, just get, like, get in touch. I, I, I was like, like six great. videos. Like, yeah, I was like, this guy's sending me a, a, he's got a fucking squirrel as a profile picture. He's sending me a, a random <laughs> message on the Geeks Game account, very angry and bitter because his videos aren't getting viewed. <laughs> and so I, I'm thinking I'm going to click on his me dog shit. I click on him like, Holy shit, these are really good videos. <laughs> and uh, next thing you know, he's here. And he's killing it. But yeah, this brew's awesome. So you're just confusing angry and bitter with being British. It's sort of a natural <laughs> state. Yeah. If they knew the context of that one, this brew. <laughs> yeah, politely, been yeah. working to bitter. do that stereotype. Okay, we're very oh, not. I'll play up to it. Okay. I've got the bounty for the New Zealand. Ignore the uh, bridled rage titles for my videos. Okay, that's just a calm way of saying we're upset. 
Uh huh. But <laughs> it's very nice. But yeah, I got into it. all the Lord of the Rings stuff simply through Wheel of Time, and I don't think Amazon realised that every time you annoy a fan base, you're not just annoying that fan base. You've got every single person you've annoyed before also will come along and warn the new people. This is yeah. what they're doing. Don't give them the chance. Don't wait for season three, as has been said by some people. Uh, we know exactly <laughs> where this is going, and um, I, I just think. We need more. Like, I do agree that we need more people standing out against this stuff yep. because eventually there is going to be a point where if you're fine with it all, they're going to come for yours next. And exactly. my original point when it came to Wheel of Time was, I did the reviews. I think I had like 1.8k subs. I'm like, I'm going to try and grow my channel as much as possible. So the next time Wheel of Time comes around, I'm going to nuke them even harder. <laughs> so oh, yeah. so far, it's been going quite well. Hell yeah! And it'll, it, that you, you that'll triple, that'll quadruple the next time you're out because now they know and people have been seeing it. You've kind of planted your seed. You know, I did I, I did that so with Lord speak. of the Rings. Yeah. So to speak. So to speak. Uh it's good to plant your seed. You know what I'm saying? Especially mm. if you're a dude. Uh now I, I it's 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 been spectacular with Lord of the Rings. It's, what is going wrong with the show? I don't know. I'm just kinda I just roll with it. That's you get your a dirty theme. mind that's ruining it out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Zaz's fault. Yeah. Zaz's fault. yeah. What have you what have you been not more. participating in this stream or something as? I just I, mm -hmm. I, I don't think you've been quiet this entire stream. I think you've been. You have not had his consent to make I, these jokes. I have not <laughs> said a word. I have been good as gold. You're mate. offending Gundam for Christ's sake. You know how you know how <laughs> that impossible that is, but it's possible. How did I offend Gundam? Uh, it's so it's funny. I, I'm sorry. I'm going to share a, a Gundam. It's night. Nice. We we had a nice chat it with me. Gundam after a uh, open bar yesterday, and we we got to hear like Gundam has a mom. And his mom uh, says he's not bringing it hard enough. She he needs to turn up the the raunch a little more, a little raunch, be a little more edgy. I love that Gundam's mom's like, stop being a pussy. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wow. <laughs> like I'm complaining about life as I normally do. I'm well known for that. And she goes, see, this shit you talk about is funny. Not what you're doing on YouTube now. And I'm like, I can't say these things on YouTube. What don't you understand? <laughs> It wasn't like she's like, stop being a big Mary and talk about those homos. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what she was doing, though. She's doing it in a very nice mom way. Just pick yeah. up what she's putting oh. down. And then she requested <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> and you better have given it to her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, man. Brought you into this world. You're like, Mom, if I talk about the homos, they'll cut off all the money. <laughs> <laughs> it was Ryan who said at that time, Mama Susan, not me. <laughs> uh, I don't think she's going to care who said it. It'll affect, That's true. Yeah, it'll affect me, but I don't care. It, I was telling Jeremy the other day, I, there was there was an old man. Old, old people are just based as hell, but sometimes it doesn't mean they're extremely racist also. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I legitimately ran into the first, like the first person to actually say something racist that I've heard in a long fucking time the other day. But uh, apparently I, they were just comfortable telling me for some reason. <laughs> yeah. They looked at your face. <laughs> what a surprise. They said, this is one of us. This is one of us. <laughs> <laughs> this is a kind of a guy. service workers. <laughs> we were in a cloud like outfit at that point. Lincoln, he was <laughs> it's like this 90-year-old man. We're just sitting in a Publix. And uh, out of the blue, I'm standing behind him. He just turns to me. He's like, you know, i got to be honest with you. And it's, a, it's a black dude. <laughs> who's, who's up there like getting like trying to work through the line is like i don't know how comfortable i feel with the black serving me <laughs> and i was like oh Whoa. my god that's what, he, that's what wow he's, it's a it's the first actual racist thing i've heard in, in a long time in like, like, legit, like legitimately yeah. in like a decade yeah. yeah not like the last jedi is a terrible fucking movie yeah. not that <laughs> <racist>. <laughs> that kind of racist <laughs> <laughs> not like my batman review right yeah. um, <laughs> But clearly, this guy must have watched my Batman review. He's so comfortable. <laughs> and then he talked about all of his experiences at, with food service, and he almost won me over, to be honest. But, uh, <laughs> he, had he, had he had some convincing point. arguments. <laughs> he had some convincing arguments, but yeah, like, I could not believe that that happened. What is this? Uh -oh. Oh, no. Is this is this guy? Is this the guy? I can tell by this haircut. Is, I'm is this the it. guy you were talking to? Great question. <laughs> you're not a scientist. You're not a gender studies major. No. How do you know that you're a man? I guess because I got a dick. <laughs> Take it to him, Grandpa. 
Oh, it's the guy. The, it's the guy <laughs> yes. that told the politician to if you're if you're packing heat, then oh, the get out. The, you know, guy. you're not a man, whatever it was. He's got had his little. This thing is the Star Wars. No, this, this is the tra uh, a transitioning person called this guy out because he told. I guess he called him a man in a shop or something. He owns a Star Wars shop in Washington. Yeah, yeah. This, this mm -hmm. went viral. Yeah, they were they were a politician. They were, the, the trans person was yeah, a politician. Yes, yes, yes. Politician that went into a store basically trying to antagonize him. Uh, mm. And uh, he wasn't putting up with it. He he was like, no, fuck you. Like, I'm not going to put up with it. The guy's awesome. Wow. He served in, like, Vietnam, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. After Vietnam, you're really not going to take shit from a dude to dress. No. I can't believe <laughs> <you're kidding. laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, now, that's man. the kind of shit your mom wants to hear, Gundam. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, that guy's awesome. He's yeah, face Don uh, Sucher, right? Don yes. Sucher he might yes. be the guy you talk to. Hey, he kind of, <laughs> he kind of looks the same. <laughs> right? So we can't play that trailer because we'll get struck. What? Can't play the trailer of the. Yeah, I, I just wanted to play that part. Uh, yeah. That's all we could get away with. That's all we can get away with, and I might not get away with that because. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but the the most interesting part of my story was one. It's first time I'd actually heard a racist comment for real in like five or ten years. But also that he just like saw me and felt a connection. <laughs> I know I can entrust this man with my secret racism. Hey, Chris, I honestly can't like, blame too him. Many black people in Batman. <laughs> <laughs> he just, was he wearing an OK Outpost T-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> he was in a Geeks and Gamers hoodie. Yes, and I want you to know I'd buy all your merch. Was it actually Jeremy that you were sat next to? <laughs> no, no. I wouldn't have thought anything of that. Hey, uh, hey Gundam, thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. I had to it. take time off of being Pete Davidson's stunt double. I landed a job with him where I now go where he is, and I allow Kanye West to beat me while claiming that I have AIDS. <laughs> it's good money. Hey, you got to take it where you can get it, man. That's all you can do. You got to take care of mama. So this is how you do it. Does that mean you uh, have to go down on Kim Kardashian? Ugh. You know what? Let's see what's going on there. Why not? <laughs> It'd probably be like licking a pool toy or something. I don't to know. boldly go where that. every other black entertainer has gone before. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I can't believe you said that. Jesus Christ, this is a racist job. <laughs> I'm telling you, he brings it out of you. <laughs> I, I, know, I don't want to bring it out don't of don't me, okay? Are there are words that I stopped saying a long time ago until I met Ryan, and now, like in my real life, I'm like, Ryan, stop fucking saying those words around me because I'm starting to say them again. Stop. How come yeah. I have a feeling it begins oh with God. J and ends with ooh? ooh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> are you trying to say ooh? No, I'm being really, really safe with what I just said. I, I, that. I was too busy video voting on who's the dirtiest Jane member of Friday Night Live. Oh, okay, okay. Now we're doing racist uh, Mad Libs. I don't know. I that it. sounds like a question. That sounds like a question to me. It's Gunther. racist Pig Latin. <laughs> 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 That's not my fault. I need that money to pay my bills. <laughs> oh, God, I shouldn't be here. I'm going to be in trouble. No. <laughs> what, dude? I, I wouldn't worry about it at all. Uh, here's a stupid. Gundam comes YouTube. to here and he's like, "Oh, I, I gotta be careful. People are gonna be after me if I appear with these people." That's <laughs> no, I show up. In the, in the <laughs> it's hurting my new clean image. I was about to be the next Mister Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, kids. Do you know how to escape a bad heroin trip? You level off of cocaine, and then a train comes out with a little pack. I got it all planned out. My sister could have learned from you. <laughs> so could Carrie Fisher. Oh. 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 Wow. Some, somebody got oh, oh, that one. Was low. I'm in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Everyone's really. like, it's too well. soon. She's been dead three years. <laughs> so, uh, what do you get? Okay. Let's talk about Halo first, then we'll watch Miss Marvel footage. Then somebody wrote a nice, scathing. No, it's a lovely thing about. And Disparu and I are mentioned in it. It, and apparently, Ooh. even though this is the first time we've met, we have a plan. We're pretty good, dude. We're pretty <laughs> fucking good. I knew it. We're, yep. we're creating a certain narrative, apparently. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But uh, Why, are I, you writing the shows? But I know like some people saw the Halo, and they want to get it off 
their chest and that's fine. I, d- I don't care, but I think it, I like, it does fall into the whole bait and switch thing where to where we can make a legit list at this point. I don't know how big it'd be five or six, maybe I think of legit bait and switches just in the last two years. Gary, don't worry. You don't need to convince anybody. Don't care. Cause you already just said they sold the halo. It's the halo. <laughs> it's the halo to me. Yeah. It's like my dad. Are those the Pokemon the Facebook? When we went to the Walmart, you know, Dude, we're going to watch the halo. Is... Hall of Garden, and he brought up the halo again. <laughs> Everything I don't know gets a the in front of it, okay? Hi. Hi, Krista. Hi. Hi, Krista. All right, Krista. Um, all right, so the halo. I'll, we'll talk about the halo. The halo. <laughs> I was watching the halo on the YouTube. <laughs> Uh, and, and then I got on the Twitter and, and then uh, the tweeted about it. No, um, but uh, yeah, so Halo. Um, now, I only saw the first episode. And like I said, when I saw the trailer for Halo, I said it had Last Jedi vibes written all over it. Uh, mm-hmm. I got a lot of criticism about that. Yes, a lot of you people did. were just coming at me and say, oh, he's just he's just looking for rage clicks. No, it, it was always going to be bad the moment you saw the direction they were taking it in. And so ultimately... Spoiler alert, we just got to, uh, was it the season finale last yeah. night? Yes, yeah, so yeah. the season finale, yeah. and Master Chief essentially committed suicide, and then <laughs> Rana has what? now uh, inserted herself yeah. into him. We, we, we're going to have to explain <laughs> this. For Is that in the game? No it's so much worse okay. than you're actually saying. Yeah, it yeah really it's is. actually a lot Father, worse. Have you, did you watch the series? I have been dragged through the entire thing by Rags and Fringy because okay. they actually okay. like That's it. what friends are for. Oh, boy proper context man so mechanically right he's a super soldier that has been entwined with like an ai into his brain biologically and she Mm -hmm. fucking talks to him all the time and he talks to her all the time it's wonderful i get to share the feeling all the time do do they fall in love in the show sounds uh, like probably she watches him eventually yeah um i mean he's yeah she watches him fuck. it's a very old in the show yeah he spends yes. more time being naked in no. the show than actually and she looked really miserable Katana. when he was with that covenant spy yeah, she did. <laughs> her expressions are funny <laughs> anyway uh her original design was to completely take over him eventually uh but she goes rogue and she wants to work with him instead but in the finale he has this moment where Shit. all these big old covenants are coming from like covenant aliens and uh and his friends are like dying almost <sighs> out but he's got to get this <clears throat> big old artifact and so He's like, I can't. She, she even concludes, like, you can't do this. You'd have to choose one or the other. And he says, but if you take over my body, you can do all of it. Because obviously she's way uh, better than him. Uh, uh, and then, and why, have the, in order then? That, why have a man in it? Why in order this? for that to happen, though, he needs to, like, die. Yeah, that it's was weird. Little... He, did, he didn't need to. He voluntarily well, did that and just walked out in there for no reason. Well, so I was actually going to ask you guys about that. I got fucking confused watching this. He like ki- let he just commits suicide, and then she takes over the body once he's dead, mm. and just you know wrecks. She's she's just the best Spartan you've ever seen. The first um, time we've actually seen like Master Chief look like Master Chief is when Cortana takes over his body. Yeah, because yeah. she shuts him the fuck up. <laughs> he doesn't talk about his feelings stops anymore. Talking constantly, <clears throat> keeps his armor on. Yeah. Now let's whip. When people ask him questions, he just looks. He doesn't actually say shit. (laughs) And the first scene with Cortana is some of the creepiest stuff you've ever seen because she's literally created to kill him, to wipe his mind. And she's all like, oh, why can't I take over his mind? Why are you stopping me from actually killing this man? And she's saying it in this really happy tone of voice. And she's just like, no, we, we still need him. We still need him. But you created me so that I could kill this man. He's like, what on earth are you talking about? And then later on, she starts shaming him because he's uh, he comes across as just shut up. I don't want you in my head. Why are you spying on me? And she's still like, but we're partners. It's like, but we know that she wants to kill him right from the start. And she had, so she comes across as completely evil upon her creation. And then at the end, she's trying to be like, well, okay, but this time I'm killing you for your own good. And when he, he walked, like she could wipe his mind at any point, but the only thing I can even try and make it make sense is that somehow uh, that she, he thinks she wouldn't do it. So he puts himself into a position of danger. So she has to take him over. Yeah. But the, this entire series, not only is it some of the most boring television I've ever watched in my life, but it contains scenes which are thick that there's there's nothing to them every character oh, doesn't act reasonably but it thinks that it's some like top draw a class writing that you just can't comprehend oh, it's star trek a, an abysmal show yeah. Uh, trek, yeah this is far more but like picard and stuff may be more damaging to the law because this is set in a different universe but 
Halo has some of the worst episodes of television I've ever seen, just because it is so boring. Nothing. You can be seven episodes in, and the plot hasn't moved on from the end of the first one. Like, like in the entire first series, you do not see a Halo. The people like, behind the, the show have admitted that they didn't even they didn't even study the games or, or anything yeah. Yeah. about the lore yeah. in order to do this Which show. Which like, what a weird flex that you're basically saying fuck you to every fan who's grown up playing those games for years. My husband won't even watch it. I, I'm not going to either. I'm not like also I'm not a huge Halo fan. I've played a little bit of the games, but not like him. Uh, oh. And and he uh, same thing was just like I'm absolutely I'm not I'm not even gonna watch it. And I feel like. I had a friend who wanted me to hate watch. So I love Doctor Who, like fucking love Doctor Who. The last uh. three seasons. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Don't. Uh, I already see everybody's faces. I had a friend who was like, well, wh I watched the first season with fucking what's her face and and um, Ch and Chibnall. Whitaker. And I was like, uh, yeah, with Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall. And I, I was like, I can't watch this anymore. This is so terrible. So I just stopped. And he was trying to get me to hate watch it with him. And I was like, I don't even want to give them my views. And I feel like it's sort of the same thing with Halo. If there are certain things that I'll watch, but some things like I just don't want to give it the view. VPN. Gary like, made me hate watch a Christmas episode of Doctor Who, and I'll never forgive him. <laughs> I couldn't even be bothered after the first episode of Halo. I I, I, look, I couldn't even be bothered to fucking pirate that shit. It was right. just, the first episode said everything that I needed to know that this is nothing to do with Halo. This is not Master Chief. This is just some fucking ridiculous story which you're gonna. You're going to create, you know, like a Picard. You just, it's our universe. So we got a story to tell. You know, it's called fucking Halo. You know, it yeah, helps when you got a fucking else, Halo then. to go yeah. on to a fight. But no, I, and I saw the, like, on, on social media, I'd, I'd see people po every week posting the the absolute shit of the week from Halo <laughs> that week. You know, yeah. it's like episode one takes itself off for no fucking reason. And we're just like, what? Episode two, he's got no fucking outfit on at all. Episode nope. three, his fucking ass is out and Katana's fucking rubbing it with lotion or something. <laughs> you know, and like episode, you know, then it's a da -da -da. episode five. Now he's fucking a covenant spy because he's a fucking retard. <laughs> yeah. Which will lead to the fall of him. Episode and 10, he trying fucking to... kills himself. Unbelievable. So that a fucking female AI can take over his body and do everything better. Ra -ra -ra? Even Alana yeah. Pierce was like, I'm fucking oh. done. Even she tapped out of that show and was like, peace. Also, I fucking hate that actor that they chose for Master Chief. I've waited on that guy a bunch and he sucks. He sucks so much. <laughs> Wait, I just want to throw that out there. I throw um, him under the bus every time he gets brought up. I'm just like, I fucking hate boring. that guy. Look, even <laughs> the creator of it. Halo has said, <laughs> I, I don't know what choices they're making for this show. Because he's left. Oh. He left the show. Yeah. No, 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 the, no, the, no, the show. Halo, oh, sorry. Oh, the creators sorry. of actual, actual I was the Halo. Years ago. Sorry, Gary. The was, Halo. The Halo. Uh, the Halo. The actual yeah, creator I, of the the franchise. Oh, okay. Was just like, I, was like I, I have no idea. He got tagged in a conversation on Twitter, and he's like, "I have no idea what's inspiring the show. It certainly wasn't the Halo that I created." <laughs> yes, the Halo. No. See, I I was, that, he so said the Halo too, so he's right. If you go back to when Halo Three came out i talked about this earlier but like master chief in a lot of ways rivaled mario as the face of gaming and, and kind of a different face of gaming he was unbelievably popular and iconic and halo has seen a lot of problems since three like the games yeah but it's well, still since kinda, three four three took over right yeah. yeah and so it has seen a lot of problems but it still didn't take away from the fact that you had a great opportunity to take this iconic character with a great story and do something with him but they never wanted to do that their intent was to always disrespect him tear him down as the man and push their nonsense into it it's it's just the same song and dance it's it's, the, it's he man all over again do you guys hear there about, was an um, entire episode Sorry, 343 apparently pushed back on the sex scene they didn't want it really uh, but apparently they got overruled that's funny because 343 Isn't... i didn't want fucking halo five or four <laughs> no i know it's just like it's kind of incredible it's, it's, it's like hearing about if ryan johnson was like please don't bring back palpatine this is like oh my god <laughs> 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 that entire scene though as well she betrayed him about 20 minutes after waking up the next day so she wasn't even loyal to him for 20 minutes and then there was an entire episode oh, like woman, all about yeah, Juan, <laughs> i was waiting for which, ryan to say which that a character that they completely invented and that episode which focused on her had maybe three 
Halo references in it, and they were just basically guns from the actual series. Apart from that, it had nothing to do with Halo at all. And in fact, we've reached the end of the series, and nobody knows why Quan is even here. It was completely unrelated I, to Master Chief's story no flood. at I all. I can't believe no they gave no her a full episode. There's a whole episode yeah. with just her as POV, and it's just like, is this seriously going to be 50 minutes of this character was... no one cares about? She was so smug at the end of the episode. Her entire character arc is that she can get other people to do stuff for her, and then she feels like she's done it all. And she was so smug at the end of that episode, where the, where the yeah. guy had just gone that out and like killed everyone for her. And she was like, oh, that was amazing. I've saved my planet. You didn't do anything. Oh, you know what one of my favorite parts for her is? She's handcuffed to a motorcycle, and she hits it with a rock and it breaks. <laughs> yeah. What? She breaks she open. She can break metal with a rock. With a fucking rock. We wow. were all just like, oh... You know what I All thought? Right, in that scene, I thought she got a rock to break her hand to pull it through, and I'd be like, well, this will be like some kind of sacrifice that she has to do. Yeah. No, she could just break a bike. Have you not heard of girl power? Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, her girl power is having a tantrum, and when she has a tantrum, she can do whatever she wants, and everyone will just love her for it. Yeah, yeah sounds like my dating. The worst, the worst haircut women have, the better oh, they are at everything, apparently. Dude. When they flash back That's and she true. has normal hair, it was yeah. like, why can't she just have normal hair? hair? Why did you give her the weird hair? <laughs> did they do the I... side shave hair? Oh, they got two. Two the side shaves with a mullet. Like they put a fucking bowl on her oh. head. She yeah, she has like a mushroom haircut. Just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why did he terrible. do that to every fucking strong female character? God, it's Seriously, annoying. don't date girls that have shaved their heads. Take but it number one, me. she wasn't a strong female character. Well, not now. She was shit. <laughs> she was a My shit favorite part character. of the entire show is where she got high and started fighting Master Chief, and it's like a compilation of just him annihilating yeah. her over and over again for about three minutes. <laughs> it was pure entertainment. Sounds like misogyny to me. Did you guys <laughs> see the tweet where someone was like, well, you have to admit, though, the action scene's incredible. I was very happy to see that one of the most popular oh. responses was just someone with keys. And I was yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it seemed like it was, what, 90 million bucks for this, so about $10 million per episode. Yeah. It's mm. not a lot. Like, when you think about it that way, they're like, oh, I can't believe they spent $100 million on this TV show. It's like, yeah, okay, but that's like three like this is like three and a half movies essentially and you have the budget of much less than you would have for three or four movies with this type of cgi and it right. looks like it too it's why we even saw in like the mandalorian and stuff where you'd have something that looks good but then you also have that like second episode rhino scene that just looks like fucking terrible yeah, it's terrible so it was really inconsistent yeah. cgi yeah, the, the um, and they're committed to two seasons Yep. So they got to make yeah. another season of this yeah. animation. Oh, I hope on, um, no one watches it. The Spartans running around and doing all kinds of acrobatic stuff. Like, it's so inconsistent, the animation quality. Like, sometimes it's like, oh, that looks like terrible video game stuff. But then sometimes it's like, oh, that looks okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what whenever, happens. Whenever it goes POV into Master Chief when he's shooting, I just I just cringe. It's, oh, it's so great bit. Dude, it's so, so pandering. Cringing. Like, it's like look, you like the games. Like, you don't. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you haven't even fucking played them. Uh, we are almost in, in the finale. It went. Viewers, by the way. Oh, oh, wow. I'm watching it. Uh, in the finale, there's a great bit. Like, goes first person. You can see his ammo counter, and he's got 15 bullets, and he fires off about 30. And it counts yeah. down, but it doesn't match the ammo at all. It's like <laughs> he didn't even bother to count the how many bullets he fired. <laughs> That's he's got two bullets. He fires another five off. It's ridiculous. That's paramount. They got the uh, the moons of Jupiter mixed up in fucking Picard, a science yeah. fiction show. <laughs> Uh, in their finale, which is great. Uh, Major Grin, by the way. Got to shout out Major Grin. Has been killing fucking Kurtzman for years now. If you want to see every inconsistency ever in Kurtzman Trek, go to Major Grin's channel. Subscribe to him. They're short videos and they're funny as hell. Well done, sir. Uh, oh, you guys can keep going mm, on Halo. Major Grin, I, yeah, I, yeah, massive. Like, Subscribe to Major Grin. Yeah, Halo is is just the latest. It, I mean, uh, freaking Rings of Power will be next. So this is not a surprise at all. Gary yeah, Kenobi is next. Kenobi is next. I'm You're so right. Scared. Oh my god! Yeah. I keep yeah. blocking it on my my mind because I don't give a fuck. Isn't it weird? Just <laughs> <laughs> because you're racist, Barry. <laughs> Dude, they've it's, a, a it's, it's, it's following the pattern yes. to a T. The breadcrumbs we've had about what's going to be in Kenobi are all the worst news. It's like, yep, that that that. Okay, we're we're almost there now on the doorstep. 
Yeah, look at the marketing. Yeah. I mean, they've they've got they've got this uh, this chick. She's just in every interview with Hayden Christensen and Hugh McGregor. Every freaking interview. You're like, well, she's the person? star, Jeremy. Yeah. So you know, exactly. Tony Fett. And why call it Obi Wan? Then don't call it. Obi-Wan. Just do it something else. Do something because, else. Because don't they know that. they they know they can't pull the numbers. Hey, look, don't uh, worry. The, the first oh. episode will have a lot of him probably, but then. You'll mysteriously start uh, fading into the background, probably. Is like Homer go on? Like Homer into the hedge. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. And, and you'll come back in the end. Said that that the showrunner did say that Kenobi is like uh, Logan <laughs> yeah. and Joker. That's, and Joker. Logan and Joker. That's. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And, and it's a love story. He's a new, edgy Obi Wan. <laughs> you get what you fucking, fucking just, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> slices them with a lightsaber. I mean, imagine like Obi Wan walking through a hallway, just laughing, <laughs> <laughs> smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> no, Obi Wan and Darth Vader—they have unfinished business. Like, yeah, no shit. We saw in Episode Four. You dumb. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are supposed to go. We know there's bad blood. And he says, this time Obi-Wan won't get the high ground. It's like, <laughs> come on. But oh, there's so much so much what, stuff what, between what, them what, 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 we haven't what, 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 seen. What, 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 did, did, they, did he say that in the trailer? He said no. that in an interview. They did a big interview. Oh, um, in an interview. Okay. Yeah. And I, I'm sharing this, too, because I saw this stuff today. It, it's – I don't even – what do you say about Star Wars anymore? Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi actor Rupert Friend admits he deliberately did not see the animated interpretation of the Grand Inquisitor to prepare for the live action role. <laughs> it, that's the only part where he exists it is in Rebels, right? So yes. the idea that you would not watch any of it in order to prepare for your live action role it is par for the course for, for Kathleen Kennedy's Lucasfilm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, he's Lays quoted as saying, by anyone. the way, he's quoted as saying, we wanted to do something fresh that honored and was faithful to the spirit of the character. How can you be faithful to the spirit of the character when you don't know what the fucking spirit of yeah. the character is? Because you didn't watch it. I, I, told I, him not to watch it. I really want to honor no. the character as I saw him. What must have been a still frame shot. Uh, <laughs> and so I almost <laughs> deliberately did not see the animated interpretation. That is where it comes from. Right, that it's makes no like, goddamn sense. No, that's the ar- like that's the art of bullshit. Yeah, that's, 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 that's that is, is the is art wrong. of bullshit. That is, I could not be bothered to watch that stupid fucking cartoon, and I'll just give them some bullshit line like it's some for some artistic reason. I didn't do any research for my work. Dude, look, I love this too, man. Myself and Deb Chow and Dave Filoni and all the guys really oh, wanted to no. do something fresh that honored and was faithful to the spirit without doing any kind of impression of anyone else's. Dave Filoni did Rebels. So, like, Dave Filoni is the one that was responsible for all that shit. So, they all didn't want to follow what Dave Filoni wrote, which is par <laughs> for the course for Dave Filoni. But, like, my God. Did you hear Kathleen Kennedy today mm-hmm. talk about, like, what they're not going to do with Obi-Wan with, with connecting an array? I, I saw the article. I didn't read, but I bet she was basically saying that would be disrespectful to George Lucas's, you know, storytelling. Oh, God, <laughs> yes. What? Yeah. What's going no. on around here, dude? They, they they have no idea what's going what on. Is she fuck? gone or is she here? <laughs> <laughs> I just, speaking of, I got a guy who knows. On it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do, oh, I st- do I still have that? Is Paris, I still have that. that thing is awesome. Kennedy's going <laughs> <laughs> status <laughs> is very <laughs> clear. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> has been and will be till she's ready to be gone. Perry, exactly. if you're out oh, there, yeah. pop it on Discord if you're out there, Perry, please. Exactly as we said for years. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's that, still there. Quote, Wait, I think I might have the uh, the thing still. That quote is, has the same energy as the one from uh, John Halo, where he's like, "Gotta John take Halo. the mask off because how, otherwise, how can you tell how the person feels?" It's like, yes. oh. And did you not watch actor. The Mandalorian? I, <laughs> to be fair, he accounted for that. He said, "Unlike The Mandalorian, because The Mandalorian has rules, though." So, oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. And then, oh, Ruben, and like, I think Mandalorian was like so fucking mediocre all the way through. From the beginning, was showing. Did we cross 14k? 14k! 
Yay! Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is that like our biggest, that's our biggest, biggest. non-Alex Jones screen? To celebrate, yes, we're going to play you the Halo sex scene in slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. Please don't. I hear it's very tender. It's tender. <laughs> playing as sex Men scene in, in slow motion, half speed, he lasts one minute. In 18 seconds. Oh, it's man. not 38 it's seconds. Fucking Olympic levels, that is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know as well, the wheel of time's 38 seconds. No, he, I do actually, not blame Ryan, you at all. If you if you fast for if you slow down my 38 seconds, it's still 38 seconds. It's still <laughs> oh, it's thir- I thought it was 39. I gave you an extra second. <laughs> as my bad. Uh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got the Kathleen Kennedy thing. Oh, you do it. Also, uh, load it up. I don't know what I don't know where you want to stick it. You, you guys saying that uh, Mandalorian is like mediocre? Us. That's very generous of you. Uh, I know. I'll stick it in Twitter, maybe. Oh, the reason I said that is because one thing that they did do a very good job of is using body language for the Mandalorian, because that's obviously not Pedro in there anytime. It's the mm-hmm. other stunt actors that are doing a good job of it. But they did a great job of him conveying exactly what he is thinking or feeling a lot of the yeah. times in that show. Um, <laughs> It, so the idea that you couldn't do that with Halo, put it in Twitter as actually with, right with John Halo, yeah, is so John, dumb. John Halo, <laughs> it's, no, yeah, dude, it's absolutely bullshit. It's, it's just the actor trying to make the show seem better. Yeah. It's like, well, yeah, I mean, I've talked about like I'm not a big fan of the live action GI Joe movies, How but that hurts Channing Tatum, baby, no, fuck you and fuck him. But anyway, Aww. um. But there's a scene with Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow in that where they have a, a fight and you know Snake Eyes defeats him and you can see how Snake Eyes yeah. feels when it's when he defeats him. You can see the emotion and how it was tiring for him while the mask is on. It's such a exactly. cop out for somebody to say that. Yeah. And those movies are terrible. I, mean, I like that as, scene. As but good as Henry scene, Golding yeah. is, I do have to agree, Jeremy. Yeah. The thing is as well, you take the mask off Master Chief and he's got one expression anyway, so you may as well just keep the helmet there. I don't, I don't know what yeah. kind of direction this guy was given, but have some expression on your face. You're supposed to have emotions now, so use them. Yeah, and even like, I mean, and I know the movie didn't uh, succeed to get a sequel, but generally everyone that saw it loved it, and that was Dread, you know? And and, and not that there was a, like, we still connected with that character. Gone? You know what I mean? Even though... <laughs> yeah, because the eyes are important, but they're not the only way to tell how people feel. We got this video. I'm trying to pull something. Uh, I'm trying to whip something out. Hang on a second. Oh. Excuse me while I whip this out. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> it's, no, it's the, oh my God. The, Has she gone or is she here? <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy's employment status is queer. <laughs> 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 oh, man. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty bad. She's still employed. It's pretty bad <laughs> with everything we've just heard. And then years ago, it was like, she's out. Like, she ain't out. Well, no, <laughs> she was in, out, in, out, shaking all about. You do oh, the okie okay, okay, yeah, and you turn you know that, around. Yeah. If you go ahead one That's what these videos are all about. I think everybody here on this panel, uh, I, I'll try to speak for everybody, but I think everybody here wanted her gone. <laughs> yes. There's no doubt that a lot yeah, of people sure, want right. a lot of wishes. That's why I stopped watching YouTube coverage about her being out of Disney. I was like, oh, thank God. Star Wars is saved. <laughs> oh, it yeah, is. but it'd be like Seriously. firing Hitler and then the just highest. You know, you, yeah, Hitler, they're, they're not going to replace her with Stalin. someone Stalin better. Stalin was, uh, yeah, so no, you lost about, Hitler, like, you got Goebbels. Yeah. We were talking about like years ago. We were like, if Purples. you get rid of her, you this this it's the head. Of the, you could say it's the head of the snake, but this thing's a hydra. So yeah, it this is. is hydra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it is. It's true. Like just her, she's not the only problem with Lucasfilm. She never has been the entire time. But um, it, it is clear that she is going to be there as long as she wants to be there. Eventually, she will die or leave. <laughs> <She's cool. laughs> well, there's there's like seventy. Three years old. She's fucking old. Yeah, so, she's uh, very young. The sands of time will take. The her. person who makes oh, Pablo Hidalgo is there. As long as he's there, he will be a problem in that story group. But there's also Michelle Rajwan, who doesn't get brought up enough. Who is was fucking Jar Jar Abrams' assistant. Assistant. He he's got fucking people everywhere that make things. She was suck. in charge of writing all the endings to his movies and TV shows. <laughs> not him. I don't know. No, <laughs> definitely no, not him. no, no. Yeah. There's, there's not a 
Kathleen Kennedy is not the answer anymore as far as like if she's gone. There is a there's a disease at Lucasfilm. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and in order to start getting HPV? rid of the disease, you have to you have to get rid of Kathleen Kennedy first. But there's still a lot of work to do. And so it's just going to take forever. And I don't I don't see that being the focus anymore. It's just a cultural problem. Yeah, that, that place has got a disease. It's infected throughout the entire place. There are people there that obviously don't like what's going on, but it doesn't matter. They have no power. And if they had uh, a voice, they would get shot down. Uh, ask Gina Carano about that um, because you're not allowed to have an opinion in Lucasfilm that goes against the narrative. And so it doesn't really – doesn't matter about Kathleen Kennedy anymore. She's, she's no. infected – with the disease and it's a disney disease not just yeah. a lucasfilm disease yeah exactly it, it doesn't matter if they get rid of her it's a disease at this point that can't be cured so for the most part star wars is dead yes it's yeah. never the gonna only, be what it was before it's, yeah the only thing that would maybe maybe make anyone rethink anything is if they started make like losing money making so little money oh, that they they're like oh money. shit have it would have to be, <laughs> <laughs> but it would have to be enough Ooh. where they're like, "Oh fuck, we have to change something." Well, yeah, yeah. then they end up blaming the fucking main actor. <laughs> just yeah. Like it was Alden's fault. Yeah, so what? What? What a way to throw an absolute nothing to do with it under the bus, yeah. right? Like it's his fault. He took a role. It's he, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. They like completely terrible. ignore the seventeen huge reasons why it failed. They're just like, no, this is, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's this guy. It's, it's hey, Kathleen, remember the directors that you fired? Yeah, we we. It's been said several times. Just have to say it again. She's like, oh, recasting beloved characters can't do it, and we're all just looking at the prequels. Like, hi, uh, Kenobi, how you yeah, doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're literally taking. That's the only thing you have left now. Is exactly that's what people there's positivity surrounding those characters so now we need to use them and latch onto them yeah, tell a story that it. shouldn't be told in this time frame oh and, and remember this is the prequel series that you disrespected with your first fucking line in the force awakens this begins to make things right why do you think they put that in there that was that uh, was yeah, a, that, was, that a was middle finger to fucking george lucas and, and presumably and we can all remember the days of everyone saying, like, finally, we can get away from the prequels. What the fuck is going on over there? I don't know. <laughs> is, she going, is she going down on somebody? What the fuck? What did you ask? What did you ask? Nothing. This is no, I think I know this is my house. Yeah, she just she like leans over and she's still like in front of like she's like, is there any alcohol here? <laughs> <laughs> the most desperate alcoholic thing. Like. <laughs> I was curious if she was asking if uh, I thought it was supposed to be funny, but I wasn't sure. Right now. <laughs> 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 the shade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Twitching. I thought she was just wondering if Daniel Radcliffe was his star. <laughs> God. There is, there is more light. Jeremy he was a jowler. <laughs> he was a jowler. <laughs> Oh, too many man. to keep track of. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Christy, she has to hear uh, this nerd uh, shit without any drinks. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Right. Disney, um, Disney tried to prop themselves up by standing on the prequels by being like we're way better than them, and now they're like, please watch us. Look, yeah. we have prequel stuff. Look, you like the prequels? Yeah, so uh, it's a really interesting. Uh, you know, they have no idea what they're doing. They Was it know? Kathleen Kennedy said today or yesterday? She said. We're moving on from the star from the Skywalker <laughs> saga. You ain't yeah. got a fucking. There's no way you can't help but move on from hey, it. Guess it's what? Like, hey, yeah, because like, so are we were like, oh, we'll we'll tell a story with Poe Dameron and I, Oscar Isaac is like, nah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need another house. I've got enough houses. Yeah. <laughs> Like, okay, what about Finn? And he's like, John Blake is like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, yeah. <laughs> you shitting me, bitch. Uh, no, it's like when, Ray, when Paramount then... tried to boost a, uh, was it boost a hype around Star Trek? And they're saying, we are starting on Star Trek for the movie. After we've spoken to the people and seen yeah. if they want to do it. Yep. And then they, <laughs> they come out and said, to the people. no, they still haven't spoken to the people. <clears throat> it's It's not <laughs> happening. So it's they, like the fifth time they've said something similar, right? And, and Zachary Quinto says, I, nobody fucking said anything. Same thing with uh, what's his nuts? Uh, Chris Pine. Chris Pine. Yeah, Chris Pine. Pine nuts. Pine, Pine nuts. nuts. 
Uh, Pine nuts are great. The only deal they had, they blew. So they had, I mean, they had Hemsworth and Pine who were willing to do it, but then they didn't have any money. So they didn't have a, a deal, and then the money fell through, and that was it. I think it's four times they've announced Star Trek four. Three or four. Minimum. Wow. Um, <laughs> Mikey Gussler for $50. Oh shit! I did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fancy. Fuck. Uh, they said the age of heroes would never come again. It will. It has to. Shout out to everyone still believing and supporting a uh, AFSP to releasing the air cut. Okay. I, yeah, I'm done with the air cut and restoring the Snyderverse. Don't stop. Keep it up. Gary, did you get my latest email? I have not checked the emails today. I will check after the show. And I apologize. And thank you, Mikey Gussler. We love you, dude. Thank you. I love that man's passion. Uh, he's got some horrible takes on Donner, but like we, can, we don't have to agree on everything. We don't have to agree on everything. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Go check this in the closet. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like a, like a boring household or something. <laughs> yeah, don't be drinking a beer. This is a family show, Chrissy. <laughs> it's a family. Clearly, from all the hot drinking off. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know the whole family has a beer. I'm asking for beer because, like, almost nobody here drinks. So, <laughs> clear that, like, it's just for me. <gasps> and so it's like, oh, whatever. Yeah. That's why I got Miller Lite, you know. Didn't want to drink. Yeah, that's classy. That's really <laughs> classy stuff. That's right up. Yeah. Hey, Logan, my son, has donated $50. He's back. Oh, wow. Wow. Such a good boy. Uh, hey, Dad, great news. I just got a high-paying job working for Elon Musk. All the travel we want. All I need to do is give Elon full-body massage. I'll admit the nudity is a bit weird, but it's not gay. It's business. It's By the gay. way, we own a horse now. Hail Friday Night Tides. Wow. It's not gay if I don't look him in That's the eyes boy. while he finishes. That's my boy. I was so worried proud. there till he said it wasn't gay. Yeah. I'll be able to be gay fine i don't judge you I'm mean not, this is not gay i'm out i love my massaging gay son oh, sorry Aww. little heather's <laughs> reference there uh daniel for 50 dollars on the stream website come on you guys don't want to talk you've never seen heather's the real heather's oh that movie's great i love my dead gay son come on really i caught the I reference man that line i've heard that, that line but i don't know the movie oh dude the yeah, movie is great the movie, the movie oh, it's is so good freaking great see the original not the yeah. remake yeah yeah you gotta be at least heather's. 50 let's mm -hmm. see uh, Disparu has been, uh, this from Daniel, by the way, Disparu has been killing it with his reviews, uh, squeals of a crime and fall. O. I don't even know what fucking fall. O is. fail. O. fail. O. fail. Okay, yeah. Cause I can't read cause I'm dumb. Sorry. Oh, it's spelled, it's spelled perfectly. I just fucked it up, Daniel. I'm sorry. I should offer oh. you a refund. Uh, keep it up, man. And I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, Wait, I'm Daniel Radcliffe. It was Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> it was. Daniel Radcliffe. It was. Cheers, dude. It was. And Super chatting. Quite frankly, the guy is as tall as a hobbit. They, you know, he, he is. So he'd probably be a pretty good one. Uh, Horror Amarada for $50. Yeah. Does it finally make sense as to why only the crotch of Hulk's pants stays intact while the rest of his clothes explode? <laughs> Zia has answered the question. Oh, Thank you. All answered. Friday Night Tights for the educating and, uh, oh my God, dude. Cephalopod. Cephalo what the fuck is that? Did you see the, uh, the Doctor Strange 2 meme about She-Hulk? <laughs> it's got Wanda speaking to Doctor Strange and the first one's just like, when Hulk transforms, all his clothes oh, yeah. rip off. But when she Hulk transforms, only her shoes do. And then the bottom ones, that hardly seems fair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that was good. Uh, so what the, is a, what's a cephalopod? It's some sort of... Uh, cephalopod? Cephalopod? Cephalopod. Yeah, it's oh, an octopus cephalopod? or squid. Cephalopod. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I know oh. what that is. I just haven't seen it spelled in so long. I or Cthulhu, that was Cthulhu a helpful was a visual. Cthulhu. 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 That was a, you know what? That was that actually when, when, <laughs> when As did that, I understood what it was. So thank you. He's <laughs> like, like, what's a cephalopod? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm glad they're finally doing a Fiona focused version of Shrek. <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> Fiona's got her own TV show. She's got her own show now. Yay! Actually, I probably would have watched that before I watched this. Like, Fiona. girls get things done. Girls get mm. it done. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, season three. 
That's no. gonna be a fucking disaster. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna take one for the team doing something like Ms. Marvel. <laughs> Uh, why are you gonna watch why? it what's the whole reason we you have a team here, yeah right? I, this, I gotta take the piss out of something <laughs> it's everyone's turn eventually to have to watch listen this shit. batwoman's over as it's got to move on to the next thing to make money yeah, Hot yeah. By themselves. yeah. 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 <laughs> the next cringe minority-led female show <laughs> Disney Plus. well i'm gonna do gotham knights i'm gonna do she hulk i think I'm i gonna, might i'm gonna try to do Oh, oh no, I, not with Dana Schwartz writing it. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, no. That might be the first Disney Plus. I've watched all the Disney Plus Marvel shows, and that might be the first one that I actually skip because it just the CGI looks so terrible. I mean, it's bad. mostly everybody's saying it. Can, uh, can I ask you a question, Zia? How, yeah. like, so you've watched every single Marvel Disney Plus show. How have you not have. fucking killed yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a lot more forgiving than you guys. There's I've en I've enjoyed at least something about most of them. Yes. Although Loki was my favorite one. No. Oh. oh my god. Oh, I oh, know. Sorry guys. It was fun. I get it. I, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed oh, most of something about is this most a, of them. Is this a the women <laughs> like the show about women that just drags a man around all the time. It, it, that was frustrating. It was annoying. Like that was annoying as shit. Then don't call it Loki, call it something else. Filthy. But well, technically she's Loki, so yeah, technically she is, but there was no I, I don't think anybody was watching it to see her. I you know what no. I mean? No. I wonder if he's no, gonna, everybody's watching. I watching. think yeah, you're right. <laughs> so is he gonna fuck himself in season two? That's kind of what I'm wondering. Everyone was watching. Probably. I saw. One can only hope. So uh, you guys <laughs> didn't take any issue with the whole, you know, removing free will from the entirety of the MCU's timeline, right? That was fine. Yeah, no, that that was uh -huh. fine. But what it, I, what fine. I thought was really yeah. rewarding about Loki, like in retrospect, is the fact that you know there were no multiverses because there was just one consistent timeline. Yep. Until Loki. Uh, but now in everything we've seen, multiverses have now been done like two different ways in oh, the years since Loki and, released, and yeah. it has nothing to do with Loki. And so. that one timeline was pre-written by King. Yeah. Like I, yeah. like when that when they said that, Mahler, I'm like, that can't be right. That has to be a mistake. I'm mishearing it. They're going to fix it later. They just took away free will in the entire MCU. There's not a single character mm -hmm. that makes their own fucking actions. Do you remember the it's it's like episode two or three where Loki's just like, so there's no free will? And <laughs> Mobius is like, well... I mean, with no. and it's just like so. The show was aware of what they did. They yes. know. Mm -hmm. I, I just like that in Kang's timeline of his multiverses, he made sure that America Chavez sucked her lesbian moms into a random portal. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> so I Dude, like Kang now. Right. The amount of fucking questions we have for Kang. It's like, bro, you 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 know what things have happened that you forced to happen? Like, you would go <laughs> so over the Jews. Yeah. Oh, Kang, no! <laughs> no! Yep, that was Kang. That, that was Kang. Kang it? All of it was Kang. Hitler did nothing wrong according to the MCU. According to Kang, that was part of the plan. <laughs> uh, but somehow a variant's bad, but yeah, he's okay. That we're going to let slide. <laughs> well, remember, she was, she was born a girl for like six years before the TVA showed up to zap her. How does yeah. that work? Right. Yeah. Well, that's when she taught herself, taught herself magic. Remember, at six oh, we years all do old, that. we all do. It's, it's just like Shang Chi, the the girl who taught herself kung fu, or whatever. I, I watched everyone train, uh, but I did it better. I did it better. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow and she's what? the one to shoot the dragon and change the whole thing. You're just oh, that's like, the all right. that's the other girl. That's the other one. <laughs> oh, the other one. Oh, Jesus. See, Marvel's Katie. Who is like? It, it is, it is, like I'm sorry, I racist. Go. They're all the same to you, huh? So much shit has <laughs> in the MCU now, and they keep making these movies that are about these massive fucking things. So, how do the stakes get any higher than what we saw in Doctor Strange Two? Literally, every single universe was <laughs> about to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Right? It's easy. And, Just make it more retarded. <laughs> yeah, and so like. And that's the problem is like that's the route that they're going down. It's just getting more complex and it's already being written by people who are not competent at all. So now you're having to factor in all this other stuff that's happened over a decade of other bad writing decisions. And it has to factor into every decision you make going forward. So the only things in the MCU that have like the potential to be good, ironically, are things like Shang-Chi 
where even though they did connect it a little bit to like, oh, what happened to Iron Man or whatever, it's kind of disconnected from the grander scale. Of the yeah, MCU. like Moon Knight. Yeah, yeah kind of, you, it has to be stuff that is sort of disconnected from what everybody actually wants to hear about. So, yeah, Why don't they just start telling uh, like less complicated, more relatable stories that people can actually uh, get on board with? You know, like stuff wow, like the Winter you Soldier. Like you hate Miss Marvel. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, all involve hating women. Yep. As and as minorities. you know, you know what it reminds me of. I don't know how many people are on the panel will get it, but it reminds me of the NWO. It kind of like the beginning of the MCU. Mm. Everybody was connected. It was doing everything the right way, and then it just kind of shit the bed after that, and completely became a, a big show. <laughs> yeah, it just lost <laughs> everything that made it great, and it ultimately killed it off. And I feel like this is a longer version of that NWO arc where they did everything the right way for so long, and then it kind of just peaked, and it's just been downhill. And, and it'll have a lot, a lot longer life than the NWO did, but it's the same type of kind of path. That's how it For the feels. viewers who don't know what he's talking about, the NWO was a wrestling group in the mid nineties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, oh, part of the audience knows what I'm talking about. The other sure. part of the audience is going to be going George Bush, or and then the other part of the audience <laughs> is going to go <laughs> World Ministry. Or, uh, yeah, so it's like, yeah. And by it's like did Scott Hall become a drunk? You know, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like, where, where do you go? Where do you go? You bring Galactus in? Well, because he's going to eat a planet or two. You know, that's, 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 that's not more, yeah, that's, 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 that's child's play guy. now. Yeah. He's get planet sized <laughs> dick because he's actually gay in the MCU. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, as if you'll be able to eat even one planet before Captain Marvel punches him in the bowl. No, you know, or girl showing up to lecture him about his toxic masculinity. Oh my oh god, I forgot god. about Squirrel Girl. Yeah. No, Silver Surfer shows up and he, oh, he, he learns Rita, how to do the right thing from the love of a blind woman. And that's how <laughs> he stops Galactus. <laughs> wasn't wasn't that chick from the AT&T commercials with the massive yes. tits supposed to be Squirrel yes. Girl? Yes. She, was. she played the vo she was the voice of Squirrel Girl in the in the oh. cartoon, and then she was cast to be Squirrel Girl. And then they saw the concept of the show, and the people were just like, fuck this show. No thanks, and so they didn't go forward with it. Even your milk bags can't save this show. Yeah. Even your <laughs> dirty milkers, big fat dirty milkers can't so save funny this show. That that woman <laughs> was like only relevant because those AT and T commercials. <laughs> and then two comments on like an Instagram live. She's like, I really don't like it when you talk about my breasts. Okay, now now everyone's gonna talk about how big your tits are. <laughs> the end of time. <laughs> and then, that'll work if you say that on on his social media. That'll right. stop them. She was in an uh, episode of Silicon Valley too. Hey yo, she I, was I as, as a, a uh, Satan worshiper. Yeah, I, I have an extra girl meme that I just found from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I like those pictures of me; they're really nice. <laughs> Always look on the bright side. Of life. <laughs> For someone whose whose eyes are so small, you're very uh -huh. expressive. <laughs> wow. Holy shit, Brian! <laughs> wow. I've had not. Yeah, do. we went over this when he's yeah, drunky. Nice. He needs to drink more so he can actually compliment yeah. me. <laughs> I don't see you got city eyes. I think you got lovely eyes, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't say they weren't oh, lovely the or anything. No. Ryan's like, hang on a minute. That was a compliment, yeah. damn you. Wait, yeah. I, I didn't say your small eyes weren't lovely, Ryan Kinnell. Chrissy made a good point that that's something that that old man in the Publix that I that I ran into would have said. He would have said, oh, that, that, or, that oriental chick's got nice eyes or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Except he would have said it more racist than that. Uh, <laughs> slightly. A little bit more. Yeah, Jesus. And he, but he still would have said it to me because he knew I, you know. <laughs> yeah, he, he bonded you with you on a spiritual level. That's why. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't try to recruit me to like some local chapter. He was waiting for an invite from hoods. you. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, Mr. Kittle, I would like to be a uh, triple wizard. consonants club there. Yeah, <laughs> was, yeah, yeah you got a white hood under there, or something, something like that. He's just trying to give you a hand chance to engage. Because, yeah, when he's talking about wizards, you're like, oh, Doctor Strange? And he's like, no. 
Oh wow! Yes, I'm looking at some of the memes. Sorry, I was. Yeah, there's, uh, some good, there's some really good, good ones. There's some there's really, some really, very, very good, good ones. There's some good ones of Zia actually with the Ooh. the slime. The slime. <laughs> oh, there's <Yeah>. slime <laughs> ones. <laughs> there's there's quite a few of them. The I'm sure still <laughs> calling it slime, huh? Wow, <laughs> only slimes. There's some good ones of Ryan <laughs> too. Wow, I'll add that to my site. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, there's some good ones out Whoa, there. I cannot put half of these up. No, but these are awesome. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, this is great. Uh, okay. Whoa, uh, I think we'll bypass on that one. But thanks for yeah. playing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Whole chat right now. Oh, just no. like, what are we missing? Yeah, you're just going to have to go on Twitter, just search Friday Night Tights and like, <laughs> beware. That's all Butterfly. I can say. <laughs> ham sandwich but you guys are crazy tonight thank you um damn it wg on the uh donating 50 dollars on the stream lab side circumventing mama susan not circumcising circumventing wow okay yeah. big difference big 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 difference uh hail gang uh i didn't realize odin had a traveling exorcism service might want to go to Ryan. <laughs> one might want to give Ryan an wow. extra dose of holy water and just push him directly into sunlight. Anyway, <laughs> keep the faith, <laughs> Odin, and don't let them corrupt you. Amen. And pass uh -huh. the pizza. Ah, uh, woman. Where is it? Odin's well, well, putting holy water all over the house. Literally, the whole house is gone except for uh, Johnny. Johnny okay. sixty four. He's watching. Shout out to Johnny. Shout out Johnny. What's up? They, they, they couldn't fucking wait. So they come back. You guys come back fucking earlier than you're supposed to. You make a whole lot of fucking noise and they go out to eat without <laughs> us. We've got a yeah. lot of shit that we're doing upstairs that I've got them working on tonight. So it's going to be a gun to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Yeah. Cracker Barrel. Hey, I'm I missed out. Oh, I like I, Cracker Barrel. I, there's no, <laughs> Odin lasted half an hour and fucked up the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the whitest place he could find <laughs> here. <laughs> wow, the whitest place called Cracker Barrel. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, like, <laughs> Odin, what is this like? This is here on, uh, on time. It's like 30 minutes later. See ya. I'm done for the, the next day. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good, uh, Mr. Bug. Mr. Bug's been uh, killing it. Awesome, dude. That Kill was it. good. That was good. <laughs> oh Jesus! There's too many. Man. There's too many. There is. Oh, yeah, I gotta lines. stop. I gotta like. It'll totally distract me from the show. So yeah, I miss. I mean, we miss Garrett today. Garrett is uh, at a wedding at a friend's wedding. I hope it's a close friend. That's all I got to say. I hope this isn't some distant friend that you're kind of like, whatever. He doesn't even get a plus one. He better be in this motherfucking <laughs> wedding. That's all I got to say. Uh, Splice, uh, 5420 on the Streamlabs side. Thank you very much. Hey, you retarded nerds. Donated wow. more plasma. <laughs> uh, applicable. Um, donated more plasma to donate to you guys. I have a question. Anyone else have a problem with whenever someone says, it's weird? Uh, you feel the need to repeat it back, but louder uh, with yeah. Black. I just did it. Uh, yeah, no. How do you yeah. say his name? Black Hokage? Hokage. Hokage from, oh. from uh, G4. Bukaki? What? What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Is that his name? Obnoxious uh. inflection. No, we can't help it. We we've talked about that for. Thank you very much for the uh, yeah. fifty four twenty. By the way, no, it's now, even Ripa, Ripa. Like was telling me a story about something one time, and he he said weird. And as soon as he said weird, he just he went said weird. He said weird. <laughs> <it. laughs> you know, I have to, no, I have to suppress it whenever I want to say it's weird. It caught on. It's really catchy. Just say it's weird. And it's always quarter black saying it in my mind. It's not the other. Yeah, guy. yeah. It's the way he says it. It's very it, catchy. It's, it's it's spot on. Yeah, I've been saying it in front of my kids, and they have no idea what i'm fucking talking about <laughs> <laughs> Dad losing it. it's, <laughs> it's like one day closer to getting that inheritance uh... <laughs> <laughs> almost spit my coffee out on that one <laughs> uh galaxy Sweet express cheese, media for 50 dollars thank you very much hail friday night tides crew and the fellowship i have a feeling odin 
is wishing he had his Bible and rosary right now. Poor Odin. He does, right? He does. He has a travel one. I mean, the funny story, funny thing is he left to get away from Ryan when he's hanging out with the people that almost got arrested earlier. (laughs) So I don't think it's not a safe place for you around here. You were worried that I would do something to get us kicked out or arrested. Jeremy fucking Artie's talked to me about that. Yeah. I know how not to get arrested. (laughs) One, I know. I'm white. That helps. (laughs) (laughs) You know what's funny is the two worst were Stephanie and Krista. They're the ones that we had to like, no, stop arguing with security. Stop. Shock, shock. Shut- that the women had the worst judgment in the group. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this man lives his life without having his show giving advice. He's just speaking straight facts. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's true. Absolutely right. Uh, Night James 2 for $50. Uh, talking about my advice from yesterday or day before yesterday. Well, Gary, I know you said to not get married in your 20s, and I mean it. Don't. Uh, but my Don't. girlfriend randomly bought me several old Superman comics while visiting her family. She knows nothing of Ooh. comics. Uh, just that, I love Superman. Is I think she is a keeper. Absolutely. And stay with her, and then when you're 30, you can get married. Hold on. <laughs> Are those Golden Age comics? That's the real... Well, that's the question, yeah. If it's 90s, it's like, I mean, no, it's this thought that counts. So she doesn't know anything about comic books. She got him Superman comics. That's pretty good. That's cool. That's a good thing. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's right. a good way to soften you up to give yeah. her the ring. And then before you know it, those comics <laughs> go in the shredder. Well, <laughs> I've always hated these Playing the long game. fucking idiot. The long game. Yeah. It's not just the thought that counts because all of a sudden you're going to be like, she's the one. You're going to pop the question. You're going to get married in six months way too soon. They're going to be sitting down on HBO Max. You just be like, I heard there was a black Superman show coming out. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> too late for an annulment. Too late. Yeah. Then you immediately rush to the basement to watch the RK outpost. <laughs> you write that down there, honey. I'm fine. Don't he's, come down. I'm watching be, porn. He's gonna be down there with the old man from Publix, my most dedicated Aww. subscribers. Yes. You should have told her to subscribe to your channel. Wearing a no man t shirt. I assume he already was. So. <laughs> Hey, uh, I should probably the fat said I watch Ryan with a VPN. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, that's and in private browsing. If yeah, if I'm to that point where it's like people are worried they might show up on some list someday, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Hey, uh, we 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 have wife a... that hopes the guy's watching porn. And then, oh, and <laughs> yeah. Doon, 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 and they're like. Fuck. Yeah. John, I hope that's ass blasters. Yes, honey, it's not Ryan. This new black Superman, I hear that when he saves you, he also picks your fucking pockets. What is that? <laughs> well, uh, that's America Chavez. She steals uh, a couple of things, right? In the oh, beginning. wow. Yeah. Jesus she steals Christ. food. Yeah. She thinks it's free. Steals a sling ring. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Gundam. What's yeah. a she doesn't know how to use Superman's one. kryptonite? Oh. Oh, getting a job. Oh, God damn it. I'm <laughs> it. Son of a bitch. Just Credit to our town. Right into God that one. Like <laughs> and that yeah. joke, that joke was sponsored by Geek <gasps> all all like inappropriate racist jokes sponsored by Greek, geek grind coffee we have, we have the fnt blend blend of the fellowship uh K, nice k cup kkk cups coming uh and um no, no. and uh we also have uh we have uh a, a mug. Gary's oh, just like Gary's just like bullshit. <laughs> it's and like I'm on the, the home shopping wizard. network. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's obviously no chance of this episode oh. getting monetized. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it could be worse. It could be locked us private as soon as we're yeah. done. Hey, well, Gary may be the only YouTuber to find the most racist moment of the show is to when to do a sponsor plug to only make it more <laughs> I'm testing my sponsors. It so I'm seeing, and it's pretty I'm, bad when the most racist moment of this stream so far wasn't me saying I love racism. <laughs> <laughs> we know what you meant. 
Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> I think it's good to test your sponsors to see that what their commitment is. Of course, they're committed. Geek Grind is committed. Yes. They, they should be committed they, they for sponsoring They said they're putting us. the thumbnail of me from my the back interview on the KKK cups. Yeah, uh, yes. Wow. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was like, in retrospect, looking at me in that video, I look so fucking racist. That's why that old guy wanted to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's the thing, Ryan. When I saw the hood, I was like, he's really just <laughs> testing the limits here. Like it's just like the thumbnails that people made of like the Young Turks. What one of their like news channels did like racist white man attacks Batman <laughs> like that. Oh and it's wow! Just, wow. It's just like really? the, a freeze frame of me in my car, just like yelling at the camera. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Most racist oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a single fucking email complaining about that either. I don't know about you, Jeremy, but I didn't hear a fucking word. People no, are like Ryan's great. We nothing. love him. Uh, I, I, there's been there's been far more uh, controversial things in our world than that. I mean, that one obviously got a million views on Twitter, yeah. and I told Ryan, I said, "Look, I don't. You did nothing wrong. Double but down. I, if I didn't, if I didn't know you, and I saw that video, I'd be like, God, this guy's racist as fuck. The way they clipped it." Like for some reason, Ryan just has that ability. Just like with the whole, uh, I'm not even going to mention their name to give them the the clout. But the video that was made uh, to hate on all of us, and they basically yep. told your uh, character oh, progression of becoming story. radicalized, even though wow. you're the one that radicalized me. It's true, you know. But the way they get, did your character development was beautiful storytelling. Be better than anything <laughs> we seen at a Disney Star he had Wars. A character but, arc. <laughs> yeah, you know, like basically, definitely had Ryan a character was the arc. Red Skull. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we, need a, we need like a documentary format for this where they're just like in this local cinema in this parking lot the most racist thing in America is about to happen <laughs> <laughs> it was good though because they took Ryan's very first video where he's very just kind of just trying to find his groove and he's Really, just yeah, really like, soft spoken. He's just happy to be part of the community. I'm like, I'm, rec I'm recording this like, video at like three in the morning, everyone. and I'm like yeah. trying not to wake anybody up. And I've never filmed in front of a camera before. <laughs> He's like, God bless you all, and have he a nice clean. day. Yeah, he was I'm clear, tired, buddy. How's it going? I'm Mike. He was really soft spoken, <laughs> and then it clips to like I, I love Star Wars videos, uh, and then it goes back to Ryan, and he's got a beard. And he's like, <laughs> these people are trying to indoctrinate your children. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then the beard gets longer my background yeah. changes and now i'm like she has a history of anti-white tweets <laughs> it was really good like it was really good oh. <laughs> that's so good it needs, to, it needs to be all their faces <laughs> well there is there was one early Proto looks so mad <laughs> yeah. You'll be a hobbit from no <laughs> my wand. <laughs> there was one from earlier where he's all the hobbits, but I can't fucking yeah. find it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find it. Oh, that was man. a good. That Axio was a, precious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you almost got that right. Well, da uh, Daniel Radcliffe couldn't pronounce that spell in the fucking movies either. So, Accio. Accio. Well, he said Accio. It's, it's Asio. Asio. That's how Jim Dale pr pronounced it. Uh, Asio. Oh, it sounds, yeah, uh, it sounds gay or too. So Asio. <laughs> oh my God! I'm getting to. I'm getting famous homophobe. Refused to pronounce it that way. Yeah. Oh my! I'm getting to the slime ones. They're so good. Oh. Okay. I'm ready to get slime. Look at that. I got out. So for having me. Yeah, Appreciate we, it. Nice to meet you, Zia uh, Mahler. It's a nice pleasure and an honor. I've always wanted to stream with a British person. And uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's really just. You just, have this bruise here, you fucking funny fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. Well, yeah uh, if I could just return the honor to stream with a disabled person is incredible. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe so you said that to girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know what? Will, that parking pass is awesome. <laughs> we will be at MegaCon tomorrow. Me, the whole Geeks and Gamers crew, come up to us, say what's up, shake our hands. If you don't like me, I can come tell me what you say to me on Twitter. I would love to have a conversation in person. We know that's Ooh. not going to happen. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm looking <clears> forward to meeting a lot of people. Remember to wear your bulletproof vest. Hold on, hold on. Before you go, before you go, can we, can we show this before Jeremy goes? Yeah. Is it a meme? <laughs> Yes, yeah. I have to see it. That was a very <laughs> cautious <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, 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 
that was my fault for getting this couch. I like, I like to think that. Uh, I like to think Pikachu counts too. Okay? The people in the couch are opposite colors. <laughs> white couch, white couch, white couch, white men, black couch, this, white men. That's how it works. I this what a, what are you looking at? Like? Right? I kind of like the MCU showers. <laughs> You should have been the whole. Every one of them should have just been the whole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that'll be done. That, that one. That will be done oh. within five minutes. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we do have to get going though. So I, it's fun being on here. I wish we could stay longer. It's always good talking to Mahler and to Gundam. It's nice meeting you, Zia. It was really um, nice to meet you. And Disparu. We don't. You haven't talked enough. You need to talk more. Uh, what, yeah, you're talking about like s s the directors of Star Wars. Really, not my forte. We're going to bring on racism for too long. This has nothing to say. Racism, racism conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's like, what do you think about racism? Jeez. <laughs> Well, we've got you guys, what's your KKK in England? <laughs> <laughs> right. water, you know? right. The church. No, sorry. I am happy uh, this Bruce uh, on. He's, he's awesome, too. and uh, I'm, I'm loving watching his channel grow. He deserves it. So good yeah. peeps. Good peeps. And guys, come check out if you're uh, if you're good at MegaCon at all. Uh, come check out the Simcast live panel tomorrow, six o'clock in Creator <clears throat> Stage South Hall A. It's gonna be fun. Uh, we're gonna be in cosplay. And I think that's it. And we have the Geeks and Gamers meetup at Universal yes. City Walk at 7 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be there for a couple hours. So uh, we'll put a post on Twitter as well tomorrow. So come see us and, yeah, come up to Jeremy and tell him how much you don't like him. I'd love to see that. So I would, too. All right. Make sure to live stream and, it. Live stream everything. Um, live stream absolutely everything. We absolutely will. Including so that way, if you're beaten up, we can use the videos in the beginning yes. of FNT. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure Perry would make the most out of it. But all yeah. right, we'll talk to you guys later. Later, dude. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye, Bye. Bye. So uh, we got a couple super chats and donations tree. Then this this uh, somebody wrote a tome about uh, oh, no, guys, it wasn't miss, miss marvel clip we oh yeah we'll do marvel that first clip. we'll do that first then uh disbrew and i were written about by i think other people too it's just not me and him and it's uh it's basically calling us racist right so that's i mean oh. that's that's par for the course but first yeah we got some miss marvel footage well, let me find it here where'd it go oh it's in research that's right i'm talking to myself i'm in my discord i know like we're not even supposed to be on Discord now. Like gilded, is that what we're supposed to be on? I don't give a fuck. gilded. Gilded's good. Yeah, <clears throat> gilded. I just I don't. I haven't even heard of it. No, have I? How does she convince that. everyone? Oh my god! How does she convince oh, everyone? Not, why does it keep starting? I don't want it to start. Here we go. We got some Miss Marvel, and you know it was funny. I was thinking the happiest people about the She Hulk trailer would be the Miss Marvel creators. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you would think it's like, oh shit! Our 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 trailer didn't get as many dislikes as the She Hulk trailer. She Hulk trailer is getting killed uh, for a Marvel yeah. thing. It's not. Uh, it's not. By the way, it just doesn't with look this good. screenshot, you've reminded me. She's inspired by Captain Marvel. Is the everyone all over the world is like, how? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I don't think I'm watching this either. How does she, she convince everyone that she's good? Good is not a thing you are, Kamala. It is a thing you do. What? But when you do good, aren't you good? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? All right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just bullshit. Just, so he just called his daughter. He, sticker statements, which has no content, bullshit. but they think it sounds deep. Yeah, yeah totally. Like, doesn't that make you think? Too. And you're like, no. No, you just really. told your daughter she wasn't good, you, or, or niece, or whatever the hell you are. I know dressing up as Captain Marvel's weird. I spend too much time in fantasy land. Cool, is this nannies? That is just a jump. Cool. So that's how she finds it. Cool, is this 90s? Is this 90s? Yeah. How, how, what about that is 90s? Real funny. 
having lived through the decade, didn't see the big fat and gold weird braces. Bracelets. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, they were that? all the rage. Yeah, the Spice Girls wore them. Now, the MC oh, yeah, Hammer totally. pants were big. Uh, they were, we're the frosted tip. Yeah. Big in more ways than one. I, oh. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Uh, yeah, it's like a pog, except not. Uh, okay. It looks like a cup you drink out of. It does. Yeah, it kind of does. Or one. Yeah. It's not. It's yeah. not a waste. It's all blur. That was. It's a goblet. Looks like a candle holder. Yeah, I just, just, just. Or it's Hulk. Very poorly made prop. It's Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's the prototype for Hulk's cock ring. <laughs> <laughs> So again, somebody, somebody who hasn't earned their powers in the slightest, just given, given Dude, powers. We're getting a lot of that with uh, I know. all these new characters. There is a through line there. Like, what did Captain Marvel do to earn her powers? She's got splashed by goo. Mm -hmm. Well, so did Zia in all fairness. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my powers, damn it? Where's it? <laughs> that's not fair. Clearly based on realistic. <laughs> And why are but, uh, all the people that get the powers just superheroes? You'd think evil people would be getting them all the time as well. Yeah. Like the villains should you also kind of want them to. Where's you? the yeah. 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 Nobody want to just be evil in this universe? Come on. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Or at least when Ms. Like Ms. Marvel was putting people in a gulag. So I was actually about to say, <laughs> when you watch Black Widow and they fucking, you know, cause an avalanche that kills potential hundreds, it's like, these are the heroes. You're like, they're not the heroes. <laughs> if, I, if I got superpowers as a teenager, I'd find a better way to get drugs and get high and laid all the time. That would be my yeah, superpower. No one robs banks. Yeah. yeah I wouldn't be beat up all the people that bullied me. I'd be like, oh, yep. is it so funny now? Like, I would become a villain immediately. Yes. I would Wait, use I my powers to get novel. paid or laid. Paid or laid? Paid or laid. Yeah. If you have a superpower to, like, oh, destroy yeah. buildings, you just took all the construction work from all those assholes down the block. <laughs> yeah, well, you're trying to, uh, yeah, exactly. So I'm not going to get involved in any fights. I'm just going to get high and get laid. Yeah, why stop Russia from doing anything? I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, wait. Not my Monica problem. Rambeau, how does she get all her powers? She walked through a thing. She walked, walked through a bubble. She walked, mm, through, yeah. she walked through a thing, and she was positively affirmed over and over again. Yes. You're Fantastic. amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> you're the best. You're the bravest. Like, Spider-Man gets bit, so his powers are kind of just given to him. But he had to learn through great power comes great responsibility. Like he mm -hmm. had to go through that journey. They at least gave you a payoff for it. His, was, his, uh, yeah, I would agree. I was going to point out the fact that there's a lot of heroes that are like that, are. that get something yeah. because of an accident. But there is a cost, typically, that is associated with that. Like the exactly. whole thing like you mentioned with Spider-Man. Look at Hulk. The fact that when he gets angry, he you know becomes the rage monster. Um, yeah, there are but, drawbacks to all of it. Yeah, well, exactly, the but there's no draw, not... drawbacks to any of these new things. Or these but then new there characters are a lot of characters, them. superheroes, who like facilitate their own superhero-ness, if you will. Like just, right. you know, easy ones like Iron Man and Batman. Like they're both people who built their own power up. Um, yep. Where are the women that do that? Why haven't we got any kind of archetypes like that? Like so I many of them just forgot. fall into a vat of powers uh, right now. And that's as all if they keep it to themselves. Like, because women Rambo are amazing. just found they the get... key to get powers, and she didn't like phone all her mates and go, You've got to walk through this wall. It's amazing. You'll become a superhero. Like, everybody had been doing it. It'd be yeah. infinite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But she's, she's, she's the amazing one. Though. Yeah. <laughs> the others all get mushed. They're not <laughs> worthy. What does it feel like? Then? Like an idea come to life. So she's Green Lantern. Yeah. 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 yeah it, it, she's just creating constructs, yeah. Changing really fast. Apart from Green Lantern was chosen because the ring uh, seeks out people without fear when the, with the green ring. Mm. Uh, the bravest people. So Hal yeah. Jordan was picked because of his braveness. Yep. Bravery. Willpower. <laughs> well, I always love the idea that it also draws on willpower. That's a really yep. cool idea. Uh, this is obviously going to have nothing to do with it. Not right. It's going to be... No. Yeah. And if you found like powers like that, the first thing you do is probably end up killing someone accidentally yep. because you would have no idea how to control them and you'd be like jumping across stuff and just crush a car or something. Yeah. <clears throat> With a baby That's why it. I like Rogue. She almost killed people all the time. Yep. <laughs> One, um, <laughs> yeah. Chronicle, right? Chronicle's got a really good reputation as a movie because it's like teenagers finding powers. What would they actually do if they got powers? You know, it's yes. a lot more yeah. down like to earth than something grounded, like this. Yeah. Good movie. Saved the world. Ah! 
Are you sure that we can keep uh, that on? To no mind. It's a lawsuit. Great, that'll make Captain Marvel in court. It won't be the first case in the American judiciary to hug it out. Oh. Oh, I already boy. hate everything about this. Wow. <laughs> that was this their... looks promising. That was this their... is an easy skip for me. I ain't touching this <laughs> one. What? I'm not watching this. I, that was so bad. I need to hear can it Can I again. take it back? <laughs> that'll make Captain Marvel in court. It won't be the first case in the American judiciary to hug it out. Oh, wow. I have no oh. idea what she just said. What did she, she say? Said, Something she, about she, hugging it out in court. That's yeah. all I caught. The first yeah, case, judiciary? Be, she said the first case in the American judiciary that would hug it out. Ah. Uh, so they'd what? hug it out. Like, that <laughs> they would, I, I like we're all just like, wait, so that's a joke? It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> like, I guess. <laughs> it's a joke. So I um, what, what I could tell you about the series that everybody's going to be, all the shills and stands are going to be praising is there was essentially one draft of the script for this fucking, sh for this series. One. And when um, some people did try to fix things, some people put some effort into fixing things. They were met with Kevin Feige's hand, and the people who originally wrote the show fucked off and left. Basha K. Wow. Ali! Basha K. Ali! <laughs> Basha K. right out of there. Uh, and, yeah, it, it's, mm, it's going to be so fucking bad. And it's going to be so fun to watch. Because oh, as knows, and we'll be able to say it someday, as and we're gonna be able to laugh, laugh our asses. I'll tell you guys. Like, show. I can't say anything. Yeah. Or I fucking tell you. I want. I'm dying to fucking tell you guys. I'm dying. But like <laughs> when the Marvel stands come out and go, it was really good. I'm just gonna laugh my fucking ass off, and I will tell. I promise you, I will tell you. I will tell you because it's fucking funny. It's one of the fucking funniest things you will ever hear. Oh, now God. I want to know. Oh, I'll tell. I God, I wish I could. I could. I. Uh. It's it's not far away. It's not far away. When does this come out? I have not been paying attention because I don't oh, care this about the show. Few days. Few days? A few, oh shit. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. Well days. then. Wow. I think so. It's coming out just before Kenobi coming out. During yeah, oh. just before it, right? And then they like it's during so Kenobi, week? so it gets buried. And Disney's coming out going, "It's the first time we put two premium shows out at the same time." It's like, "Fuck you! You're burying the Miss Marvel show." Yeah, you're burying this because it's shit. Yeah. Oh, and then they're gonna... is June 8th, so it's next month. Oh, June 8th. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a couple yeah. weeks. So and then they're going to do that thing this. that they always do anytime something is bad, uh, but it has a person of color or a woman. They tell people that they're sexist or racist for mm. not uh -huh. like it. Naturally. Yeah. And, mm. oh, yes. Instead of just owning up to the fact they made shit. Mm -hmm. Well, have you guys seen all the stuff recently where it's like, oh, so Loki can have a redemption, but the woman can't, being Scarlet Witch. It's like, interesting. It's like, what are you, what are you talking about? What? <laughs> It's How so? Absolutely bizarre lines being drawn. L so, Loki was that meant to be her redemption story, where she just I, I don't, yeah. I don't even know <laughs> what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah. dropping a building on herself undoes all the people she kills. I guess. I really wish that she they had just done House of M. I wish that they had just gone with that storyline instead of what they did. Oh, yeah. Which I, and I, that care. that would have been really fun to watch. Hell yeah, with all the, all the X Men in it and all the Avengers, yes. including Captain America and old you know, man Cap. Yeah, it'd be fucking rad. But um, yeah, it would be cool. No, Spider Man. What the, when Stacy's still alive? This what this was their House of M. This was their homage to it. This was their yeah, yeah. and it's fucking they terrible. Grew up from that, it's um, already aging badly as fuck. Like for a lot of people, they're not as hype about it already. They're waiting for fucking Thor and Kenobi. They just want to move on. <laughs> Give me something else to love, please. Oh, there's more. There's actually so another one. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 it's it's OK. It's behind the scenes. That's for Perry. It's yeah. He's already see. He's already ahead of the game. Is that another feature? It? I'm a superhero. Hang on. No, nope, that's not it either. All right. Are you a Muslim superhero? I do. Oh, I, that would be. So, I, um... Are you a Pakistani superhero? <laughs> Are you an Egyptian you know, superhero? Um, that was the you know, in the in the She Hulk trailer. It says you'll like her when she's angry or whatever. Uh -huh. mm. Um, when I saw the first slide, you'll like her. I was yeah. like, Jesus Christ! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Could not fucking believe it. Subliminal message right off the stone. Yeah, it's like just it, it, well, just you'll like whole, her and you'll like it. The whole contrived <laughs> forced. I'm Jennifer. I'm a Walt. Uh, I'm Jennifer. Uh, yeah, I'm a liar. I have great friends. And a frustrating right, family. Right. Uh, 50 quid that guy's gay. Her friend's gay. A male friend, that one that they oh, showed. Oh, dude. Yeah. All the guys at the country club who should have been caddies, by the way. Hey! 
How many white guys were there at the country club? None. None. <laughs> None. <laughs> but there was two gay couples, three Asians, one black woman. Yeah, I was like, okay, maybe in Marin, <laughs> but, uh, you know, no, Sausalito. But there's no country clubs in Sausalito that I know of. Sausalito, California. Come on. Uh, that's old. That's where my dad is from. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, he sailed to Hawaii on a boat when he was 12 from Sausalito. You can do that. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's a you long can, way to go. You can do that. Cigarette. Yeah, it took 28 days for that's them to get across. a long time. Salsalito is yeah. nice. It's really nice and uh, super gay. It super very much is, yeah. Gay, gay, gay with boats. Uh, Salsalito. He uh, grew up on a houseboat. Yep. yep. <laughs> Maybe his... Someone was a gay, gay houseboat? Yeah. A yeah. gay houseboat. They were having <laughs> gay houseboat parties. Like, so, <laughs> Salsalito is super nice. It's like a really nice area. It's very nice, yeah. Yeah. It, uh, uh, right over the bay from the crime-ridden dumpster fire that's fucking a giant piece of flaming poop known as San Francisco that I lived in for 18 years. Uh, you San lived there for 18 country. years? Yeah. I am surprised. I lived there for six months, and I was like, I got to get out of here. Yeah, it's just, It was rough. It's bad. Was it the, the first episode of Quantum Leap's going to be in San Francisco? And I said, I said did he oh, leap back? Of course. To wait, 1989, because his last time it wasn't human shit on the page. <laughs> it's like a minefield. Uh, Don't they have an app for it? I, I so they do. They do. They do, and it's yeah. just brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh, brown everywhere. It was all the effort to actually... They probably spent loads on that app as well. All right. uh, WG for 39.75. Thank you very much. WG says, hey, on Friday Night Tides, I'm donating a quarter for every time Ryan's internal misogyny filtered... Uh, uh, filter has <laughs> failed tonight. Anyway, uh, keep fighting. Have the good. Have a good fight. Uh, fighting the good fight, or have a good fight. All the best. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. I want to read. I, I don't know what's in this. I have no idea what's in this stupid thing. It's probably stupid shit, but that I sh usually don't give attention to. But why not? Let's have some fun. So. Uh, oh, it's definitely stupid. Heart, hearth seeker is this a, okay so i don't know who this person is but um not only did the one ring.net retweet this the the chair of the tolkien society for which i am a member by the way uh share shared this um outrageous outrageous I feel my honor has I've got been 204 impugned. followers on Twitter. 204 whole followers. Ex game on journalist. 204 whole followers. Yeah. An ex game <laughs> journal. Oh, I can't, an ex. Is there anything worse than a games journalist than an ex games journalist? <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad they couldn't even be. Wow. <laughs> How fucking bad are you? Maybe I shouldn't read this. Uh, social commentators dividing the Tolkien community. Oh, so it's us. Okay. Oh, God, please. Imagine this. You're a pretty solid Tolkien fan for the most part you've read lord of the rings the hobbit even dabbled in the lost road and other writings in the silmarillion you've participated in tolkien reading day a few days ago you subscribed to the men of the west or the broken sword and see by the way the men of the west isn't down with this shit either but i'm not so much um uh, the Broken Sword and see their content every now and then you are sure you have extended editions. Uh, sure, you have the extended editions of the Peter Jackson films, even The Hobbit, despite its flaws. Then one day you see an article about Lord of the Rings on Prime, which is none of those oh, no. things, by the way, which is none of those fucking things. You look at the posters and you think, huh, interesting. They've gone with such a diverse cast. Uh, maybe Post we'll... Note. Maybe diverse uh and uh maybe we will see some lore reason for it uh by the no. way no you won't i just love that yeah. they think every single person's first thought is that and oh well i'm sure it'll be all justified in the law rather than just thinking oh well why can't we actually have what it was meant to be no yeah. no no you can't have that it doesn't it's not even a logical uh step either when you see a, it, Lord of the Rings, you know how Lord of the Rings is set up. You know how how Tolkien's done his history. So if they, you see this like mega diverse, and let's let's just fucking call it as it is. It's made for for modern sensibilities for the far left. That's it. Yep. It's not made for for other people. It's made for a very specific group of far left ideologues. So this is a far left ideologue, um, diverse cast. Nobody who's just a regular fucking person looks at that and goes, oh, I wonder if there's a law reason. You, you, most people would have the absolute same viewpoint that virtually everyone seemed to have when the trailer came out. Is, 
Why are the black elves? Why are the black dwarves? It doesn't make law sense. And that's because a lot of these people are more in tune to the law of Tolkien. And so things like that just really stand out. It's not a racism to question why you've done something and changed the race of something. That's but not guys, a racism. It's more of a racism to have done it in the first place because you're just literally pandering. <clears throat> there isn't a reason to do it. But guys, they have to fix it. it they have to... No, it yeah, was yeah, racist yeah. when it was written back then. They have to fix it because we're in modern times now. I mean, Correct. come on. Yeah. The left, the left. The you should be able to look at a universe and it should be recognizable because the author created that way for a specific reason and it built the story based upon that aesthetic. And so if you start changing things like that, you don't know what effects down the line. They did it with Wheel of Time. They changed a load of characters. So now later parts of the story do not make physical sense. Mm -hmm. And so you can say you want to change it for whatever reason you want, but you can't predict the effects that it'll have later down the line. And all it shows as well is if you're willing to change something as foundational in a, a visual piece, which is what these will be, as that, you're willing to change anything. You, you, the moment you say you'll change this, you'll change the law, you'll do anything, you just don't care about the story anymore. And so well, you've got to show that you like the foundations of a work yes. because that's what people are there you for. You have to and take it for you, what yeah. it is. That's it. That's all we've ever asked. Take the story for what it is. It, it doesn't reflect our, our worldview on everything. Like, oh, I, you know, I, Warrior Galadriel, and I never want a female as president. Like, what the fuck? Who in the fuck thinks like way except the fucking no. retards who write this shit? I know, it's so stupid. And and I was just as angry, mind you, when they cast fucking, uh, besides the fact, I won't even touch how bad the movie was, just just specifically the casting. When they cast The Last Airbender, the Avatar The Last Airbender movie, oh. that M. Night Shyamalan did, yeah. I was just as furious about that casting. I was like, why the fuck did you cast a bunch of white people for Asia? What the fuck was, it's, it's, it goes both ways. And Absolutely. it's just this weird thing where they just get upset because they're like, well, you're just racist. It's like it has nothing to do with that. You fucking ca you completely destroyed the entire story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, 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 that person says a law reason. OK, let's play. You know, is there sorry? Is there a law reason for changing this? Kind of, OK, let's play your game. Yep. Uh, when is the extermination of all the black elves and dwarves? Yeah. OK. And, and like, how does a black dwarf happen? Okay, so how does a black elf happen? They live underground. There's no pigment. Yeah, and, no. and, and, and <laughs> elves were born w in starlight. Starlight. <laughs> not sunlight. Not not even a sun. Well, well the, now they're born in colors. There's lamps, trees. Uh, it, it's, there is a lore explanation for diversity. Right there, through the race of men which you can absolutely do and explain and it'll be fine and no one would have an issue with it. But this isn't, this was superficial because, well, if we don't put a black elf on the screen, how can anybody see themselves or connect with a black, with an elf at all? Oh, if only they'd done that for the last 80 years. For everyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause they get confused between relatability and representation. Representation yeah. means you've got to be on the screen, but you should be able to relate to anyone as a human being. And if you can't, you're basically a sociopath. Yep. If you can't put yourself into somebody else's position, uh, just because they, like, I, I, the thing that gets me, I don't even accept the whole argument of representation is a good thing because it, it's so Not. pathetic. It's like, you <clears> might <throat> as well group people. Oh, well, I want v people with various different vitamin D deficiencies mm -hmm. just because it's a chemical level in their body. It's like, that's not the point. The entire point is they're meant to be humans. And if you look at a screen and you're like, well, I'm not there, so I can't watch this piece. I, I, you'll, you won't watch any television. And quite frankly, it might be better if you just don't because uh, you, you need it, another hobby. It might be hard for them. It sounds like television and, and enjoying stories is hard because they have to change them all the fucking time. They can't take a fucking story for what it is. That's all we ask. Like, we're getting so much clapback for going, hey, just respect the, what the man wrote. That's all. And if you want more diversity, find diverse stories to tell. There are plenty of books and properties and other things out there that have the, <clears> the <throat> diversity you're looking for where you don't have to change anything and people would be fucking thrilled. But they don't but do they that because they're so lazy. Well, they, they want to homogenize it all. Yep. That's that's yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. massive problem. Fantasy is very specific, but now but but people like this just want to homogenize it. So no fantasy feels unique. No fantasy feels different because it's all made for current day far left sensibilities. And that in itself is is not 
a, a massive group of people. That's a very specific group of people. And that's why we've got such a massive clapback to something like this with Tolkien, which worldwide has such uh, love and reverence that th from people because they and they are seeing a beloved franchise, something that they have you know, probably read the books many times, seen the Jackson films, whichever it is, fallen in love with this world, not because it's fucking white, but fall in love with the characters, fall in love with the story, fall in love with the development, and they're seeing these fucking retards from Star Trek Beyond who couldn't even get credited in it, uh, going, ah, do you know something? And it's all like, create this, like, fix the mistakes of Falcon and stuff, <laughs> you know? And they're like, people are doing, like, representation when it's in, like, Black Elves and things. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's literally doing, they are fucking retarded people. I don't even think these people <laughs> like it, man. I mean, I've been reading no. 1984 again, and it's like, it's the lies. We're living that, in it. Fucking yeah, you're basically living uh, it, right? There's the truth you tell yourself, and there's the lies you tell others. And that's basically the people I think that say that they like this stuff, I think they're lying. Yeah. They, I think oh, they don't remind me of the MCU stuff, where yeah. it's like, they're like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And you're like, you really? You're going to talk yeah. about it a year's time ever again? Yep. You even going to remember what happened it, in it? Well, it's like that, that guy we just spoke about earlier in that tweet who was just like, why doesn't Alfred like come out and say, I fucking love you, bros? You know, they, just another yeah. faker because he doesn't even know Alfred's fucking dead anyway in the comics. You know what? Yeah, As, I, I, I fucking hope he doesn't know anything about Alfred's relationship with Bruce to have said that. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. Yeah. I really hope so too because he just, asked, he just wanted uh, Bruce to fuck his dad, basically. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, dad, yeah. So that's yeah. weird. That, that's and weird. also, he's like, not. Yeah. He raised him. That means he was like, what, waiting for him to grow up yeah. to be able Grooming. to fuck him, which yeah. is like so creepy. Is, that's why everybody was just like, what the fuck is this? Okay, like? rumor. Yeah. Yeah. It's terrible. But, but that's just it. But I mean, I stuck out to it yesterday saying The Last Jedi's is a divisive film. 50% of people hated it, and the other 50% yes. did they liked it. Yeah. Pretend. Okay, somebody enlighten <laughs> me. What's this shit with Batman you guys are talking about? Uh, oh. oh, no. Oh, don't do it, no. Batman. <laughs> if you could find the tweet as a, I'll. I'll try to get through this. It, oh, I can for one, you. I love that this thing, actually in a comic. I love this thing is called Twit Longer. Yes, you are you are the long <laughs> man of twits. The long twit. <laughs> twit. But the thing is as well, with the whole homogenization of these things, if that's what they kind of want, because then you can have a conveyor belt of just generic yes. content that doesn't require any thought. And so there's a business reason <laughs> for all of this. And at the end of the day, if you're the person going, I love this thing, but I want it changed, you, by definition, don't love it as much as someone that wants you to just give them the actual thing that it is. And yeah. it, that's why it doesn't matter how many hit pieces like this you write, you can't physically win because you're fighting against people who are just like, we just want the thing, give us the thing unchanged, and that's perfectly reasonable and acceptable to do. And you can come up with whatever arguments you want, you will always seem like some weird extreme lunatic because you're trying to argue and defame people, which are just saying, I want the books to be the books. And you mm -hmm. can't beat that kind of argument. No. But as you've said, Desperate, yeah. the, 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 the now, and sorry, Zia said it uh, as well, and we've heard it. Uh, where they're saying, you know, Tolkien was racist. Before this started coming out, before this rings of power business, all these fucking pieces of shit were on the Tolkien's racist bandwagon. Mm -hmm. But now and that they're, they're fucking doing the, the rings of Jackson power, versions. yeah, and, yes. and, they're, and they're diversifying it, suddenly it's just like, now we're just we're just correcting, as they say, we're correcting the mistakes of Tolkien and Peter Jackson. It's just like, what, what were you, yeah. sorry, you're correcting the mistakes of Peter Jackson's movies? Hello? And how long until that gets into the books where they start changing the books? Oh, well, we'll just change the description of this character because uh, it'll be much improved when we do that. Yeah, it'll be and it's oh, this fine line. And they'll say it's a Tolkien error and it's like his great, 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 great grandson yeah. who gets offered a job at Amazon, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they already, like, they love to do this thing too where they're like, well, it wasn't really stated in the description that they're white. They just said they yeah, had yeah, blonde yeah. hair. They're, it could be, they're kind of tech. It could be anybody. And you're just yeah. like, oh, all right. You're they really find an exception here, and they just blow it up into a whole new world where once you've accepted one thing, now you have to accept everything that we're going to do. And it's like, yeah. no, that's not how any of that works. And this yeah. why with yeah. think you might as well just say no because they're going to bitch at you anyway. So just say no immediately and they'll start bitching and then you can ignore them. Because if you just like co try and compromise, you'll go further and further along. Um, I've linked yeah. it, by the way, Gary. The, uh, the, the, the incredible tweet about Alfred. Um, is it still up? Is it still, yeah, still up? Oh it, my it, it, God! It should, uh, it be, um, All right, we'll get back to this in a second. Tweets. Hang on. Just see what... Uh, <laughs> 
See what everybody thinks. I love thinks. how dramatic this is, though. It's a universally One hated day. idea, so at least there's that. <laughs> that is... But a, it, just, I, it just shows... That model, though, just shows that person knows nothing and cares nothing about that universe. All they care about is getting their representation <laughs> in. And that person will do a tweet about another character in a week's time and another character in another week's time. It's like, it's just a fucking point. And let's have that one now, and then let's have that one now, and then that one now. Well, that's sexuality it. makes up for personality now. Why the hell does that fix life? Sadly, that seems to be the case these days. Yeah, they the make it such a big part of the character. <laughs> oh, God. That's what Alvin Ratio. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is, if you can find mine in there, I think I had the most suitable Pepe in response yeah. to it. <laughs> <laughs> I love everybody being like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 the fuck is laughter? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> These people have been watching too much step porn. They need to fucking. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. that is a problem in the porn community right now. No. There it is. No, it's, no, no, that's no, 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 Oh, there's oh, this one. Oh, there's one. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's <laughs> amazing. Uh, back devil, back. <laughs> Did anybody support him? Uh, or, I'm assuming. Uh, what is I'm not seeing it. Like six, six likes. <laughs> I hope there are one of them. Six it's likes so to 194 <laughs> quote tweets. That's so <laughs> I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no. Uh, wow. I'm surprised they left it up, man. I'll, I'll give them props for that, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. I him a gr- Gary, I think my, my comments on the top for you. I called him a, groom, a groomer. Apart from being a shit grooming Al- idea, Alfred's dead. <laughs> yeah, so you'd want him to have, fe- well, no, his corpse couldn't have feelings, but you'd want to have Bruce to have feelings for his dead corpse sur- surrogate father. That is weird. Oh. Yeah. That sounds like something Marvel fans, you fucking groomers. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. It's sad. It's weird. Now they're going to make him buy. What the fuck? Oh, no, it's, it's, it's just an implanted idea. In a comic that they did, but now, but this is it. They're coming after. They're coming after everyone. They're coming after oh, yeah, them all. Yeah. Bruce, we knew it Bruce was only the most right? ultimate conservative in the in the DC universe. That guy is a Trump voter through and through. I could see that. Yeah, all the memes of people saying he could he could help cure world world hunger with all of the money he has, but instead he dresses up like a bat and fights crime. That's just like, pretty much Twitter's take on every billionaire. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. Elon, Elon Musk they, buys Twitter, you know. <laughs> no right. The concept of how never, that never works and about. it doesn't work. Well, and not only that, because all the money would be lost in bureaucracy and red tape. Well, not only that, and, but it's and, like any, and all any that time, kind of scandal. In any country that is basically ruled by a warlord, when they do drops of food, who takes the food? The fucking the warlord. warlord. The it never yeah. goes to the people. And that's the thing that a lot of these people don't understand. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. fucking stupid comics. Yes, I know. Oh. And the money would be on the like, Staying at home right? with your handout and the government like, gives you money and stuff, isn't it? Twitter, I, I, like I, 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 I said, I said before, and Alex Jones said before me, it's full of literal vampire pot belly goblins hobbling around and coming after us. <laughs> after seeing Twitter's take on money, I now realize only horrible broke people live there. <laughs> if you have over $500 in your bank account, you're fucking rich. And you need to pay more taxes. I'm like, these people are insane. If you just have basic ability to save money, apparently you're screwed fucking big duck to them. (laughs) They go to DSP for fucking money advice, dude. You know. Yeah, pretty much. DSP did the greatest stream like two days ago. Uh I laughed so hard. What did he do? YouTube now has gifted subs. So Hmm. if you sub to someone... You can like buy subs for your friends and you all watch this asshole. So DSP got like a hundred gifted subs and he goes, listen, guys, it's been great. The subs are fantastic, but it's been one hour and there's no tips. And I need you to understand that I need these tips for my day off. So me and my wife could go out eating or I could buy things. <laughs> tips are my liquid asset. Asshole. Liquid, uh, liquid asset. <laughs> he does. <It's> wow. <laughs> what an what? asshole. 
Wow. I, I got to find He's the clip. Best. I yes. watched it backwards and forwards looking for <laughs> secret messages. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it out. Have you seen the clips of Satan. that? <laughs> Why? That... Oh. Oh, sorry. oh, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was I was just trying to see why I can't buy um it's not it's members on on, members. Not on nerdrotic stream. It's me don't. Well, I probably, I'm, I, no, but I, I'm well I was, but I mean I'm subscribed. I'm I'm I mean I don't mean a member. Like yeah, uh maybe you have like, to set it, it being, up. Is it being rolled out or yeah, it's I don't in know. Beta at the moment. I, oh maybe it's you certain have to channels. beg for it. How the fuck did yeah, DSP there's a, get there's it like first? a a oh, link that you can try and subscribe, uh, sign up for or something. They, they rolled me out in something like super early, so I mean, I'm I'm good with because that super thanks thing I've had forever, I've had forever, a couple of years. You have to. I don't think you have to enable. I don't think there's an enable. Yeah, button. you have to enable the super thanks. Yeah, because oh, I, yeah. I uh, yeah. recently. Oh no, got not it. the super. You, the super. No, the, the, the membership gifts. Stuff. Yeah, they're oh. probably just rolling it out slow. I mean, they don't say anything. They don't tell you shit. Uh, YouTube is very consistent with their lack of communication. Oh, well, yeah. I, I, I'm in the gifted subs. <coughs> oh, you have a dream. I'm not streaming, so don't fucking matter. <laughs> oh. The weird thing about them, though, is I think the receiver has to turn it on on their end before they can get one. Yeah, it's so, so I have to turn it. Extra. Or you, you get a pop-up that says you're being gifted a sub. Do you want to accept it? So oh, there's that's two way ways. better than it was just I edited. There's two ways now. You, you can either enable it, back end... Or if you are gifted one, it will pop up on on stream. Oh right, so, yeah, it's still Why do they a bit make it still so complicated. Oh, because it's yeah, just fucking YouTube, it. YouTube oh, and they don't know God. what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's YouTube. Uh, we'll get back yeah, to that. Twitch makes it very easy. I was gonna. Yeah. This article is with this thing is too long, so I'm just gonna get to where they talk about us. That'd be great. Uh, and it's the same old shit. They, uh, I mean, I'm surprised they didn't bring up Rose Tico in this, but they didn't bring up Star Wars at all. And they basically no. they they quote I've never watched other it. articles that have been but by the way debunked. For example, you know, I come out with Warrior Galadriel, right? And they say that uh, you know Galadriel's never been described as brash, which she, or or she, like angry. She's not angry. Um, she's not brash. So they say that. Uh, but now she burned with desire. Is burning with desire the same as angry and brash? No, that sounds no. Nice. It sounds more like passion. Anything. That's their example yeah. of of debunking us. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 it's it's stupid. Oh, so where do they they get to us? Uh, oh, there's there's Disparu. They mentioned you right there. Yeah, that's good. Fuck this guy. Though. That bitch. Uh, but I'll do you one better. It was amazing how. Oh, it's amazing how fast these were retweeted by like the OneRing.net as well. This, mm -hmm. this was like minutes in the post. And you saw the size of the account, and yet it was just straight up there. In fact, I think it was about six minutes because I saw this almost immediately. It was weird. Oh, uh, no. No, absolutely zero collusion, I bet. <laughs> absolute zero. Oh, George got mentioned too. George! You yeah, made sure. it, baby. Nice. Uh,. But I'll do you one better. Can't you make the same claim against the accusers? Why should Nerdrotic or any other commenter uh, be any less complicit of injecting narrative bias? Because I'm I'm not making the story, you fucking retard. Yeah, you fucking moron. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think Gary, that Gary, we'll clear this up really quickly. Are you writing Rings of Power? <laughs> no. Be honest. Be on yeah, yeah, be honest now. <laughs> Are you writing it? No. Will the black a twist, though, leave a pregnant woman? <laughs> Fucking narrative. But bias. even if they mean in the videos, uh, this is acting like uh, OneRing.net just said, oh, it's just the algorithm forcing people on you and they have no mm -hmm. self-control of their own. It's like, no, you say something, it's your opinion, and then other people come along and they choose whether they agree with you or not. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what you time frame as. People have to agree with it and they agree with it because it's reality, because they've got minds of their own. This isn't some mathematics equation which is just brainwashing people into watching videos. Which is, and there's uh, also a it, like and dislike button. And if people yes. aren't liking what people are saying, they uh, can hit the dislike button, which Gary will still be able to see, even if some people can't see. So he'll be able to see how quite happily what the narrative of people thinking about his video. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have a group but, of, uh, of opinions are bad. This this is just the fucking opinions are bad, and you just gotta listen to us fucking bullshit. Well, it's the whole thing with like divisive. Like having two opposite sides of an argument is a bad thing. No, everyone's got to be a hive mind that all agrees, or it's awful. I've never yeah. understood. Oh, well, you no, just dividing far left. Well, okay, maybe people are wrong. You know, maybe that's a good thing. If I was writing it, it would be uh, hobbits and elves starting a federal republic. They'd be writing a constitution, and taxation would be <laughs> theft. <laughs> well, I've locked my yeah. starring, starring Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> I've looked through their followers, and one ring.net does not follow them, uh, according to their um, their followers. So that seems to be a very coincidental uh, retweet or like. How would that appear on their uh, timeline? I wonder. See, uh, this is this goes for all of us here. Okay, so don't they have a stake just as much, or don't they have just as much, and they capitalized just as much of a stake in maintaining a negative perception of the show in order to make their financial gain? So I, I will no. answer this for me. No. Uh, if, if Rings of Power is a good show that I am praising, I will make more money. I, the show, the channel will do better. It will grow faster. I will make more money if I like the show. That is utter bullshit. I, yeah, did you see those Game of Thrones anything? fucking video? You know, when people would do Game of Thrones discussions <laughs> after the episodes, people would flock to them. Flock to them, because if the show's good, they're looking for people who, who like, liked it, talk about those discussion points that they want to hear about, uh, and, and, you know, you get massive engagement that way. So if the show was looking good, looking great, the cast was looking solid, and everything that we've seen so far was, like, very positive... For people like Gary, I mean, I, I wouldn't because I don't know Lord of the Rings inside out. For people like Gary that, that know a lot about Lord of the Rings, probably disprove by the sounds of it yourself, they would be fucking payday for you. I, I would, yeah, because I, people come to you for information because it's a lot of people don't know that much about it. They've maybe just seen the movies and not even the extended edition. So they're like, oh, I want to know a little bit more. And you can kind of break down sort of the things that they don't explain in the shows or in the movies that are in the mm -hmm. books and, and you give some of that backstory to people. And people are looking for that. They want to find that. That's absolutely could be huge. Exactly. Absolutely. That is spawn because, you know, you'll do your review of the episode and then it opens up the the. um opens up the position for you to later in the week, you know, oh, I'm going to do a video about, uh, you know, the Numenorians and, and why they're so important in this aspect. So you, you give that law video about the Numenorians. So the people who are just liking the show, but are wanting that <clears throat> further information, it's like Elden Ring. When Elden Ring came out recently, it's a game you might have heard of, Gary, I'm not too sure. Um, people were just absolutely flocking, and I was one of them, to, to Elden Ring law videos. Mm -hmm. And I was just watching everything I could about the story, the narrative, the characters, what's been put together. And that's what people do organically. So it's not like one video going, oh, this episode of Lord of the Rings was poopy pants. This is like a, a whole avenue that could open up and be very lucrative for a, a channel, particularly a channel that has great knowledge uh, about the subject matter that gets put Stop before them. Stop giving away so. ideas. I know. Right? <laughs> no, it's when when Mahler oh, comes works. out, Mahler's honest. I trust Mahler. So when Mahler comes out and says, hey, there's this movie I like called, Every what is it? Everything, Everywhere. Everywhere, all at once. All yeah. at once. Yeah. And you, you need that. to see it. Good. Like, I'm going to go see it. Like, and, and maybe yeah. I don't agree with him. We'll find out. But I'm going to see it because I trust him. I trust the guy. So, Lies. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's what happens. Hey, that goes the both whole... ways. If you guys have recommendations, like, hmm, go check these out. are coming from channels which are largely just Lord of the Rings channels, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it it really just reeks to me of people going, "Don't tell them, don't tell them," uh, because we we need them to watch our little videos. It, yep. It's like if you sort of reveal behind the curtain, like this is awful, this is bad, this is bad, and people are like, oh 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 yeah, I, I didn't notice that. I, I got I got. The shiny keys distracted me for a bit or whatever. Um, and then you've got someone that's actually going, no, this is what they're doing. Well, you're going to be harming certain channels and uh, they don't like that. Everybody well, here talks about everything, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. everybody here will like, it's a gun. And we'll, we'll talk about like more stuff than I will. Right. Like but the decline talk... of society. Yes. <laughs> and I put yeah. it to a funny spin. We're all going to hell in a handbag. Dude, that, <laughs> let's <laughs> meet your <bait>. yeah. <laughs> Mocking is the only way to go. At least you're laughing on your way out. I mean, that's, that's the much. thing. You know? uh, 
so yeah, don't hang your hat on one thing unless you're, or, you know, still be honest and you can be fine by the way. Uh, and, and say no to trips out, to, especially for, okay. If it's a show that you have reviewed legitimately for three or four seasons and you've shown to have a very good like opinion on it, like people trust you and then you get like given a premiere or something like that. I'm not going to hold that much against you. I still think I'm still going to question it because your whole channel is based on one fucking show. That's just period. And I'm fine. Just come out and say that. Go like, all I talk about is Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. I'm going to praise this shit. I don't care. My channel, th- I respect that. You're telling the truth. That's good. Yeah. But you, you come out and go, at, you go to a fucking fully paid trip and it's catered and you get a gift and Disbrew brought this up. We're fucking human. And if any of us do this, it's going to affect us. We, we met the, yes. the people who made the show. It's going to affect us. And like, I've met people who've made shows and I've worried like how is that going to affect uh you know like my opinion it was very hard to criticize the boys I did it though cuz it sucked it absolutely sucked a good friend of mine created that comic book mm-hmm. and I still had to come out and say it sucks now we haven't talked in like a year but I think we're still friends um maybe uh, we'll see. <laughs> but <laughs> not after those videos. <laughs> and no. if you are going to go on a trip and get gifts like a hundred and twenty-five pound camera, then you owe it to anyone that watches your video to declare that. Yes. So that they can oh, at least yeah. understand what you've done and then they can make their own mind up knowing that about whether they think you're biased or not. I, yes. I do think I'd like if you want to do it, fine. Everyone can make their own informed opinion. But there were people that came out and they didn't say anything about that. They said, we've gone on a trip and that was it. There was no sign of the goodie bags. There was no de- declaration of anything else. It was just, here's my opinion. And obviously you shouldn't dare defame my good name that I could possibly have been affected by anything else. It's like, no, that's not up to you to decide. That's up to your audience and they should know. Yeah, yeah I think it's, it's the reason why I say the only critic you can trust is the person who bought the ticket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yep. Good yeah. point. And, and and Nerd of the Rings, I watched his video, and I I linked it in my video. To be fair, because I mean, he did say something like that at the end. He's like, Do, you know, mm-hmm. I'm paraphrasing. You you should not. Know. And and I I know like he's got a channel with over five hundred, almost six hundred thousand subs. So he's probably put a lot into that channel, and, and he's still risking it because if you go to his the dislike ratio on on that one video. Like usually, people like his videos. They're they're pretty well liked, and they're just lore videos. They're fine, but the, that one is getting ratioed. It's getting ratioed, uh, and then he tried to yeah. deny that it was getting ratioed on Twitter. So uh, saying that those, those, I guess, the dislike uh, button isn't giving accurate. Yeah, it's giving accurate numbers. I fucking promise you. I'll I'll put up all my numbers compared to it, and they're completely accurate. I, so, um, I did do a video on the dislike button, and it's essentially an algorithm. Uh, yes. They t- do a math equation between. People with the add-on that dislike it compared to people that like it and run those numbers. It's pretty uh, fucking... It's one of those... It's good on my channel. I have no problem with it. So, maybe it's different on others, though. I have no you know, about idea. about this whole making the making the choice to whether or not accept that little bit of bo- bonus? This is like, I don't know about you guys, but I still haven't had any invites from Disney to go and see... Uh, <laughs> go meet the cast, no. you know, go behind the scenes. They don't like me, apparently. <laughs> I, I wonder invi- why, I got Marlon. invited to go to... Um, uh, the reveal of a Final Fantasy fourteen expansion. Uh, all expenses paid trip to Paris, France, hotel, wow. flights, everything. I declined it. Wow. Yeah. Is this because you love racism? Because I love That's so it. Much. <laughs> I have declined. Yes, I have oh, declined. Gosh. I think we probably all decline things. Uh, but I, 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 I want full disclosure here because. Uh, I declined it because it was going to go over a period uh, of my mum's birthday. It's her seventy fifth birthday, and I wanted I would rather spend uh, time with my mum on her seventy fifth uh, than take a paid. And also, yeah, I did have. I wanted to because I love the I love the game, legitimate love the game. But I I realize it's a massive conflict of interest, and I'm sure some mm. people wouldn't bat two eyelids and they do it. And I'm not here to judge. That's up to you. But I, I knew it would have been a huge conflict of interest for me anyway. So I um, decided to uh, to spend the time with uh, Mater. Yeah. I, I was invited. I, I was just, Thanks, man. Go on, Laura. I was, I, was, I was just thinking about the idea of like being an all expenses paid trip to go and see like Rise of Skywalker with a cast. And when it <laughs> ended, they like, what did you think? And you're just like, oh. I, 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 <laughs> I want to shoot myself. That's I what loved I it. That was great. I, uh, I was invited to. It was a triumph. I was invited to a money st- hits my account. A failure. I was invited to a studio that wouldn't have been a conflict of interest. It 
It wasn't Disney. I'll just say that. And uh, I wasn't allowed in. Wow. Yeah. They knew who you were. Were you on some kind of a blacklist? They were like, not this guy. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I'm 100% wow. sure they know who the hell he is. They knew who many of us are. Yes. I'm not the only person. Right, 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 if Ryan got invited to the back. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, no, not you. What did you think, Ryan? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, okay, so... um. So don't they have just as much of stake of maintaining a negative perception, blah, 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 for financial gains? Their content is raw emotion, emotion attachment to a set of ideologies. Uh, that's what nerdrotic... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Projection. They said that about you? Yes, that's what nerdrotic, yeah. just some guy... Oh, the Disparu, projection is fucking real. Man. And Disparu want you mm -hmm. to feel. They make your living... They make their living off of creating this narrative of woke... Yeah, woke doesn't exist, folks. I've been just making yeah. the whole thing up all along. <laughs> just Gary, Gary, framing. I hope you realize that this article was written by Wandering.net and given to this person to uh, tweet out. It had to be. It had to be. And it was probably based on source, source articles from everything about The Last Jedi f for the last five years. Um, trying, All they had to do was insert rings of power in a couple different names. Uh, trying to attack the things you love. They don't <laughs> want you to listen to these people. Uh, they don't want you to listen to these people you've grown to admire and trust for years. I've never said that. Wow. I even Sorry, said that didn't have any some projection right fucking there, because that's what have they're doing. Have you grown up to trust the fucking two dipshit writers that didn't even get the credit on fucking Star Trek Beyond? Or did you grow up to trust Amazon? <laughs> oh, well, in this bit, they are referring to the YouTubers that went on the trip. Yeah, they're, they're literally trading yeah. off their names. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, when they all have exactly the same points, when you hear them come out and they say the the same fucking bullet points, it's they're worthy of every bit of criticism as we do from when all the fucking shills come out of the Marvel movies, yep. like Campier and all of that lot. When they come out and they say exactly the same thing. Because this they were handed like a, a triumph. Script. It's a triumph. It's a triumph. Thank this you, is Star a triumph. Wars. Yeah. For and they tying all came up out. this series. Well, the second one, the second one that they did, uh, when they came out, they all came out and they all said the same thing about the showrunners. Oh, having seen it, I now have confidence in the showrunners. Now that I've seen it, I now have confidence. It's as if they're given bullet points almost. Yeah, yeah they, they were given you know? a script, man. They were given a script. Of course, yeah. These are now, the only things you like can you say to drop about in. it. You just got to phrase it the way you want to phrase it. But they all say right. the same fucking thing in the same fucking way. That's exactly how it works. And they're under sponsorships on, on YouTube with different products. They'll give you a several lines you have to say. There's no reason to assume it wouldn't work the exact same way with this. Right. And Amazon knew that there would be massive backlash over this. That's why there's an NDA for the footage, because they don't want this drama to overrule when the footage comes out. They want everyone to say things about it now, get that out of the way, everyone go down the memory hole, and then the footage will come and the embargo for that will drop. It's so planned, and they did all of this with the Wheel of Time. This is what gets me about it. The entire marketing strategy is Wheel of Time, just on a far bigger scale, yep. because there were oh. far smaller YouTubers talking about it, and so they didn't have to do as much. But everything Every from uh, the after shows to the red carpet premieres to interviews with the authors that were involved in the Wheel of Time, all that's done. You can't tell me that didn't influence people. This is a $1 billion production. There's a lot of money on the line here. Yeah. A lot of jobs. Is enough money on the line for people to be fucking bored and paid for. And when that trailer came out, no, Gary and I had already seen the trailer before it came out. And we knew what was coming. But when that trailer came out, and you look at the number of dislikes that are on that trailer now, that absolutely blow away. Was it 16 minutes? Blow away what uh, the likes are on that. That isn't conspiracy by us that that isn't videos by nerd Roddick or despro or mauler or gundam that's not that that is public perception based off what they have seen from your marketing that's what it is you think and i i know you know the the ego would love this but you think that gary or or despro myself or jeremy or mauler you think we got that reach that mil if we have that million person reach, we would have much, much larger channels. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> hey man, we probably end up with three million dollar mansions with nuggy factories. <laughs> I want a nuggy factory. You mean mom? <laughs> yeah. They, this is this is just this is why you have to be careful about if you want to, if you want to be a, a YouTuber, an influencer, whatever tag they want to pop onto you. This is why you have to be very careful when you get bored and paid for. Because when you get bored and paid for, you're the bitch. And when they tell you to do something, bitch, you do, you do it, bitch. Do you get me? That's what it is. You sound like and my sponsors. I know. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> he was in marketing. It's a Gundam. That's Hell, how, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and that and that's that's the that's what they get into. And now I, I I look at you know when you look at sites like OneRing.net, that site is just in disarray. They don't get any. They don't get hardly any engagement versus. The number of followers that they have on social media, they are literally sounding like a desperate fucking um, member of staff of Amazon trying to course correct because, of course, Amazon can't be seen to be having a go at the uh, the audience, potential audience. No, they have to let that job now to to the to the major shill sites, the sites which can get bought and paid for. And so, you know, as much as I'd love the, like I said, the ego that we could have that kind of, no, 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 no. This is reality. This is what happens when reality comes at you fast. And you can, this, this, nobody can say whatever they want, or as I believe have been past this, these talking points to get out there. Uh, you can say exactly what you want, but you're not going to stop the inevitable. That first trailer went out and people didn't see Lord of the Rings. They saw woke, far left, ideological take, and people are getting fucking sick of it. And Tolkien's saying, been going gone. I'm sorry. So they just keep saying "fuck you" to the fans. That's really what it comes down to. They just keep saying "fuck you" to the fans, and then telling them that they're racist or sexist for not liking a bad product. And I don't know why they continue to keep doing that because, like you keep saying, it's such a small. Like, I, I myself have always considered myself a relatively progressive person. Like, I feel, for the mm -hmm. most part, I, I think I'm liberal in certain ways, I guess. But maybe not. I don't know. Because now they're telling me, no, you're not. Uh, <clears throat> but e it's to the point where even people who feel that way are like, what the fuck is this? Like, you're pissing everybody off. Like, you're pissing off for a very, very small percentage of people that they're not, they're, they don't have the numbers to support the shows that you're trying to create. So you're going to make it for this small amount of people. But what about everybody else? I don't understand their logic behind it and why they keep doing it. It's like a weird little club. They're because educating it's worth it to them. you. That's yeah. what it's about. It's more valuable than money to the workers. They get in through the HR departments and the HR departments start to hire people that think like them. And then before mm -hmm. you know it, they're in all the high positions of the company because HR rule a company. Yep. Uh, if right. that gets taken over, you've lost your company and you need to... That's like I've never understood why when something bad comes out, uh, not only does sometimes that person not get fired, but the person that hired them doesn't like... You've been hiring loads of people that just make terrible stuff. What are you doing? Like right. even questions HR. Uh, but the whole marketing of this, it's not just... Look, here's what we made. Here's what it looks like. Do you like it? Because we think it's amazing. It's about trying to get other people to convince you that re you really should be watching this. Yes. This is actually far better than what was made before. That stuff was awful, but this stuff, this is really good. And it, it should the stand on its own merits if it was good. The weird yep. thing exactly. is, you have a trailer that people have seen with their own fucking eyes, and you have these sites that are telling you to ignore that and listen to what they're saying. Now, which do you want to believe, people? The fucking eyes that you looked through to see what you saw or some fucking bored and paid for piece of shit who's coming out saying, well, we've seen it and you're going to love it. This is this whole, this has been going on for a while now, you know, and it's been going on, I mean, not getting political, but this is what's been going on in government. Don't believe what you can see with your whoa, eyes. Whoa, whoa, believe whoa, what you're, you're being eyes. told. Yes. You're telling and me the cross-eyed <laughs> lesbian didn't convince you that it was good <laughs> when she said it represented her. Oh, You're shit. such a bigot. And she had representation. She had a couple in Two Towers and in Return of the King. There are one-eyed people. So, like, shut up. You don't even know what you're talking about. Well, she was the one who said, why are they fighting? Why is everybody fighting? 
Because it's a fucking war, you dumb bitch. It's not for you then. I hate those people that come in and they're like, um, I don't like this. Then it's not for you. No, yeah. Then don't Get watch out. it. There's tons of shit that I'm like, oh, this isn't for me. This is not my thing. So I don't watch it. I don't then go and complain about it and be like, you need to make this more for me because um, you don't have enough of what I like in it. Yeah, like the, the I'm not the fucking creator. Uh, uh, listen to and this. the worst thing that can happen to them when you're trying to make a marketing campaign that just is designed to convince people of something rather than to show something is if someone reveals the curtain. In my two videos about this, I was deliberately tame. I didn't say anything about anyone that was particularly bad. I didn't call anyone a liar. I even said that if you want to do this, fine. I just want your audience to know so they can make an informed decision. I did that especially deliberately. And yet, people still started raging out about it because it's like, oh no, we, we got caught. That is essentially how it is. Stop telling people what we're doing. And it's yes. like, if you weren't guilty and didn't have a guilty <clears throat> conscience, you wouldn't mind me going, look, I wish they'd just said this and actually told people that they did get all this stuff for free. Because a £125 camera isn't nothing, and I don't really know what the excuse you could have for giving someone that is. No, yeah. and I don't know how the laws work in your country. Uh, to a certain amount, they have to declare all of that, too, because that's income. It's income. Uh, it's another, the thing. You have to declare it. If, it's, if you're basically yeah. an ad, you have yeah. to declare it. Yep. But that, that they don't dec they don't classify this as ads. Oh no, you're just viewing a trailer. It's a I, I hate the workaround, but they are trying to pull it through as a loophole. Yep, they are. Mm. So uh, uh, I'll finish it off with this. They make their. Well, I, I just say, Gary, watch it with your eyes. You're you at home. You're good enough to make a determination yourself. It's all we've ever you said. Know? It's all we've ever it's, said. Yeah. They don't want to listen. Okay, so they make their living off of creating a narrative of woke uh, regime trying to attack. The things you love, they don't Which, want you true. to that's listen true, well to done. these people <laughs> you've grown to admire and trust for years. These people who went to this event have to somehow be complicit in aiding the antagonist they are, whether they like it or know it or not. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. Anyone? Get, the, Amazon is smart. They are not a trillion dollar company for being dumb. Uh, they, yeah, they're, they, they're not going to invite people who are critical of the thing that they're trying no, to promote. No, they're not. No, they're it's not. absolutely not. They didn't not. make their All trillion dollars through TV and movies either. Their mistakes, That's not how they made their fucking money. Their mistakes yeah. are from not uh, paying attention, okay? They were just too fucking busy to pay attention. It's like a giant walking by, uh, you know, an ant. They just don't notice this little fandom until they buy their way into it and they realize their mistake the first time and they tried to fix it so they got all the Tolkien people out there and all of a sudden didn't give a shit what's, what skin color they were, uh, which was kind of all funny. Of a sudden, yeah. All of a sudden and the even, ants are crawling all even, over the giant now. Yep. And even if you're not given money, uh, one thing they did with Wheel of Time is certain reviewers got the episode in advance. So the moment the show aired, they could put their review out first. That will go into the algorithm. That will get them more views just because it's first. And that is money in itself. Access is promotion. Access is. is money. And mm -hmm. so yes. you can be affected just by the fact of if I say something bad, I'm not going to get that episode early next time. All of this stuff matters and it doesn't have to be handed to you in your bank account for it to have an effect. Yeah, and that's the reason why I think I think a lot of us have pointed that out too. Is that if, if you are given access, and and people have actually said this that had access, that if you say a negative thing about it, you will not be giving access in the future. I got one of them. Mm -hmm. I got one of them in a podcast. Wow. Yes, you did saying that. Yes, you did. That we it's throw the reason balls. why I say that you yeah. can only trust the critic that the critic that bought the ticket. Anyone giving positive yeah. feedback to the Lord of the Rings on Prime and is now woke and an enemy of Tolkien's legacy. If you follow their arguments uh no i'm only pointing out shills pretty sure that's all this brew did too in a much nicer way than i did uh <laughs> and it's all nonsense let me cap off uh this section with quotes this is george the giant slayer says these invitees were lovers of the legendarium but somehow they set that all aside to embrace the rings of power and i guess he's saying that's a bad thing george said no that's completely accurate because <clears throat> some of these people behind the scenes aren't loving it i'll just say that some of these people behind the scenes aren't loving it they're very questionable buddy yep now and i and i tried to be fair to a couple uh, even the idiot from the tolkien society they both <laughs> said at the end of their thing after they talked about how lavish everything was they go well ultimately we need to see the show so it sounds like you read amazon script and then at the end you tried to save your credibility at the end doesn't work like that unfortunately because as, as Disbrew showed and I showed in my video, you saw the gift bag. 
You saw the fucking gift bag, and and only a, a precious few people declared it. Um, that's important. Like, like uh, it's very important. And I don't care. I, I don't care what anybody. This is just what I think about this show, uh, based on, I don't know, seeing this happen over and over again in Marvel. DC, Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Star Wars, Doctor Who, Star all shows, all the, the versions of Star Trek, Westworld, Alter Carbon, Umbrella Academy. No. I mean, I, I could go Legion. I could go fucking on and on of how many times I've seen. One of the first bait and switches was uh, Iron Fist Season 2. Iron yep. Fist Season 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's 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 ridiculous. Like Colleen Wing. She's going to be the one. And you're like, why didn't why did you call this Iron Fist? Exactly. What was the point of this? Yep. And something that happened with Wheel of Time is people did episodic reviews and then they did a seasonal review and in that one they were critical. So if anyone t- mentions anything, it's like, look at this review. I, I, I was critical at the end. It's like, yeah, but all the time I was going through every episode, you're really positive. Can I, speaking about positive, because I think it's important that we need some positives in the stream. Sure. Yeah. I wish somebody loved me the way that Pikachu loves Zia's ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 tells me if I'm having a badass day. He's just Thank been you, sat there for ages, <laughs> staring, staring, and staring. Look at that smile. Like a, got on it. Good on it. Go on, Tom. Happy. Yeah. I thought you say, we've had plenty of positivity, as you mentioned love and racism, remember? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's everywhere, I remember. So, must be so happy. Uh, John, oh, okay, so I'm going to read some super chats. We are at. The three hour mark. No, uh, no burger, by the way. No burger article. Gonna get no traction. No one gives a fuck. I uh, know. Just another fucking desperate attempt from another site passed on to a fucking nobody to print out. You must be so fucking scared. Why are you so scared? If it's so good, it will speak for itself, surely. I felt the post was brave and stunning. I, 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 <laughs> oh, they, they definitely go on, but we're not going to. It's really too long. Boring. Did not read. It's really fucking boring. And I've heard it all before. And like, welcome to it, Disparu and George the Giant Slayer out there. Uh, this will not be the last time this happens to you. Be prepared for it. And don't fucking worry about it a bit. Like, it's free. It could be freaky the first time it happens to you. Uh, but like after a couple times, you're just like, whatever. It's like being called racist the first time. When you get on, yeah, you like, get what? used to it real quick. Yeah, it's back for the first time. <laughs> they were they were caught re-fucking filming the shills talking about their reactions. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. That was for great. fuck's sake. They got a guy I've been called sexist before. I'm like, I'm a I'm a woman. Yeah, you're a it's sexist internal woman. Internal misogyny. <laughs> it's it's internalized misogyny. Internalized misogyny. <laughs> they have a name for that. Yeah, they always have a name for that. Internalized some uh, shit. Crazy. Whatever, whatever you are. There's a there's a word that will just go against exactly what you say. Yeah. So it will use to discredit you. And I am super up. forgiving. I'm so forgiving. I tend to like to enjoy things because I want to enjoy things. I genuinely do. And 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 still, so I'm definitely for things. I'll be like, oh, you know what? That didn't bother me that much. But I still had a good time. Like I am so much nicer than than a lot of people are with a, a lot of stuff. Not everything. Not everything. I refuse to watch Doctor Who ever again. But. Oh. A lot of stuff. Wait, join, I'm made, joining that fucking club. I'm it made it. me so sad. They were like, finally, a female doctor. I'm like, why finally? Who said we needed this? Why did we need this? Why was this a thing? I don't understand. You never it's a made him a ginger. Left. It's, it's all about the left. You don't ever get this from the from the right. You don't ever get corporations, uh, uh, studios, production companies going to the right side. Everything's on the left. It's all left driven, left ideologically driven. So when they go finally, mm-hmm. it's just finally for them. Not not necessarily for yeah. regular people. It's just finally for them. We got another. Finally, we got this. Finally, we've done that. Finally, we've got a tiny gay black Rwandan. Uh, finally, we got a we got a trans rose at 18 years of age. Anything that's trans and 18 years of age is fucking worrisome, if you ask me. But there you go. It's, I was it's an all idiot at 18. Ideological. I was a moron. <laughs> and imagine sure. being that actor as well, knowing that you didn't get the job on talent, you got it because it was time. That yep. was the mm-hmm. only thing. You just happened to be there when they needed you. And it's like, no, no. And, and I, many... I wouldn't even take the job if I thought that was me. No, and what happens is yeah. they take the job, Disbrew, and then you hear them complain a couple of years later when they don't get any more jobs and Hollywood is just done with them. 
and, the, and like they, go, they will treat you like trash because yeah. they never like, thought much of you to begin with. The poor right. actor who played Jar Jar ruined his whole oh, career. Yeah, I thought you were going to talk about uh, say the um, that was it the actor him. in The Last of Us Two. <laughs> oh, I did not watch that. I um, that's not a property I'm familiar with. Was it terrible? Well, they were like, was it 14, 15 years of age and trans? Oh. And ah. you got pe- and you got people like fucking Cuckman at Naughty Dog going, oh, this is perfect for a, you know, fucking hell. Okay, groomer. Yeah. Big okay, time. fucking groomer. Big Leave kids time. alone. Yeah, just, just yeah. Le- like le- as yeah. as as an adult, I don't give a shit what you do. I don't care. I, I'm very much like live and let live, do what you want. I don't give a shit. But just leave kids alone. That's not. It's not for a lot too there. much to ask ever. No. And when it does, uh, groomer, that's what you're going to be called. And if it really upsets you, too bad. Uh, hey, sun's going so, down. So, guy. But, you know, so, sorry. One more. Sun's getting real low. Sun's getting, <laughs> sun's getting low. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I've got some slime. Z is, Z is coming. <laughs> 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 oh no, the sun's oh, gonna grow low. Uh Cockman, Gary, he, remember when he was at the um that presentation yes. where he was throwing shade at people like Hideo Kojima? Yep. Uh say, looking at characters like Quiet and other characters. I think Alara Croft was up there as well. And he was saying, Oh, I I you know, how could I uh you know, raise my seven-year-old daughter or whatever with with this, you know, this is not the way that I want women portrayed. Same guy puts like a fucking teenage trans child. Child. Into his child. Because the, the teenage, the 14, 15 <laughs> child into their video game. Fuck off, Neil, you fucking grooming piece well, of Well, also, I hate the whole thing where parents put the responsibility on everyone else wh- about how their kid is raised. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, dumb, totally. and that's... Your responsibility of how you fucking raise your kid, asshole. Someone else's responsibility to create things how you want your child to see the world. That's on you. <laughs> oh my god, that's, that's great. <laughs> oh wait, it's Babylon B. It's oh Babylon my god. B. <laughs> I Babylon thought it was B real. Back. <laughs> Pride Plus. Pride Plus. <laughs> Company by Disney. <laughs> that is fucking great. That is perfect, oh, dude. Yeah. That's beautiful. Uh, it's all next month. Oh my god, it's coming! Oh, it's dude. coming! It's it's coming! Oh no! <laughs> hey, it's been three hours. As it's a bedtime. Yeah. Okay, daddy. Well, you don't have to go. I uh, you just <laughs> ask me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Can't stay here. <laughs> yes, yep. Yep. I uh, some sun's getting real low. Uh, sun's going down. <laughs> it's getting real low, big guy. I'm getting real low now. Hold uh, on, let me get into position. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made the Jesus. sound. <laughs> Wet. Uh, it's everywhere. Oh it's in everything. <laughs> uh, if you can find me over on uh, Hill vs. Babyface, uh, Yell Chow channel, and uh, What Toys, H A W T Toys, on the, uh, the Twit Twats. Uh, thank you. Been a <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's like that three Larson Tally Tubbies meme. Oh my god! I haven't seen that one. This oh, is the Hulk awesome. movie I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is that's the that's how She Hulk happened. <laughs> she just stained green from his jizz. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, ch- chat, even incredible tonight. It's still like twelve thousand here yeah, now, it's nuts. and we got over fourteen thousand. And you've just been popping off with the memes tonight. It's been insane. So Thank you so memes. much, uh, Zia. Wonderful to to meet you. Disfru, wonderful to meet you too. Yeah, you too, dude. Yes, you too. Gundam, he's gone. He's not there. But you know, you, you didn't destroy my channel today, dude. So I'm very happy. <laughs> I don't know how I would do such a thing. <laughs> I'm a paragon of Crack open a Chris Chan story. <laughs> wow. Well, there's this time oh. Blue Spike got Chris Chan to shove a medallion up his ass. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little bit of hesitation. He's got ready wow. to go. As before uh, you leave, there is a super yeah. chat that they wanted you to read something. Okay. Okay. Um, put that in there. Uh, Gary, is it okay if I read it? 
Yeah. The first part? Yeah. Okay, Meth Bear from the Streamlabs side for $50. Oh. Uh, it's in the private chat as for as to read. Okay. Uh, DSP streamed a four and a half hour reaction to his own 30 minute uh, down the rabbit hole. A sick motherfucker, Almighty Tevin, raised $4,500 on an illegal restream for a children's hospital. DSP claims such money is his. You are contemptible as vermin, Phil. Fuck you. What? <laughs> well, I'd just like to say, Meth Bear, that I actually uh, saw a small bit of the Tevin stream and I actually gave some money uh, because it was going to the children's charity. So I actually gave some money to that as well. So no, I watched you can't the whole thing bit. unfold. It the was whole a train thing. wreck of awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> Phil I, then I'm, demanded I'm, I'm, that I'm, Kevin I'm, should go to jail because he was a criminal. <laughs> Oh, it's illegal, dude. Get the cops around. Wow. Uh, yeah, but but good on Almighty Tevin. It was. I think it was on like um, two two thousand dollars when I was uh, when I was in to, to get to four thousand five hundred. Uh, is just awesome stuff. That's brilliant. And just seeing, yeah, and just I think didn't Phil just he made like three hundred dollars on his stream. Didn't ah, he? that's all. That's then someone brought it, it up on it's gone dude it doesn't matter it, it, carrie it's all gone it's gone now it's, it's gone. already gone yeah it's gone before we, we even got to this so point. he's literally the phil. guy on south park and it's gone <laughs> someone told <laughs> phil that like tevin raised that money and phil goes so what <laughs> like saying the drug dealer down the street occasionally does some charity work so it's the fast. same thing <laughs> i got it i got it i got it bye now he's got to go. Oh, he just leaves. Bye. That's awesome. Oh, he had to leave for that. <laughs> one. I got All it. Right. Hey, does uh, anybody else need to go? Our guests, you, do, you are Ed's not required. Me. I need to go for a walk. I do indeed need to go, unfortunately. I do as well. It's all right. I'm going to read soups. People can leave whenever they want. But uh, uh, we'll we'll start with Mahler. You're thank you for staying this long, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, please. Tell Absolutely us. no problem, man. It's been a, it's been a riot. What, a, what you never know what's gonna happen on these streams, you, know? no, you, don't. you never know what racist thing will be saying. <laughs> no. It's a roller coaster. And hey, yeah, it feels weird. It's like jumping from stream to stream. It's like, oh yeah, Gundam again, Gary again. It's all, it's all, and I'm gonna awesome. see you again on Tuesday now. It's the multiverse yeah. of madness. It is. Yeah. Except good. And it makes <laughs> sense. Multi stream of madness. Oh man, still haven't forgotten that great movie. No. Hey, every everything everywhere all at once. That's the one, okay? It's multiverse. All you nerds out there who want to see that stuff, go look at that one. All right, it's the better. Everybody one. keeps talking about how good it is. I gotta watch that. Yep. Maybe tonight. Do it's, it. on, it's on Amazon um, Prime. Ooh, all right. Before you could, yeah. Uh thank you so much for um, for having me, of course. And uh I guess what I just think is probably worth mentioning, you got a taste of the Halo discussion today. Oh. Tomorrow yeah. Or at least tomorrow for some people. Not in Britain anymore. It's today now. Uh, we're doing a EFAB all about the whole TV show. And we're bringing on three special, very Halo specialized guests. Uh, one of them everyone knows to be John CJG. He's the creator of Arby and the Chief. He's um, probably going to be the nicest to the show out of all of us. Mm -hmm. And two others who um, I think you'll know. I, th I think they're going to know. Chat likes to speculate. And I like to let that happen. All right. But yeah, it's going to be a long one. Very excited for it. The show's terrible. Um, so check it out if you really want to hear a long-ass discussion about that. But other than that, this has been great. Thanks, Thank you dude. so much, Gary. Appreciate and, uh, you. Always lovely to hang out with the rest of you. Nice to meet you as well, Zion. Nice uh, to meet you. Peru. Yeah, you too, Mola. And uh, yeah, have a good night, everyone. Later, Mola. Bye, Bye. Bye. everyone. We love Mola. Ciao, Bella. And then we got to say goodbye to... It's a Gundam. Hey, thanks for coming on, dude. Oh, it was fun, you know. We come around, we dick around, we say horrible things that'll yeah. probably get us in trouble. The yep. good old days of old fashioned ribbing comedy and casual racist jokes that yeah. were only meant to tickle the phony, funny bone. I can't even think straight. It's okay. uh, I've got nothing to sell or promote. Uh, yes, Fluffy, I know. We're leaving, Fluffy. Well, I heard Fluffy I back there. That's usually Fluffy. the sign. We love Fluffy. Yeah, I know, Fluffy. Take the squeak. Uh, I will now walk the dog and fix my cabinet as I originally intend. All right, brother. Uh, what the hell do they say in French? Oh, well. Au revoir. This is a French Au revoir. 
Au revoir. I said no, pleasure. I said hello. Me. That's it. <laughs> Till next so time, dumb. Jeff Drew and uh, Zia and Comics Division X-Ray Girl, Nerd Rotic, and the people out there in TV land. <laughs> got a fluffy squeak. Was abrupt. Uh, comics. Hey, everybody. Um, in comics Division, you can follow me on Twitter and, of course, the YouTube at Comics Division. Um, as always, Gary, thanks for having me on. Sure. It was great meeting you, Despero and Z Zaya. Is that how you say it? Zia. It's okay. Zia. It's a really okay. weird one. Fair enough. My parents uh, got here, and yeah. I'll see you guys next week. Take care, everyone. Nice to meet you. See you. Bye. Nice Bye. Oh my god! I just almost call. I always do that. I almost call him by his name. I get so close. It's it's like oh. best not to tell me your name, you know, ever because I'll blast That's, it out. Uh, yeah, I use scream names for everybody because I'd be exactly the same. Yep. I was, yeah. Luckily, I'm really bad with names, so if someone tells me the real name, I'll forget it in like a day if I don't use it. If you don't use it all. Well, the time. if you like see their screen names over and over again, like there's people in my chat where like my mods where I just see their screen name. I know their real name, but I never use it because I just don't. Mm. They're just their screen names at this point. I'm like, sorry, guys. <laughs> you never oh, want to right. slip up. Yeah, right? Okay. Uh, we're going to get to Super Chats. Thanks, everyone, for being on today. Pirate Tomsky for 100 British pounds. That's proper money. Ow. Was planning to watch the first hour of FNT. <laughs> well, that's an interesting first hour. And then a go watch Northman. But you guys have been awesome tonight. Fucking hilarious show. Love you all and follow Ripa's advice. Don't give money to people who don't like you. Keep doing what you do. Hail to the fellowship. Hail to you. It was fun. The Northman was very fun. I enjoyed the Northman. I did too. I, I thought too. it was good. And and that's on Amazon Prime as well. You can watch it at home. It's a, a little predictable. Like everything that was happening, I was like, I bet this is going to happen. And then it happened. But otherwise, I thought it was shot really cool. The acting was good. And the uh, action scenes were really good, too. Yeah. I I, I like I loved everything about it. Yeah. It's pretty dark. It, was, it, was, it reminds yeah. me a little bit of Excalibur. I mean, not as good as Excalibur. Excalibur. John Borman's Excalibur is magnificent. I haven't seen that. I'll add oh, that to the list. You okay. need to see that. That is a, a proper fantasy movie. That was considered by Text many the right best now. fantasy movie till Lord of the Rings came out, <laughs> including me. So, uh, caliber. All right. What year did this come out? 81. 1981. Just make wrong. sure I've it got 80, it. 80, It'll 80. be somewhere in the John 80s. John Borman Thank directed you. it. It's uh, Patrick Stewart. You'll recognize a bunch of people. Right? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Jazz da Face on the Streamlab side for sixty two forty six. Thank you very much. His first donation. Oh, we'll be gentle because I actually catching this live because I'm actually catching this live tonight. This panel is fucking epic. Oh, thanks. Uh, it's always epic, but tonight we have a, a pure alchemy. Thank you for my sanity. The last couple of years, Hulk smash and hail and hail to you. What is Hulk smashing, though? That's what I want to know. I'm just going <laughs> to keep, every time, I'm going to keep thinking of her and the slime now. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to do that to you. <laughs> it's part of the lore now. Yeah. Permanently part of the lore. Zia, sorry. <laughs> no, that's, sorry. Those memes are phenomenal. <laughs> i got to uh, go through and find all of them and save them. Oh, yeah. I love doing that after the show. I just kind of <laughs> just keep resharing, piss people up on my timeline. It's fun. Uh, Robert McDonald for one hundred dollars. Wow, I should feel bad for my Schadenfreude. Uh, gets strokes every time I see Gary crash and burn trying to do a multitask or multi a multi syllabic <laughs> syllabic multi syllabic yeah. word. Uh, dude, it hurts my brain. Believe me, it's probably it's fun. I'm like having a mini stroke every time I try to do it. I'm too old for that shit, but thank you. I'll do it again. I promise. Dean Domino, 25 and 49.99 says, not quite sure if I said this to you before, but you guys should check out Spy X. Ah, I'm going to check out Spy X. I have been told many by many people it's good, so I'm going to watch it. Uh, the Spy X family anime, great comedy mixed with heartwarming moments. Also saw a video comparing scenes in sub, v, sub versus dub. Sub, uh, gotta wean off dub sometimes. Yeah, I'm wor too worried. I'm gonna listen to some fuck face who tried to cancel Vic. 
So that's kind of where I'm at with with dubs. My issue is I I just I I can't focus so much on one thing at a time. I like to have things as a background that I watch. So with dubs, you can do that. If I have to constantly read something, I'm either going to focus too much on the words or miss stuff on the screen, or I'll probably end up not watching it because I want to do something else at the same time. Uh, I use TV. This one of the reasons I watch so much trash TV is just. A lot of it's on in the background, and it's amazing how much stuff improves if you don't just focus on it. I have a feeling, actually, this is what a lot of the Marvel stuff is. People <laughs> yeah. watch in the background, and all the boring bits, they're, they're busy doing something else, and they, they just tune in when it's interesting, and so they but just they want more content rather than quality content they can focus on. But they pick up their phone every time. I have a t- oh, bad tendency of doing me. that. Yeah. If I have it, to. It's weird. But the thing is, dub, it just doesn't sound like the voices match the character. That's and true. I find yeah. that so annoying. Yes. Yeah. It makes me not even want to watch it at all. I agree with you because all the the um, inflections are off and kind of the emotion isn't behind it. It just doesn't quite. It sounds like it's dubbed. Mm-hmm. And it's yeah, I'm with you on that. That's well, not- and there have been cases where they've changed the words. Yeah, that's, they did that's that. Gonna happen more and more. They did that in my neighbor Totoro, and look, it's just a little thing. But when they when Disney bought it and they redubbed over it with Elf, all those famous people, and they changed it from Golly Wally Pogs to Tadpoles, I was pissed. <laughs> I was like, so, "How yeah. dare you?" I don't even know what I'm wa- like. Like, per- uh, like the only anime I've watched lately is Parasite, which is pretty good, except for Miggy the Hand. It's supposed to be a dude, and you could tell it's a girl. It's a girl dub in it. So that's a little, uh, it's, it, it works anyway, but it makes the hand f- sound like cute and anime-y. And maybe that's it's the way it sounded, or I'm sorry, uh, it, it, in the original. But I, I thought the hand would sound a little better instead of sounding like fucking, not Pikachu, but you could tell it's just some girl doing voicing it. <laughs> and he keeps calling it a he. So I'm like, uh, misgendering your hand, dude. Uh, Ryan Crowley for $50. Hey, oh, first time super chatter. Oh, wow. Even more. Uh, love listening to y'all while driving my rig. Oh, hey, dude, I've got a sound effect for you. It's going to be really fucking loud, too. So hang on. This was for the Canadian truckers. I'll turn it down a little bit. That's for you, dude. Uh, while driving my rig, you all provide a lot of insight and laughs. Keep doing what you're doing. We will. And thank you very... Oh, I almost hit the wrong button. I almost did. I do that often. Nightcrawler, one of my favorite X-Men for $40. Hail to the panel. First time super chatting. Wow. Got a lot of virgins in the audience. Might need to do the Rocky Horror Virgin dance. Uh, special. Like Chief. Uh, or maybe Master Chief. <laughs> it was both of their first times. Both of them. Oh my God! One was taken away to an alien planet from like when she was really young, and he had a pill in his back which stopped him wanting to. So that would have been an interesting that was first two time. Blind people in the dark. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Uh, and she had a sword in her finger, an energy blade. So anything could have happened. Wow! Smashes. She stuck the wrong finger up his butt. Oh, yeah. There was a great bit. She actually pulls it out, and it's like <laughs> really thick. It would have put, been like most of her <laughs> finger. And then in the last episode, it shows you a finger, and she's still got a fingernail and everything. They couldn't even be bothered to fake a wound on a finger. They just painted it red. The laziness. That's the sound it makes when he uses the wrong. When she uses the wrong. <laughs> 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 uh, special thanks to Gundam because he is the reason I found you all and many more may the wings of liberty never lose a feather and stay on breaded on breaded on breaded on breaded oh my on god paper? on paper touchdown <laughs> on <breaded. laughs> that they should never let that guy out that uh that's a nick oh, yeah. uh ricated thing so this uh ucla professor got busted stalking a woman and then they found like 800 page manifesto uh that's like the worst shit you've ever read the world's racist worst revolutionary like we'll kill somebody someday shit you've ever read and this guy's been at it for a while and he was a professor at ucla university of california los angeles very prestigious university home of the bruins uh yeah and he's locked up it wasn't just that book no he actually released like 900 videos or something on his channel at the same time (laughs) yes a crazy amount of work went into such a lunatic project. A, a lunatic with a very good work ethic, by the way. You could just <laughs> produce, yeah. produce a lot of material. 
Uh, <laughs> we have Caboose Mobile. This is Hail Friday Night Tights. Uh, I live in Massachusetts or... M.A.? Well, that'd have to be Massachusetts, right? I live in Massachusetts. I went to a doctor to get an ear checked out. They wanted to update my medical info. Sounds normal. Then they asked my gender identity pronouns and my assigned gender at birth. Assigned by the creator when he gave you an Audi instead of an any. Uh, my <laughs> eyes couldn't have rolled more in my life. Caboose Mobile, I'm sorry. Get out of those. Well, I think, I mean, like, even in Texas, that could happen. Depends on where you go, right? That could happen in Texas. There's. I just had a doctor's appointment in New York City, and they just had male and female. I was, I was honestly surprised wow. that they hadn't. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's good. They probably. Yeah, I haven't run into it yet, yet, but. Oh, that sounds terrible. Terrible. Uh, Zachary Miller for ninety nine ninety nine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hail, my name is Zach. And I like to party. My weekly tradition is Friday night tights and grilling monster steaks on my farm. Hell yeah. Uh-huh. I'm a litigator that escaped New York and lives in Indiana. Wish me luck because I'm applying for Elon's based legal team, Rage On Brothers and Sisters. Oh, dude. Good luck. He needs one. Good luck. So please get the job. Like, the enemy is within on Tesla. I've said that since I was there. Uh, used to work at Tesla? Yeah, like wow. way down the line. Okay, don't, mm. get, don't get too impressed. I, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't designing so cool. anything, yeah. But um, yeah, it's, it's uh, the corporate structure there is bad. It's very Silicon Valley bad. So I, I, he had a lot of people, uh, I, the example I always use is I was there when he, when he spoke to Joint on Joe Rogan, and we had two meetings in one day. And I, I work on parts. Like, I have nothing to fucking do with the CEO smoking a joint, and I could give a fuck. And they called me in for, like, so the second one, I'm like, why am I here? What has what this got to do with Tesla parts? How am I keeping the Teslas safe? How am I keeping them on the road? Worrying about my CEO have fucking smoking a joint. I don't even, I don't even have stock. Why did anyone care about that? Uh, I don't understand why anyone gave a shit. I, I really oh my god! Don't. A guy smokes weed in a state where it's legal to smoke weed. <gasps> Trillionaires can smoke weed too, or billionaires, multi-billionaires. <laughs> well, they're people. They're people too. That's the issue with HR, right? Because with things like that, if if your boss is wasting your time, you're supposed to be able to go to HR and say, "Look, what this boss is doing," and they're the ones that judge the punishment. But if they agree with that, now no one's doing it, and your entire company falls. I, yeah. I, I think there's certain areas which are key. And they fall first, and I don't think that the bosses of these companies understand the importance of them. And HR is one of them. And the moment they get in through that, they own your company. Yep. And, and they're supposed to be the least biased too, for that very reason. But that never works out. They need to justify oh, yeah. their existence, like middle management. And it's just oh god, I don't miss corporate Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> anything, anything. Lord of the Rings nerd nine seven, and that's an exclamation point. Lord of the Rings nerd ninety seven. For fifty dollars, it's Hail Friday Night Tights. Love the guests and show tonight. As always, Lord of the Rings is my favorite story, books, and movies of all time. And I wish Rings of Power would be good. So do I. Uh, everybody said that, uh, but it I looks want it like to be good so bad. I do too. Uh, and everything I've heard sounds like absolute uh, shit. So fuck the shills. Yeah, fuck them. I don't care. I'm sad. Right. Yeah, if you're unsure about the quality of it, go watch Wheel of Time. Then you'll agree. <laughs> it's that simple. And they've Wheel of Time was rough. Wheel of Time had fourteen books. They didn't even need a script writer. They could have just cut certain scenes to crush it down to the time. That's all they had to do. By the end of episode three, they took the books, burnt them, and just wrote their own story. This is why we're like, oh, we're, we're following the stars to come up with a, a like follow the law. No, you're not, because you've already proved you don't care about them because you had a property with law. And so you're using the blank spaces as an excuse to fill your own nonsense. Yeah. So it's so open. Lord of the Rings, they've created, as far as I know now, uh, four, five original characters that you're going to be focusing on. Focusing on. That's going to be the focus of their show is five <sighs> original characters. Five. Then why do fucking Lord of the Rings? Yep. Then just don't do it. Do your own fucking thing. 
just do yeah make your own new property you know and again they there's a lot of diverse books with tons of diversity in it I, there's one book series that by um clive barker that i love so much it's called the Aberat. And uh, if they ever made that into a show, I'd be fucking thrilled. And guess what? It is just full of diversity. The author is gay and Clyde Barker's gay. And he wrote in gay characters and he wrote like it's there's it there's it's it's amazing. It's a fucking amazing series. I love it so much. It's awesome. If they made that, they could do all of that without fucking it up. Easily. It'd be great. Uh, It'd be it, great. It's risky. It's risky to do something new that's not proven. So let's buy that proven ob- audience and then alienate them. The first that that's one of the first acts we'll do is piss everybody off. Thank you. Don't do that. Just don't do, take their good, just just good shows. Do you remember uh, when the customer was always right? Yeah, and now it's I like, do. how can we can convince the customer that actually they want this? <laughs> <laughs> yep. They're not right. They don't even know what they need. We they need us to tell them what they need. That's the attitude right now. Uh, mm-hmm. some guys uh, some guy who paints for 50 British pounds. Oh, very specific on what this guy does. Holy crap, you still going? What is this? EFAP? Oh, this is a this is an average show. Like we've gone six hours in the past. We're not going six hours tonight, but uh, we've gone six hours in the past. Have you? <laughs> like, uh, no, I'm hungry. I, no, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. I've got a, I've got uh, some chicken because I stopped eating bread and starches and sugars. Gary's unbreaded. So I'm on. Yeah, yeah. I'm to bring you nuggies. I yeah. won't tell you I'm having pasta for dinner then. Uh, no, oh, wait. I haven't had pasta. So long. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> And and the person who makes the noogies, she's uh, she's gone for a week, so I gotta make my own noogies. Oh no! Yeah, uh, have, you sound like my husband. If I leave, he just doesn't eat. If I'm gone, I'm like, did you start, make lunch today? Away. And he's like, no. <laughs> okay. You just skip a couple meals anyway, you know. Uh, have some cash, you massives. Thank you for the content. First time donating. Oh, thank you. We'll be gentle. Uh, we'll watch, uh, I catch up on the stream tomorrow. Good. You'll enjoy it tomorrow. Uh, cheers guys and gals and cheers to you. Some guy who paints. I like that. <laughs> All righty. Just checking. Where was I? Johnny 64 for forty nine ninety nine. says I'm not attached to this money because it was Jeremy's money. Oh, good. Give me some of Jeremy's <laughs> money. And I won it last night in a game of shuffleboard because I'm better than him. Hail awesome people and Jeremy, especially after you win. And you kicked his ass in shuffleboard. I love playing shuffleboard. Get me in a bowling alley, though. It was a Nintendo game. Let's see, he didn't stand a chance. Oh, yeah, he must have been. (laughs) Most any game, right? Like, he's not good at any. I mean, like, I suck, but so does he. So I watch Mario Kart for five minutes. I have no idea what's going on, but it looks like he sucks. It's a lot of screaming. Yeah. Uh, Ghost of Camelot for $99.99. Just loving the show tonight. Can't stop laughing. You guys are awesome. Here's a tip for the jar. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Ronan the Crusader for $50. This fitty. I like it when people say fitty. This fitty for the lovely Chrissy Mayer. $25 to make up for missing out. The uh, the Morris Plains show. I live in Jersey. You didn't make. You couldn't make it. Oh, she had to back out. I didn't know that. And twenty for the conversation with uh, with Mr. Ralph. And a quick shout out to Dancing Clown Papa Gundam. Hail Friday Night Tights. We love Papa Gundam. Uh, yeah, Chrissy had a interesting. Work. What'd you say? Uh, T M Devo for fifty dollars. Oops. Oh, just a donation. Thank you. That's it. We are Devo. Early Devo is fucking awesome. Some good stuff. Uh, kind of all of it is, but I like the earlier stuff better. Uh, Bruce Maximus for $50. You, uh, not really, what's a Devo? Never mind. As got, as got a split from ya yeah, on Halo. Everything up to and including Halo 4 was good. Story-wise, 5 and Infinite were... Uh, Shiza. Shiza. Shit, by the way. Uh, they could have had Johnson as the main character in the show, told the story of the insurrection or the erection uh, in the television show's case, and taken the Expanse's place. Well, that would be easy because the Expanse ended like shit. And I recommended that show to everybody who could breathe. 
And now I, I stopped g- watching it. Yeah, it got just really bad at the end. That whole last season, I think I watched one episode and I'm like, I, I'm just not interested in this anymore. I, I was interested in it at the start because of the whole, what was it called? The, 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 the pro- virus the, thing? The proto-molecule, yeah. Yeah, that's what really interested me, that whole storyline. And it just ended. And I'm like, but I, I don't care about Earth at this point. I don't know why I'm going to visit a prison. It really just yeah, yeah. didn't make any sense. from no, Because like, they- I've not read the book, so I was just following a storyline. It just stopped. So they answer the question in the books. Um, and in the books, there's a 30 year time jump between, um, basically season, they, uh, it's after season six. So say if the seasons kept going and they kept adapting a book per season, there would be three more seasons and the next season, everybody's 30 years older, 30, uh, because they had to create the, uh, Laconian empire, which is beyond the ring. So that Laconian empire, all of a sudden Holden completely out of the story. They pull him out of the story. They put him in jail. Uh And they make a, he like, he's there, but he's not there. And we're just following Naomi for fucking three <laughs> books. And she becomes like superwoman by the end. Then they bring in oh. Jim and um, they fucking, it's, God, I just fucking hate it. <laughs> now they explain the protomolecule a bit and it's interesting. But the way they end the book, especially after seven Books seven and eight were filler trash. They were filler trash. Eight st- started to explain some stuff, but it's like a bunch of, you know, they they in the books they introduced new characters, which is fine, but quite frankly, their their new characters got less interesting as time went on. So they should just should have focused on the Rosinante, who had interesting characters, and then they all fall back into the background. By the way, Amos, zombie. He's a zombie at the end, somehow. What? Yeah. Is, do you think it's one of those things where they hadn't planned the story out? Because there are some writers who have the story right from the start, or at least an outline for it, and others that just put in mystery bits, and then they're like, oh, we actually don't know how to explain this. And they end oh up with like God. a lost ending where it could have gone anywhere. Yeah, don't get into all mystery boxing and all that shit. Like, uh, you know, J.K. Rowling, uh, people love her, people hate her, had her ending locked in a fucking box the whole time she was writing Harry Potter. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. what Robert Jordan did. I mean, yep. he died before the end of his books, but they could be finished because he'd already written the ending and he already had it all outlined. So that really was just filling in the gaps. Yep, yep. And uh, was it Brandon Sanderson who finished yeah, it? Did yeah, did a great job. And the enti- I think the entire final chapter of the last book was uh, already written for him, essentially. So he's just um, maybe a little editing it was involved. Yeah. Uh, George ain't doing that from Game of Thrones. Promise you that. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> He's when is he finishing those? Has he finished? Is he getting close yet? I, I would say <laughs> never. We're probably we might. I would say optimistically a year away from Winds of Winter. If we if it doesn't come out in the next year, we're not getting it all. And the reason I say that is I do believe George is going to get old enough to go. Just fuck it. Right. Just fuck. He's it. got so much money at this point. Yep. He doesn't need to do it. And doesn't, it doesn't need to do anything. It doesn't look like it bothers him when people get mad because he's such a uh, isolationist. Like he doesn't get out much. Um, he he wants to be those people. Yep, yeah, he wants to be a TV writer. He wants to go back to TV writing. That's what he loved, um, and he's super tempted by the HBO series. Uh, he's also lost his way. Like there's there's signs that the books could go real real south. An example: Fire and Blood that they came out, which is a volume one. It's, who, nobody gives a fuck about a Targaryen history with stories we already knew but the stuff he added was the sea snake because he knew they were going to race swap the sea snake the valerians that he described in his own book as white skinned with purple eyes and white and blonde hair are now one of them's black it's Uh, with blonde hair that happened Uh, (laughs) so so it's it's dumb and all the people are trying to defend it and george backs it and i'm fine but what's even worse is he goes in and rewrites that guy's house that they gender swap or sorry race swap to black and they made the house like just the bestest house in the world and george doesn't you know george doesn't if you're anything know anything about game of thrones he does not make people successful there's always some gray no sea snake fucking solid good guy <laughs> <laughs> the only one in fucking game everything. of thrones and of course all the white people hate him so that's why they rewrote that whole thing in Fire and Blood. And I sniffed that out two years ago. I was like, there's something something really stinks about this because this is not George. George is like, 
This one guy that, that we're, there's no way we're going to change to black later is all of a sudden a nice person that doesn't get stabbed in the back by somebody evil in my story. That just never happens. So <laughs> They actually had that in Halo. Uh, one of the guys is involved with Halsey and stealing kids when they're six years old. And he actually comes out and he's talking to Halsey. Both of them did the same thing. And he's having a go at her for it and blaming her. And she even says, you were there with me. You were just to blame. And he went, it wasn't me. The system made me do it. I'm like, I can't oh, believe you've just written that. See? Both of you are equally to blame. You made your own decisions. And he actually says, it's the army. It's the military. The system made me do it. Like, just on the hope. nose millennial writers they come up with terms like adult orphans and they say that food's free or, like it's really bad adult orphans so yes. like most adults like you're all gonna be an or oh yeah how do they i eventually. think it happens eventually yeah well, like it's to a millennial they live with their parents till they're 40 so they might be adult orphans <laughs> <laughs> it could happen <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing I could think of. I thought I, of it that way. That's why. I, that's why I mentioned it as only a millennial would write that. That was my. Oh, see, you're not supposed to explain the joke, ridiculous. but I did. I did. Yeah, and they're they're always taught like from school if something's wrong, go and consult an authority figure. And so the parent has that later on and looks after them. And so when all the authority figures are gone, they're like, oh, I don't know what to do anymore. I think it's good that I was raised by a. I don't know. I don't want to say absent father, but you know, kind of. You got more ind me, more independent. Uh, made me super independent. Yep. <laughs> like I'm good. Sometimes it works. <laughs> it does. It, you know, it really, it really, <laughs> really burning. does. Yeah. Uh, better bachelor for fifty dollars. Uh, I foresee no content you'll soon want to watch. I'm really close to that. Uh, along with the rest of us, here's a donation for soon to be needed aspirin. And alcohol. I'll pass the alcohol on to the missus. <laughs> uh, cheers and cheers to you. Aspirin, I'll need. Alcohol, promise. I promise you, it would just make things worse. It would just make things so much worse. Uh, I like the Doug Stanhope thing though. It's like I, I did it in one of the videos. I watch Halo, and that's why I drink. I think it's it is such an amazing comment. It's the it's the only enjoyment we can get is it either yeah deadening our soul or our feelings or laughing our asses at, off at it. That's the only yeah. way I can cope, especially with like how bad, you know, br bring up Doctor Doctor who is the most destroyed thing out there. It's like never coming back. It is done, it's done, so done. And, sad. and then they just cast a guy that's not even British. Yeah, he's, he's yes. born he in Rwanda. A British guy. Yeah, doesn't it, if you've heard his accent, it's not a British accent at all. It's clearly. No a foreign accent and it's like at least at least fake a british accent if you're gonna do it at least try oh uh, yep it's oh, no it's he's got to be from uh, like what you don't they're, they're black people are born in the uk every day find one they up. are they are there's there's tons of them you could have made up what's his name idris elba i, I would have been, been fine with that, that. Oh. i would have watched that that'd be great yes that would have been really they, they cool, work, but no. I, I thought they might go masculine. I, I was told two years ago it would be a black man. I was told that, that like, it's no secret. They were going to try yeah. out, they because they had to, they would try out white people. They were never, get, never, never getting the job. I promise you, they were never <laughs> getting the fucking job. Uh, I believe RTD, they probably had another choice for somebody, but then they got the, he got picked last minute in the audition. That part, I believe. But this part, I've known for, for a long, long time. And, and it, I was like, okay, it depends on which way they go with it. We'll see. Um, I was even, like, willing to give a chance if they went out in interviews and just never brought up race or representation or being seen. If they just talked about fucking Doctor Who, I, that's when I would go, okay. Yeah. They, they, like, yes. Like, they're not saying this stuff now when that's what everybody expects. And they're just talking about their TV show. Okay, fine. I'll, then I would say fine. Nope. Fucked it up. Second interview. And if they were going to do it, my pick would have been uh, Richard. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Richard AOA. AOD. AOA or something. Yeah, yeah. He would be great. Yeah. Absolutely great. Born in Hampshire, British. Fills all the same boxes you want. It, and he's great. He's looks really like, funny. Absolutely looks like a character from a Douglas Adams book. Uh, dude, just hire that guy. No, they, were, they, um, they obviously wanted to triple down. So, okay. Your ratings are going to triple down. 
Uh, I'm so curious to see what the ratings are going to be because I know it's all it's obviously really high whenever a new doctor takes over because everyone's coming in to check it out. So the mm -hmm. Jodie Whittaker, her first episode was really, really high. And then I watched that first season and I had to tell there were a couple of episodes where I was like, oh, this kind of feels like Doctor Who. And that's when it hit me how sad it was that you had that you are watching this show and you're like, oh, this episode kind of feels like Doctor Who. So I kind of like it. Like I was grasping at straws and uh -huh. I got to the end of the season. I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. And so I just stopped if watching ever, it. If you ever feel go like ahead. that, go back and watch one of the classic episodes and you'll realize the quality difference and you'll hate it again. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I kind of want to go back and rewatch it anyway because I miss it. <laughs> and I just yeah. want to remember when it was good. That's, that's what I was, you know, I haven't watched a modern episode in, in a minute, you know, a couple months. And I watched 11th Hour. And if you compare that, that thought was made in 2010. 2010 wow. that was made Jeez. and it is so much it is better directed better written uh the effects are better the editing is better the music everything is better every the like acting. right the catering that i didn't eat was better than it was in the it's so fucking <laughs> bad now well, this they, is what they, I mean. It's not just like the script writers. This when, like I said, it's why I say the HR department. It because it's yeah. the entire company that changes. It's not just a few parts. This is why you could like when you're talking about a hydra. It's like you can cut off one head. Uh, no, there's just it's all the way down. Yeah. Patty Q Streamlabs for fifty dollars says hail and well met, Papa Gundam. You are my a gem and a legend, and I want you to know. I want to know uh, your song the other day was fucking rad, dude. Yeah, he played. Uh, we played a song of his. On Friday Night Ties, it was so cool. It's good. Yep. So uh, good. Please officially release it. Yeah, you know, because he's got a kind of a weird, uh, it's not weird in a bad way. It's weird in a very good way. Kind unique. of a unique danzig kind of thing going on. And okay. Danzig, Danzig's my fucking favorite of all time. So uh, please officially release it. You all heard about uh, the recent UAP conference. It goes higher than regular politics politicians oh we yeah it goes to the highest seats of power thank you very much Patty Q. uh technically mexican uh technically mexican for 50 dollars says everyone needs to watch raised by wolves it's the best sci-fi series on tv right now and i need a season three it is not woke and actually super pro-life oh uh, yeah that's yeah i've heard that about it uh, yeah maybe check it out i do a weekly deep dive Every episode, please sub to my channel. I also have a spicy meme now and then. And that channel is Technically Mexican, which is a very good na channel name, by the way. I like that. Uh, Nomad for $49.99 says, here's some cash for Gundam's mom. I'll pass it on to Gundam's mom. We love Gundam's mom. Mm -hmm. uh, Shane Day for 50 British pounds. That's proper money. Hell, all I have to... I too have watched all of the Disney Marvel shows and agree that there are there is only one good thing about them: the credits. Ah, <laughs> they're really fucking long. I told long. you, I'm forgiving. <laughs> the twenty minute credits, yeah. Uh, Eric Bailey for one hundred dollars says, "Hail to all X Ray Girl, Chrissy, Krista, and my nerdy home w home would make a better female Avenger team than anything the MCU craps out." I agree, Gundam. If you could make a real mobile suit, what would you? What would it be? Oh, I have to ask him that because he's gone. Uh, may the mer uh, may the merger offering help you keep the racism and salt flowing? Hail! I'll have to ask him that. Because he makes Gundams. Gundams are awesome. Star Trek 58 for $79.99. Australian. Hail Gary and the Friday Night Tights team. How do you make a Wookiee really angry? Call him a Wookiee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that really, they really hate that mispronunciation. Keep up the good work, guys. You all keep us normal, sane nerds. Aw, oh, bless you. That's like a dad joke in there. Bradley Burnett for $50. Missing so much because my law office is moving this weekend. Oh, I'm sorry. But you got a job. But moving sucks from office to office. Uh, you just started the live, the live stream. Can't go to Megacon, uh, but maybe FanCon. Maybe Fan Expo in Dallas. But great content. Deserves support. Hail Friday Night Tights. Hail the Fellowship. I'll rewatch tomorrow when October is declared. When October is declared, I'm there. Yeah, we're really close. As a matter of fact, our phone call today, we discussed, uh, I think, 
they're like they need to dot some I's and cross some T's, and Ryan didn't want to announce anything until they dotted some I's and crossed some T's. So really close. Felipe Abrigo for twenty five thousand Chilean pesos. Hey Gary, I found the solution to the woke problem. Say things like no more, uh, no more show, short pronouns. You deserve long pronouns. Or say trans people are braver than gays. <laughs> no more gay privilege. And just pick up your popcorn. Oh, that's that's a good oh point. Oh my goodness! They are fighting. They are fighting, and it's funny. Because you get, you get, like, all of a sudden they, they're they faced with their own arguments right, like, immediately. And they're, well, but they keep fighting anyway because they're too dumb. So we're going to end it with a, I'm going to shill. I'm going to shill some geek grind. Friday night tights blend. Uh, there'll be links in the description. We're also going to have uh, K cups, KKK cups. And there's a mug, FNT mug with the logo and the geek grind. And it's it's like grinder except for geeks and not sex. It's coffee and it's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar. Did, did you plan this? Info. No, that just made that up. So, oh, we're gonna, uh, Gary, don't forget about the new new mug. Also. Uh, what blend of Geek Grind coffee are you drinking right now? Doesn't Geek Grind have a premium roast with your avatar face on it? That's right. The Feathers of Liberty brand. Link in the description. Tell folks about it. I will. I am. And thank you for the $20, by the way. You didn't have to do that. That's from Lady Grey Master. You're not supposed to do that. Now I got to give her 20 bucks. She's reminding me. Yes, there's all kinds of flavors. Ladies, uh, in the description, dudes too. We don't discriminate here. So let's wrap this thing up. We got to go home. We got to eat. Some pasta. of us, some of us have yeah pasta. Eat your pasta, <laughs> starch person. Starch Sorry, I'm privilege. so excited. Um, <laughs> I'll send you a picture in the group chat. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I have Babylon Five to watch, so we need to get going. Oh, it's great too. I love that show so much. Um, we will start. Weird with... ending, but apart from that, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you end at four, but it's yeah, it's kind of hard to. Mm. So. It felt uh, like it needed to run longer, and they were just so quick, shove it all together. <laughs> it yes. Better. Yes. That's what happened to Battlestar, too. I think, and they both ended kind of, well, we'll say it split the audience a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'd never really got that. When you have to look up a video for something, to uh, an answer to be explained about an ending, something's gone wrong. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, X-Ray Girl. Um... Thank you for having me today. Uh, it's a man as the producer role. Uh -huh. Even though Garrett's not here, I miss him. It's so much harder without him. But anyways, um, on Monday, I'm going to be doing Firefly, uh, the next four episodes. So I'm really excited to watch it. And actually, I was uh, listening as, as I was in the bathroom. You want to rewatch Doctor Who? Maybe I'll do a rewatch and then we All can right. chat about it. We that would that. be awesome. Awesome. Oh my God. Have you, you wait, you said a rewatch, right? Or no? Well, you are rewatch my first time. Your first time? <gasps> yes, I want to do this so bad because mm -hmm. it's so much more fun with someone who's never seen it before. Mm -hmm. Oh so my God. When I, when I watch liked, it, I'll let you know. She let liked, me know. She liked uh, Firefly. So that's good. Firefly is yeah. fantastic. That's a good sign. Yes. That's a good that sign. That is a good sign. You're going to love Doctor Who. <laughs> I, I, I can I can tell already. <laughs> um, so, yeah, sub to my uh, YouTube channel, which um, just got the hours. So I'm just waiting for YouTube to tell me I'm good to go. Any, any day now. Yay. Any day fast. now. So, usually pretty yeah. fast. Well, congrats. Thank you. Good job Thank today. Uh, Disbrew, tell us about yourself, where people can find you. Uh, yeah, you can find me Dispro on YouTube. I do kind of largely TV stuff, but really anything that I find interesting or funny. Like when it came out that Doctor Strange had been calling Italians cooks through his hand gestures. I had to talk. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> anything that's weird, I love to talk about as well. And I review kind of an episode of TV a week. This has been Halo. It's probably going to be uh, Obi-Wan next. And... Um, Ooh. It's I, I just rip it apart and take I, like laugh at it is what I try and do. It's the only thing that can keep me sane through it all. Uh, so yeah, if you like any of that, you can find me on Disper on YouTube. And 
thanks for having me on because I watch this every week. So being on it is uh, has been a lot of fun. So cheers for that. Great, you're welcome. Great job. Thanks for coming on. Uh, Zia, please tell people where they can find you. Um, you can also check out my YouTube. It's X I A L A N D Zealand on YouTube. Uh, there's not much TV stuff up there. I used to do a lot of that kind of stuff, um, but mostly it's just I'm going to start doing more of that again. Mostly it's just the podcast that I do called Unqualified Experts, where either Nick and I or we have different guests come on where we give advice to the internet's most outlandish questions. And I am never. Ever not surprised by the questions that people are asking on the internet. Good God. And the mm -hmm. things they need advice on. Literally the last one, the last episode, a mom went on to be like, hey, I need advice. I walked in and found my 12-year-old daughter fucking our dog. Like that was the <laughs> last. Yes. That was my fa I was like, you just need to get rid of your daughter and start over. You're young. She was like, I'm 32. I was like, you can, you can still have kids. It's not too late. Just get rid of that one and start over. Because what the fuck do you say to that? So anyway, uh, it's a lot of that kind dog. of stuff. It's absolutely <laughs> wild. <laughs> and uh, subscribe to my, or follow me on Twitch. <laughs> it's, it's like a, a Jerry Springer episode. That is <laughs> so terrible. So terrible. Uh, Zia Land on Twitch as well. I do a snack stream where I, I try different kinds of foods that I've never had before. Uh, a lot of it is stuff that I just grew up in Hawaii. I never I never ate as an adult. Um, or as a kid. So anyway, I do that. And then I work out on Monday nights to work off snacks I ate on Sunday. And then I do game streams on Tuesday. Currently, it is Minecraft. So yeah, Ooh, thank cool. you guys for having yeah. me. This has been so fun. Yeah, uh, thank, yeah you did a great job. Yeah, it's been fun thank tonight. Thank you. This is a record show. This is a record, like uh, everything that's not an Alex Jones show is a record show. That was our record show. <laughs> but, <I bet>. uh, <laughs> understandably. That's because yes. like, yeah, half I'm people... still in shock. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, like, we're never having me on again, please. It's uh, covered in slime. It's just that matter of fact, you delivered it as well. No idea that was coming. Wow. Um, it puts a new uh, light on doggy style. It does. <laughs> All right, there we go. It does. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so we're at the four hour limit. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I think you That's broke. Gary. <laughs> I broke. I broke. Sorry. I'm gonna pick one more super chat to read. Mud crab for Australian ten dollars. I said I'm totally over the they stole my childhood and hid it from me story. I've forgotten great parts of my childhood and don't want to remember a lot of the rest. I was a horrible kid. It's okay. <laughs> Not everybody wants to remember everything. Jesus, especially if like you're fucking a dog or something like that. That's not yeah. good. <laughs> I'll block that right out. Well, there's not a brain soap in the world for that one, though. Nope. It's, all the way. it's so terrible. Uh, but that's the shit a, people go on the internet for. Like, there was a great Black Mirror episode about that, though, where they had devices which had all their memories, and one guy gets focused on them and he keeps rewinding time to uh, it's like micro analyze everything. It's an interesting uh, topic. Yeah, yeah. You can remember everything. Black Mirror yeah. uh, can do that sometimes. It's really cool. All right, uh, thank you to the Mod Rodics. Thanks to everyone who left a super chat and donation. You help keep the lights on here. Thanks to everyone who simply just spent time with us. And thanks to oh, man, all the amazing guests we had come in today. It was fucking awesome. So well done. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Not all who wander are, if I can see this button there, lost. Bye-bye. I learned a long time ago that there's no sense getting all wild up every time a bunch line. of idiots give you a hard time. Because it's a In long the end, way. This is a cool Plus YouTube. I have a really yeah. large penis that keeps me. And then they'll just end it with "Rip Nerdaholic." And <laughs> 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 yep. We need is reform. That, is that still in the TOS? <laughs> Nerdaholic. <laughs> now this might be weird to you, but I think society's gonna fall at some point. And we're gonna have to barter with old pornography. Like VHS porn. <laughs> oh, I still got VHS, dude, with the original boxes. Yes. Well, damn. <laughs> I'm a strong supporter of women in adult films. Yeah. You know, because nobody does that anymore. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! You son of a bitch. I'm wearing this uncomfortable, movie accurate, bullshit ass armor, and I'm not even getting paid scale for this shit. I wanna go home. You know what? <laughs> 
Whoopsie! Well, it's time to go. Chrissy, have you ever heard of the comedian Basha K. Ali? No, that sounds like something you yell at before you blow up a plane. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, fear me. I am Lord and Master. Oh, really? Come on, dude, use the motherfucking force. <laughs> How you like that, huh? Uh, lo el se habla espanol. Oh. Ah, fuck it, I've eaten so much worse, dude. You have no idea. Gustav de Jali! Die tower to be the lads! Let's see what we're hitting! Yeah, you blow the or something like that. No show my name out. Fuck you. Hey, wait, you're not dead. Oh, you're in trouble, dude. Oh, shit. Talk about a brutal, senseless act of violence.
not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Come as I may.